We got a lot of stuff to get into and we got a few things to watch. Today, guys, today is going to be quite a day. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that it's going to be quite a day. So say it. All right. Sup, y'all. It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold. And today, I I'm honestly like I'm ready to do a whole lot of shit. Okay. Like I'm ready to talk about like, listen, the main thing that happened is obviously this like, wow, expansion announcement and, and like that whole thing. I want to look through that with you guys today. I'm not going to look through it a lot because I made a video about it yesterday. A lot of you probably already saw that, but I want to recap it and talk about it with you guys because obviously it's a big fucking deal. So besides that, we also want to talk about some other stuff as well. Uh, that other thing mainly is just going to be some different funny shit on Reddit, some stuff on fucking, like, I plan today on Lost Ark. I plan 100% to actually complete Tier 3. Like, I'm going to beat the new Guardian fight. I think his name is, like, Erection or something like that. He was, uh, a, a, like, a, a lava giant guy like Tectus or something like that. In, uh, in WoW, I think it's going to be fucking easy. Metass Island. Yeah, we might do Metass Island today as well. And then also I want to get some Lost Ark shit out of the way too. And because we are going to continue playing Elden Ring. There were a number of people. A number of individuals who were unhappy with the way that I was doing the boss. They said, Asmund Gold, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you not, uh, why are you not playing it the way that I played it? Why are you not doing it the way I did it? And I'm gonna tell you guys something. A lot of those people, they got suspended. And they were not happy about it. There was actually one person who was spamming for me to, uh, to click summons and to do summons and he went on to Reddit and he wrote an entire diatribe about how I am a, uh, you know, a terrible, stupid person who's dumb because I didn't complete it with summons. And I'm trying to find the post right now because I thought it was really, really fucking funny. Uh, but I have to see if I can find it. I have no idea where it is. Uh, where the fuck is it? It's like there's so many posts on my Reddit nowadays. Like, holy shit, you guys go crazy. So, yeah, anyway, the guy wrote an entire post about how he was looking forward to, um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I found it. I, I, I somehow, I found it. Um, I, I can't believe that I found it, but I did. Uh, so for those of you guys that didn't know, that didn't see the stream for Elden Ring the other day, uh, I went up against an individual, his name was General Raubon. Now, I've heard that, uh, this was the, uh, this was the cock of the, of the, uh, the game, right? This was the game, this was the boss that was really hard. And then there was, like, another one, there's another boss, like, Melania Trump or something like that, right? I, I don't know exactly. I, I think it's the one that fought Raubon, who's also supposed to be really hard, too. And, and besides that, those are the two main bosses of the game that are hard as fuck to do. And, uh, besides that, everything else is not really quite as bad. So, um, obviously, everybody told me that I had to use summons. They told me that I had to play the game a certain way. They told me what weapon to use. They told me what to put my snaps into. And I said, fuck you guys, I'm gonna do it my own way. And people would not stop spamming for me to use summons. And you know what? I had enough of it. And so you know what we did? We went and we timed out every single one of those people. And some of those individuals were not happy about the fact that I did that. And I want to talk to you about one of these individuals here. I want to read uh, their, uh, their experience and what happened to them. Got my first 24-hour chat ban during Elden Ring. Normally, I don't even write in chat, but when I do, I get banned for stating the obvious. He's fighting General Radon in Elden Ring, and you get banned for saying that this boss was designed around summoning many NPCs. I mean, we all know that he is stubborn and the literal god. But I give a wild guess here and say he will not do this boss because he wants to be better than he is. Also, this is poor content. 
I mean, anyone likes to see when a streamer fails and tries again. But this one is different because he wants to do a raid boss solo with melee, of course. Are we supposed to watch the failing for the next two days until he realizes it himself? Gonna watch something else until I see the thumbnail that he's doing something else other than running against a wall. Big disappointment. So in other words, the guy took a break from the stream for an hour. You see, guys, you see, whenever I go up against the boss, like, I, I know, I know whenever I could, like, you know what I told you guys? I know when to hold them and I know when to fold them. I knew for a fact that I was going to be able to beat him. I knew for a fucking fact. I said I didn't need no fucking summon. I said I didn't need no fucking magic. All I need is my spear and I take this big old pig down. And I did. And I fucking did. And it didn't even take me that long either. It took me like maybe like an hour or something like that. You just have to figure it out like it's that hard to do. He was angry. He was disappointed. No, he wrote this and so everybody didn't age well. The timing on this is hysterical. Please. Fuck, what is this? Please don't delete it. You were told not to do something and you did it. Yeah, dude. Um, so listen, I said, uh, so I guess bans are random to be honest. Yeah, I'm sure it was all random. It was an accident. A uh, hundred people defeated that boss without summons or magic? Dude, plenty of people have done that. It's not that hard. You just run away and then you run in. Uh, that's all there is to it, man. So yeah, it, in the time that it took him to fucking write this post, I just beat the boss. So I thought it was pretty fucking funny. I actually really enjoy doing stuff like that because posts like this give me nostalgia. Posts like this give me nostalgia for the Dark Souls 3 playthrough. I genuinely believe that my Dark Souls 3 playthrough was the most... Um... Drama-ridden. It was the most... Uh... What's the word for it? It was a dark time triggering. It was the most I'm just I'm looking for the right controversial Let's just w use the word uh, Controversial uh, It was the most infamous contentious. There you go contentious and polarizing run of all time I, I Genuinely don't think anybody else had a better like if you were watching the Asmongold Dark Souls 3 streams There has never been a higher pinnacle of content that has ever existed on this website. Like, for anybody who didn't know, every single day, I would see about 10 of these posts on my subreddit, and then in the comments, it would be people celebrating which boss I got to, and, or sorry, which boss was going to beat me and stop my crusade. Because at the very beginning of the game, uh, I, I learned how to do a boss, uh, make a boss weapon, and I made Vort's Hammer. And I did the entire game with Vort's hammer. And uh, for anybody who doesn't know how Vort's hammer works, uh, the only thing you really need to know is that it's completely fucking overpowered. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what happened. Uh, Dark Souls 3 Asmongold Pontiff. So you guys are going to see exactly how this happened. Because and you can read the chat too. I'll I'll, uh, I'll move I'll move this my my thing over so you guys can uh, can see the chat. I'll move it all the way over to here so you can see what this really was. Because this was really a um, uh, this was really something. Let me just say that. Where is this part? Okay, this is after Pontiff. I I think yeah, it's after Pontiff. Uh, let's see. Where's the boss? Ah, uh, shit. Okay, this is Fight Club, so it's got to be before that. Okay, this is me drinking, so I'm probably doing something here. I just want to make sure that we get up to the right part of the game. Uh, is this it? Oh, man, where is it? Okay, yeah, here we go. Here we go, we found it. So, I want to show you guys what it was like. Uh, where the fuck is it? I'm trying to figure out where where it act, where I actually kill the boss. Can anybody help me here? There it is. Okay. So, is this the kill? Yes. Okay. All right. So I want you guys to watch what happened in this run. Okay. 
because this is this was as I said this was the most contentious stream of all time so basically I go in to fight this boss I have full heavy armor on I refuse to not fat roll I say never I will never fat roll I will never do anything and I had gotten this far into the game and people had said Pontiff will be the one who stops Asmon Ball. And I want to just play through the clip. And, and watch how I handle this mechanic. As you can see here, I'm getting hit by every single attack. And I'm just moving around the boss. And the boss is just randomly getting stunned. And I do one good roll. And I hit him right there. And his health is still going down. And then you see, obviously, chat is uh, just fucking pogging out. People are just going out of their fucking mind. I immediately get him into phase two. A and watch this part. So Pontiff Sullivan summons a second, uh, he summons a second image of himself that makes the fight harder in phase two. And so he summons a second image, and I just sit there, and I keep hitting the second image. And as you can see, if you just go back right there, watch how the second image immediately jumps into the attack that I'm already casting at nothing, and it kills itself. Watch, right about, there it is. So I immediately kill the image, and then for some reason it did that. Oh, there it is. It teleports in front of me again to make sure that it fully dies. And uh, yeah, I got completely lucky with this. And then I kill the boss without even having to heal, I think, more than once. And this was about how the run went. And this... And, and I've got to explain to you guys how, how contentious this truly was. If you go and you look at some of the most popular threads on my Reddit, almost every single one of them were discussing this run. They were discussing this event right here. And yeah, sip yourself in the IRL. Yeah, exactly. Drinking game and at the IRL at the end. Yeah, it was fucking insane, man. And so I just think back on that. And it makes me very nostalgic. I do. And so whenever I read posts like that guy's post, that's what it really reminds me of. It reminds me of the good old days. It reminds me of the good old days, man. And it was such... A stupid fucking time and I loved it and I think that's the best part about it is it was so stupid it made no sense it made everybody mad and yeah it was the good old days and it's crazy to me how uh, it's like that was so long ago too whenever I really think about it like that was in 2018 or something like that that's like four fucking years ago and here we are today one-shotting General Raubon can you believe that Search Pontiff on the search bar of Reddit. Um, I might go back over there and, uh, and look at that. But all I'm saying is that, yeah, some of the drama from there was really fucking ridiculous. Why do you have a thousand tabs up? It gives me anxiety. The true reason is because I have absolutely no organization skills. And it's not that I have no organization skills. It's just simply that I don't care. I don't care about organizing anything. It doesn't matter to me. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it, it's, it doesn't really make a difference. It's whatever. Yeah, who gives a shit? Just close them? Yeah, yeah, just close them. I just, no, I, I just don't think about it. Like, I am a master of uh, ignoring things. Like, I have actually become like a, uh, a Buddhist monk. I can, it's like, you know how a, you know, a Tibetan or like a Buddhist monk, like one of their tests is they have to dry a towel that's like wet on their back in like the snow. So it's like some sort of like, t t you know, fucking like a uh, body energy or body heat thing. Well, I can do that uh, with anything. Like, all I have to do is not think about it, and it goes away. It's crazy, guys. Like, yeah, I'm a master at ignoring things. That's right. That's the, yeah, I'm selective organization skills. The only thing that I really organize are my video game cartridges downstairs. Like, those are very well organized, and also my World of Warcraft screenshots are very well organized. And everything else besides that is a fucking rat's nest. So let's look at a few things on Reddit, and then we're going to go from there. Let me look over this one. And uh, let's see here. Can you not think about my ex? Maybe she'll go away. 
the way that I would uh, I would solve that problem is you just immediately just start jerking off and then by the time it's over uh, hang out with some of your friends go to Taco Bell with them and you're not going to be thinking about her at all that's the solution guys that's what you really have to do cat a screenshot stream yeah we're going to get into that for sure so what's this here every second hour of the stream chat Babe, it's 11 a.m. Time to check Steam charts for my daily validation. Yes, honey. Oh, God. Listen, here's why it's important for people to look at Steam charts. Okay? It's because if other people aren't playing the video game, that means that you are wrong for playing the video game. You understand? So if there's somebody who's playing the video game and they're the only person playing it, well, then they're a loser. So you want to do what everybody else is doing, because if you don't, then you are also a loser. So it's just that simple. Is you lost Dark Dead yet? No, well, let me, let's, let's take a look. Uh, I, I actually refreshed it before this stream. So right now we've got how many people on Lost Ark? Um, 700,000 people on Lost Ark with an 800,000 player peak. That is a lot of fucking people, guys. That's a lot of people. If you are putting your time into this video game, you are a smart person and you are doing what other people are doing. And that means that you are good. You are a good person for doing this thing. Yes, bots. Uh, I don't know if it's bots. They said they were banning them. Who knows where they're where they are along in that process? I have no idea. So let's look over at Elden Ring. Do you like Elden Ring? Let's see if you're right for liking Elden Ring. Seven hundred thousand people playing the game. You currently are right for liking Elden Ring. Now, if this number goes down enough, you will no longer be right for enjoying this game. This will no longer be a good game for you to play, and you should quit immediately um, so you don't uh, end up playing a cringe game. Nobody wants to be stuck playing a cringe game. Look at over here, PUBG Battlegrounds. Is PUBG a good game? 300,000 people playing the game. It seems like it actually is a good game. Is New World good? Let's go ahead and take a look. 22,000 people. It's actually gone up a bit. We might actually have something that we're going to be doing with New World very soon. Uh, they've got some new content out, and I'm looking forward to doing it. I might try it out. We might have some uh, something a little bit fancy and fun to do. Uh, I think it'll be nice. Now, as I said before, I think New World will be a good game. New World will be a good game. Uh, at some point in the future. And I think that they're continuing to make it better. That's basically what it is. And uh, New Worlds goes fuck. I think a lot of people like the game. I do. But um, I think people, like, there's a lot of people like me that just aren't playing it, like, at this exact moment because there's not really a lot of new content out. I think a lot of people are just waiting for new stuff to come out and, and for a better end game loop to exist. Uh, I feel like that's really all it comes down to. So yeah, the, no toys in the sandbox. Yeah, I think that's actually a really good way to say it. Look at Halo Infinite. There's no reason to. Everybody plays off, that off of the Microsoft launcher. Can you even get Halo Infinite on Steam? Uh, I, I'll look and I'll see for, for myself, but I'm not even sure. Halo Infinite? Uh, let, let's see here. Halo Infinite uh, charts. It's got 3,000 people. Yeah, it's played more on Xbox. I feel like this is probably... Like, this is obviously extremely low. Uh, 3,000 to 10,000 player peak, 272. Like, I think that this is really the number that you want to look at, right? If you're going from 272 down to 10,000, uh, that's a lot different. The reason why Halo is dying, like, here's the reason, is that the Halo audience uh, said, well, we don't want to be our... Well, we don't want our game to uh, to keep up with the current trends. We don't want our game to innovate and to change and to get better and to find new ways to attract a new player base and a new generation of Halo players. We don't want that. We just want the same exact thing over again, and then we want to kill our game. And they got it. I hope you're happy. I hope you're fucking happy. You got exactly what you wanted. And, and and there it is. And do you remember whenever I said that the game was going to need a BR or it would fucking die? Do you remember when I said that? Yes. And they all told me.
They all told not why it's dying. Yes, it is. That's a huge reason. That's a massive reason why it's dying. Like you can look at this exact same graph and compare it to modern warfare and see the effect that Warzone had on it. And you're right, maybe a BR wouldn't save the game, but it would certainly give it a life raft for a while, wouldn't it? Until they can figure out how to make it better. Mm. There's a lot of reasons. No longevity, yeah. The game has a BR, it's not good enough, man. BR is not innovation. Yes, it is. That's why every, every new shooter has a BR besides Valorant. Uh, the thing is, like, listen, I've said this before, is that I think there's a lot of people who just reflexively don't want BRs because this is, oh, wow, BR is what the kids play, and I'm 32 years old, and I reflexively dislike things that people that are younger enjoy. It, it, it's just, it, it's so cringe that there's no actual reason for it. It's actually just a complete response based off of, uh, it's just a reactionary response with no thinking required. Uh, so yeah, that's the way I didn't help Battlefield 42. Yeah, the game sucked, but here's the difference, is that everybody played Halo Infinite and they thought it was great. Uh, everybody that I talked to whenever the game came out, people were very happy with Halo Infinite. They, they were, you remember? Like, almost everybody was positive about the game. That's what the difference is. Battlefield, never that came out. Everybody thought it was fucking garbage. That's the difference. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. Yeah, average players were. Yeah, I'm sure there's some Halo fanatics that were not happy about the game because it didn't, you know, remind them of Halo 2 or Halo 1. But that doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, what matters is the average person. Until we ran out of stuff to do, man, you're 100% wrong. So w let me get this straight. You think that I'm 100% wrong. And, and the way that, the reason why you tell me I'm 100% wrong is that you ran out of stuff to do and then whenever I say, well, they should have had more stuff to do, somehow that's not... It, it, somehow that's not... Somehow we're not saying the same thing? What's going on here? Yeah, come on. Hey, I was dying because 343 is MTX and lack of maps and desyncs are killing the game. Um... Uh, lack of maps, desyncs, and microtransactions are killing the game. Really, is that true? I can think of a game. I, I don't know. Can anybody think of a game that uh, that has uh, that has those problems and it's still popular? Like, I don't know if anybody else can think of a game. Uh, oh man, I don't know. Like, it's just there are so many games that could be like that, and uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, how could a game ever be successful? Uh, with desyncing uh, microtransactions and a lack of maps. Wow. I, I could just, I could never, I could never think of a game like that. Man, that's too bad. <laughs> that's just too fucking bad, isn't it? Uh, and so also Apex. Apex is a, is a lot, is a lot better than PUBG. Apex, the, half of the reason why people played Apex... Like, people don't remember this, right? Because, like, I guess it was a long time ago. It was, like, four years ago. The reason why Apex blew up so much is because it, it wasn't Fortnite, and it played as well as Fortnite. The reason why Fortnite blew up and everybody went over to play Fortnite is because PUBG was an absolute fucking disaster of a game. It was a terrible game. Like, it was just coded badly. There were a lot of things in the game that were like, like the M24, it was like the a fucking M216 or whatever the fuck, was just like the best gun pretty much, period, unless you were Shroud and you can aim with an AK. Like, it's just not, it was just not a, a good game, right? That's all it really came down to. And uh, everybody moved over to Fortnite because Fortnite, uh, for all its flaws, and if you don't like Fortnite, that's fine, but you can't deny that Fortnite played infinitely better than PUBG. Fortnite was just a thousand times better than PUBG. It was not even fucking close in terms of, like, playability and fluidity. Like, you moved in the game, like, you jumped, your character jumped. You moved, your character moved. There was no delay. Like, Fortnite, or sorry, with PUBG, it always felt like you were driving a car whenever you were moving your character. That's what it was. And then uh, a lot of people didn't like the vibe of Fortnite. They didn't like building. They didn't like all those other aspects. And guess what those people did? They moved over to Apex the moment that it came out. And that was where a lot of the people from Apex really came from. Is because a lot of those guys just thought to themselves, man, this is fucking awesome. This is, it's basically PUBG, but it plays well. That's all it was. 
Uh, Halo uh, CE had more content than Halo Infinite at launch? Well, yeah, because they released it without the campaign. I mean, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Now, Apex has all Warzone players, too. Yeah, because they can't innovate Warzone, number one. A and number two, uh, they have too many cheaters in the game. So anybody who's good at Warzone at all is going to immediately encounter cheaters because of the matchmaking system. Uh, yeah, Warzone sucks, too. Uh, and it's not even that Warzone sucks. Like, Warzone is fine for an average player, but I feel like Warzone hasn't really changed enough since it came out for it to really be a different game. Like, whenever I play Apex nowadays, I feel like I'm genuinely playing a different game than what I did, like, three years ago. Whenever I came back to Warzone after a year or two years, I know that's not as much time, to be fair, but whenever I came back, I felt like I was playing the exact same game. It was the exact same thing. So Apex has innovated more. Apex has done more. I think Warzone's a better game. I like Warzone more, personally. I think Warzone, out of all the BRs, is the best one. I do. I think it's the best BR. And uh, I think PUBG is maybe the second because of nostalgia for me. But other than that, I know Apex plays better than both of them. And, and, and that's all there is to it. Like, Apex just plays better. And you know it, I know it, everybody knows it. And that's all there is to it. Apex is for skilled players. Apex does have um, a lot of different avenues. What is this here? Birds, wind, branches, heed my call, the mystery of droids. <laughs> whenever I see this picture, it just reminds me of whenever I dueled Soda Poppin. It reminds me of whenever I dueled Soda Poppin and I just got completely fucked by all of the uh, all of the the roots, the running around the pillars, all of the bullshit, man. It made me so fucking frustrated. I was mauling so hard. Nod, do you beat his ass? In a 2v2, I did. I, 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 I retained my, uh, my, my status. I was very, very happy about that. Duel had me so triggered just watching the kiting. Yeah, it was just like... Like, you remember that? Let me see if I can pull it up right now. Um, yeah, it's like right there. Um, where is it? Yeah, here we go. I gotta whoop Asmund's ass. Hold on. It's very important. This really, really fucking upset me. This I is like too. This is right at the end of Legion, and it was in BFA. Or, sorry, it was in a BFA pre-patch. Wait, he has to pee. What? He's going pee. I like how I what pretend like I didn't hear it. So I can immediately take advantage of the situation and attack him and beat him on stream. It's invisible. He went to pee. pee. No, bro, like, you're just saying that. <laughs> you're just saying that, man. He's peeing! You're just saying that to mess me up. <laughs> Which, to be fair, is it, that, that's, that's reasonable to say. Alright, let's whoop this guy's ass here. Oh, he's back. There he is. This is just, uh... You're getting annihilated. It's the most annoying shit, dude. See, I'm already mad. Like, literally within three seconds into the game, I'm already mad. That's such fucking bullshit. Just tell me. Just tell me. I can save you. <laughs> this is the best part, dude. I said for him not to do this. I said, don't do this. I can do this all day, dude. <laughs> Poor ass. Man. I said, don't do this. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is just. Oh, you're toast. No, I'm not. <laughs> How no, the dog. fuck did he do that? He's gonna if I if he hits me he heals, so I kind of have. So to, like, yeah, that's what it was. Two v two war games are the best ever. Yeah, this shit was so fucking good, man. So it's pretty good, Pharaoh. Yeah, he is. He's really good. Why does he run away? And like warrior, I mean to be fair, like oh, come oh. the fuck on, dude. Oh no! And then McConnell the is fuck fucking on, McConnell is just goading it on. He's like, oh, you're getting you're get, you're getting beat. Oh no, you're getting beat. Oh wow. Hey. All day, poor Asmin. Is this the end of Asmin Gold? Oh my Stay god. <laughs> Fuck, dude! <laughs>
Stop, dude! That's such bullshit! <laughs> yeah, so those are, those are the good old days, man. 2018, holy fucking shit. Yeah, McConnell's just sitting there actually watch that line. Look, we we had a re we had a redo and we won the redo, right? Uh, with the two v two, but the solo shit just was not, it, it was not in the cards. Let me just say that, uh, warriors are not that good at dueling. I'll say that, and also I was played like shit to be fair. So let's look over here. I'll see if I can make sure I get the rest of these, and uh, then we're gonna move on. All right. Where's the rest of this? Uh, fuck. Let me scroll all the way up. I think that I missed it. All right. So we're, now we're down two pages, um, two posts. I mean. Can't wait for the April 19th announcement. Codex Final Fantasy. And it's World of Warcraft. And there's a bunch of stacks of $100 bills behind the logo. And that's Codex Final Fantasy. You see, I'm going to tell you guys what's going to happen. All right? So here's what's going to happen. Microsoft is going to acquire Activision Blizzard. Bobby Kodak will resign as the CEO and as the uh, basically the big dick of the company. And everybody will breathe a collective sigh. And they will realize that um, he's gone. He's done. We'll never hear from Bobby Kodak again. Until, <laughs> until Microsoft makes its play for the metaverse. And in two or three years, whenever people have forgotten about Bobby Kotick's shenanigans, they will hire Bobby Kotick back on to lead the Microsoft metaverse. That's what's going to happen. You see, you guys don't understand something. Is this is Bobby's world. And we're just living in it. Do you honestly think that they are going to get rid of him? Do you honestly think that Bobby Kotick, the fucking, the, the absolute cockroach, the, the, the animal with more will to survive than a fucking, uh, like, I, I don't, I can't even think of what it is, um, a honey badger. Do you think that, that you beat him? Do you think that he's lost? No. It's like Kel'Thuzad. He's not going, he, he, he's not gonna go anywhere, alright? Like, he will only become more powerful. Yes, he's yes. Bobby is the main character in this story. Okay, you, me, we're not the main character. We're side characters. We're extras. It's like ah, it's that guy ah, and then it, it moves on to the next part of Bobby's world. That's all there is to it. it yeah, welcome to the Bobby verse. That's what it really is, guys. He's the final boss. Yes, exactly. And yeah, keep that in mind. You look so young back in 2018. Uh, I feel like I look pretty much the same, if you want me to be honest. I think maybe it's because I had a shorter beard. It's hard to say. So yeah, let's look over here. Um, uh, I really need to put someone in who's not retarded uh, in charge and then fire every single dev who um, uses Twitter. Uh, I don't think they need to fire a lot of the devs who use Twitter. They just need to fire the ones that are that are stupid. Like, that's all. I don't care if you use Twitter. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't give a fuck if you sit around and you talk about your political opinions on Twitter constantly and you talk about how much you hate the players. I don't care about that. I care about the game. I don't, like, what, what would you rather have? A good game with batshit developers that are going on tirades on Twitter or a bad game where nobody's saying anything? Because, oh yeah, someone's like, oh, well, I want both of the good things. That's probably not what's going to happen. 
it's just it's probably just not what's going to happen like yeah obviously that sounds pretty good right i mean we'll we'll you know we have our cake we eat it too we have steak and ice cream yeah um yeah i just want the good game i don't give a fuck what these clowns do on twitter right it, like i think it's weird that they spend all the time on twitter talking about shit like this but i've noticed and, and i don't know if you guys have noticed this too but i mean to be fair actually i've only seen half of the blizzard developers because the other half already have me blocked on twitter um but the half that don't have me blocked on twitter uh, they are actually posting about playing the, playing the video game. And I think that's pretty fucking cool. Check out the Ashes of Creation update. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, if you guys remind me in a few minutes, I'll do that whenever I get over to the video segment. Uh, I want to get into that. Yeah. A and so that's it. Did Ghostcrawler also block me? No. Why would Ghostcrawler block me? Like, uh, the thing is, like, a lot of the people, the people that don't like me in at Blizzard don't like me for reasons that aren't real. Like, they don't like me because they think that I'm, like, a racist. Or, or they think that I'm a, uh, I'm a terrible person in one way or another. And actually, speaking of racists, I want to tell you guys a story. I'm going to take a drink here, and I'll tell the story. <sighs> That's not true, I'm out. Yeah, sorry, man. Um. So... I went to the bank yesterday. As you guys know, um, uh, basically, uh, my mom's estate and having to deal with the aftermath of that has been a, um, uh, it, it has been a 12 boss raid. Okay? Uh, I am still dealing with it, if you can believe that. So I went to the bank in order to, uh, talk to them about some, some stuff that has to, has to do with that. And I went to the same bank from such hit stories as there was one time a redneck that went to that bank. And he, you know the kind of people that talk really loud? Do you know the kind of people that they get really, really loud? Like they have no uh, like vocal control of like how loud they are in a public place? Well, that's how it was. And we're not talking about, like, a redneck, like, oh, you know, this guy's got a, you know, he's got a hat on with the Confederate flag or something. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about a country bumpkin. I'm talking about overalls that go into pants, and then one of the overalls that are jeans is unbuttoned, and there's a wife beater on that he's wearing underneath it, and it's got stains all over it, okay? That's the kind of redneck we're talking about. And he goes into the bank and he says, do you guys have hundred dollar bills? He asked them, he asked the, the bank tower and they said, yes, sir, we have hundred dollar bills. He says, that's good. Cause I need some of those right now. And they said, well, that's all right. All right. We're going to, we're going to wait to you and we're going to get to you and we're going to get you your money. He says, that's right. You are. I'm here for my money. And this is the kind of guy who's talking to himself and looking around the room. And what do you do with a person who's talking to every single person who makes eye contact with them? Well, you make eye contact with your phone like your life fucking depends on it. And that's what I did. Until he got up to the teller. He gets up to that teller. And he says, listen, Johnny. I want $1,700 bills. And the bank tower says, sure, sir, uh, please put in your information and we'll, um, we'll get you your money right now. And he says, you got, you ain't got a problem with that. You're going to be able to give me that money. He says, yes, sir. I got that money. You have $1,700 bills. The bank tower says, yes. So the guy puts in his account information. The bank teller is quiet. He says, sir, we're not going to be able to get you your $1,700 bills. The guy says, why the hell not? It's my money, ain't it? He says, well, that's not the amount of money that's in your account. And in order to not embarrass this man, he writes down his account balance on a bank slip. 
and he hands it he hands it over to him he says here you go and the guy looks down and he reads it Seventeen dollars. <laughs> well, that's a disappointment. And he's like, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what happened. It could have been a bug with the account or something like that. So, yeah, we can't get you your money. And he's like, so I only got seventeen dollars. And he says, yeah. He says, well, shit. And he leaves. So that was the first story. Now, let me tell you what happened yesterday at this exact same bank. I go into the bank and there's a long line and there's a lady walking around, stomping around, angry because they won't let her get, in, get into her checking account. She was pissed off she was mad and guess what she was doing she was talking loud she was trying to get attention of anybody at the bank and finally one of the people start talking to her and she says i'm so worried i'm so worried i don't have access to my checking account but there are people in this bank black black people in this bank who can get into my checking account, but I can't get into my account. And she's sitting there. She's like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going on. She's walking around. She's upset. She's got her shit down on the floor. She's looking around. And by the way, half of the people in the bank, they're black. And so all of them are just kind of like, oh, is that right? Uh-huh. And she keeps saying it. There's black, black people. And she was upset and worried, writing things down, very angry. Finally, she's explaining it to the security guard, who also, by the way, is black, trying to get him to understand her point of view. And everybody is just quiet. People are looking at her. And uh, she's uh, just talking about this because she was so worried. Because then she started saying, I don't know where they come from. I don't know if it's like Africa or something because they didn't come from America. And she's just going off. Like this lady is completely going off, like straight up, straight up. She's going ape shit. And everybody's sitting around. Nobody knows what to say. Nobody knows what to do. And it was even more confusing because she was black. And everybody didn't know what to say. They didn't know what to do. Nobody, they were trying to explain to her like, it's going to be okay. Uh, it's going to be fine. And she is walking around. She doesn't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> she's so stressed out about this. And she's like trying to explain it to people about how like, you know, the people here are mixed with slave owners. And it's like these other people are going to take her money and like just straight up. And finally... That there's the bank manager, you know, like whenever uh, this is you ever been to the bank and somebody's not happy and then the bank manager anxiously, uh, you know, almost runs out of their office to prevent, uh, you know, a situation from occurring. Well, the bank manager is walking over to her, walking over to her, trying to solve this problem. Right. And he's like, OK, listen. Listen, we're going to get you your money. Everything's going to be OK. All right. You're not going to have to worry about anything. You're going to be totally fucking fine. And finally, they calmed her down, and they got her money, and she left. And it was okay. Understand how I don't understand how I make a difference with white and black. It's not even colors. Listen, and then the moment that she left, there was this one, there was the guy that was sitting behind me. And every single time that she said black, black, she looked right at him. She looked right at him. And so as soon as she walked out of the fucking building, everybody turned around and looked at him and he just said, damn, that bitch was crazy. <laughs> and then that was it. <laughs> that was straight up fucking it. <laughs> and everybody just laughed that shit off. Fake story. 
I recorded it. Uh, I recorded it. Yeah, I didn't record the entire thing, but I recorded half of it. Um, so yeah, I did. And, uh, I'll have to see if I can, uh, show it. Let me see if I can find the, uh, uh, the fucking, the audio. I didn't get the whole thing. Do not ever accuse me of telling a fake story again. Do not ever, 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 ever again in your life accuse me of telling a fake story. I don't tell fake fucking stories. I live in Austin. I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. And, uh, that was, well, what's this here? Um... Uh, bannable, bannable offense, accusing me of fake stories. True, that should be absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, fuck it. That's me putting on a voice. That's me. Well, that's a pretty damn good voice, isn't it? Yeah, that's not what it was gonna be. And so that shit happened, and um, I, I was at the bank. Uh, nothing got sorted out, obviously, because it's um, you know, any time that you have to deal with the government, you have to assume that the amount of people that are working in the government want it to stay at that number. And uh, so because of that, they have to create artificial roadblocks that prevent you from being able to do what you want. And that's what it was. The U.S. really is a strange place. Listen, in Austin, where I live, like, uh, growing up, people would just, like, Whenever I was in high school and middle school, kids would just call each other the N-word and they never thought anything of it. Because the education was so bad, nobody even knew, like, really, like, what happened, like, the slavery thing, like, what really was that? Nobody had any fucking idea. And so it wasn't until, like, 11th and 12th grade that people kind of had an idea of, like, Jim Crow laws and stuff like that. But before then, people just called each other that for fun. It was crazy. It was absolutely fucking crazy. Or just not story travel in the future. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah, it's the same. Uh, it, it's 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 the same. I'm sure now in some places. But yeah, I mean where I live, like yeah, it was just shit schooling. Like nobody knew anything, and that's what happened. Kids just shout it in the bus where I lived, and I knew it meant bad shit. The thing is, like none of them knew what was bad. None of them even, they didn't even know. Like, they, they had no idea. They had no idea about, like, the history or the context behind it. They would just, they would call the, they would call the teachers that. And, it, like, it didn't matter, like, what color the teacher was. They would just say it. And it didn't even matter. Yeah, it was America. Yeah, they just ignored it. It was nuts, man. It's not bad education. It's intentional miseducation. Well, I don't know how it could be. Like, I mean, all the teachers almost were uh, not white. And all the kids that were saying it, most of them were not white, too. So I'm not sure where this uh, this agenda is coming from. But I know on the ground level, uh, there wasn't really much of an agenda. Uh, I'll tell you that. So, yeah, there's a million tabs open. The books? No, the books taught it. No, 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 no. No, see, you are making the assumption that the books had omitted this information. No. The mistake that you are really making is that you assume that people use the books. Oh, no. The only thing we use the books for is to throw them out the window. Yeah, nobody used the books. I'll tell you a little story about uh, about a, a certain midterm I took back in high school. And after this, I want to get back into the other Reddit posts because I know I've been going off on a tangent. But I wanted to tell that story because it happened yesterday. So, um... I took two years of American Sign Language. Why did I take American Sign Language? Because I thought it would be the easiest language to learn. And it turns out that it was actually quite hard to learn and it was very complex. Fortunately, neither of my teachers gave a fuck. In my second year of ASL, American Sign Language, our teacher was so fed up, so tired out, so bored, 
and just completely defeated. That she said, in order to pass this midterm, all you have to do is sit there quietly. I'm going to turn off the lights and don't piss me off. That was it. That was the whole thing. And we almost failed because what we were doing is we were on the second story and we were every about 20 minutes or so we popped the book out the window well guess what miss smith found out about this she came over she said what the hell are you doing you could get somebody hurt by throwing them out the window we said whoa 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 wait a minute we look down below before we throw them out and we make sure there's nobody down below. We don't want to hit anybody. It's going to be okay. She says, you make sure every time? We said, yes, every time. She says, okay. And she goes back to her desk. And we keep throwing them out the window. <laughs> so there was another time. This was my... um. This was my uh, my senior year in my broadcasting class. If you can believe that. I took broadcasting in high school. And um, my teacher came in. And I didn't know this at the time. I didn't learn this until a few years later. But he was high. And I learned that him and his friend, who is also the movie-making teacher, uh, that's, the way, that's the way that they were able to put up with us for all these years. Because I remember I would make him mad, and he just wouldn't get mad. He'd just think it was funny. And I was like, how does it, how is this, how is this man able to handle me? How can this guy deal with me? And so this was the final exam for my senior test in broadcasting. He sits us all down in like an auditorium type thing. It was like a stage type thing that we sat in. And um, he opens up the test. And he says, number one, well, um, he reads out the question, he reads out the answers, and he's like, hmm, it sounds like this one's B, what do you guys think? And we're like, you know what, I think it sounds like B too. And we did that for the whole thing. Um, Dylan was in that class. Show me your dick Dylan was in that class. I'm pretty sure that there was this one really, really dumb guy that actually got a couple wrong. <laughs> he got a couple of them wrong. Can we get him back on stream? Yeah, yeah, we'll get him back on stream someday soon. I hung out with him and, uh, and his girlfriend. They're getting married soon. And uh, yeah, that's what it was. And uh, you guys like that? Do you guys want one more? Do you guys want one one more story? I haven't told this one probably for an entire year. You guys want one more? One more story? Yeah, congrats. All right, one more. So, Algebra 2. Algebra 2 was the make it or break it. Algebra 2 was the... This was the final exam of high school in my, in my school. There were people in Algebra 2 that were 16 years old and people in Algebra 2 that were 21 years old. This was the wall. Imagine a raid boss in a video game. It was like Painsmith in uh, Sanctum of Domination. It was the wall. If you could beat that boss, you could probably clear the raid. Everybody, it was Sludge Fist. Yeah, it was Sludge Fist math. There were people that were hard stuck on Algebra 2 for many, many years. And um, my teacher, her name was Mrs. Uh, was Mrs. G Gonzalez or Miss Garcia. I forgot which one. Well, um, this woman hated me. She should have. It was me and this other guy, his name was Lance. That was the guy that was the crackhead that wanted to take me down to a Juggalo concert in San Antonio 
uh, one day, and uh, he had lost 200 pounds because he was doing meth. Uh, that that's Lance, and he was in this class. And uh, there was another guy, um, and then there was another guy, Marco. And um, we get to the final exam, and this woman realizes that every single person in the class is going to fail the class, except for like maybe three. And um, this was on top of that, she would she hated the four of us because we would all sit together, and because she hated us, that she would say that oh well you have to be in groups of three, not groups of four. So, I was in a group with Lance, who was in a group with Marco, who was in a group with the other guy, who was in a group with me. So, like, really, we're in groups of three, but the three groups kind of, uh, c connect together, so really we're in a group of four. And, um, he was, uh, she was not happy about this, and finally she gave up, because she tried to move our desks, and, um, we took Elmer's glue one day whenever she wasn't there, and we just glued our desks to the ground, so she couldn't rearrange our desks, so we couldn't sit next to each other, and problem fucking solved. So that's what we did, we just glued the desks to the ground, and we sat together for the rest of the year. Well, anyway, last semester, last week of school, she gave us... A bunch of extra credit because she knew that they were not going to be happy with her if everybody failed the class I don't know how the math turned out I have no idea how it went was it 32 or 34 bonus points 32 to 34 bonus points on our final exam for algebra 2 and these bonus points were made up for passing the uh, federal exam going to extra credit opportunities uh, after school and myself and Eric who was in a different class and, and all of the, the guys like Lance, Marco, everybody, right? We all went in and, and we did all of the extra credit because God knows we needed it. And to be honest, like uh, at least some of us in the group, which meant all of us, right? Because we just fucking passed our work around. Um, all of us in the group, uh, you know, we, we were not really that bad at Algebra 2. We just didn't give a fuck. Like, you want to talk about substitution? Bitch, I'm waiting for a substitute teacher so I can have fun in this class. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear about that math shit with numbers. Let me go back to, let me go back to talking to my friend about video games. Like, that's the way I felt about Algebra. I said, fuck that. So we get to the final exam with 32 or 34 bonus points. We take the final exam, and the second or second to last day of school, we go up and we get our test results. I got something like a, an 85. I did pretty well. With, by the way, plus 34 points. I got an 85. Wow. Lance got somewhere around the same. The other guy... He got something like, oh, I don't know, like a 70. And we look at Marco. We said, Marco. Marco, what'd you get? Marco's. He's laughing. And he's also almost crying. Marcos just it doesn't matter. It is what it is, man. You know, hey, yo, hey, I'm just glad this class is over. I said, Marco, what'd you get? He says, it is what it is. And he has the paper in his hand. And I pull the paper down so I can see it. Marco got a 32 or a 34 on his exam. And actually... If I remember right, sorry, I was I was messing my thing up. It went away. Um, if I remember right, he actually didn't even get that. He got like a 25. Because part of the extra credit for like 10 points was to write your name. And Marco forgot to put his last name on the paper. And so she didn't give him credit. Marco graduated. Everything was fine. 
I saw Marco actually uh, maybe uh, six months ago uh, at HEB. He's doing great. Everything's totally fine. Yeah, he's in Congress now. <laughs> yeah, he he works for the government now. <laughs> yeah. He's now the president. Someone promote that guy. Yeah, Marco still graduated. It is what it is, right? It is, it is what it is. Explains the government. I got no idea. And he was walking out, man, with his friend, man. He had a fucking a big old case of beer. He's like, man, dude, we're going to be chilling, dude. And so, yeah, I, I like the most intelligent congressperson. What about Lance the crack addict? I, I haven't talked to Lance for, I haven't seen Lance around for a while, man. Like, uh, I remember back in <laughs> middle school, Lance was fat. And Jason used to always throw markers at his belly. <laughs> and then finally, I guess it was too many markers and Lance went and lost weight. And he was like really, he was like really good looking guy in high school. And, and then he got into meth and uh, then he like grew a beard and he looked like a werewolf. And I'm not sure what he's up to now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have no idea. What about Jeff? Jeff's chilling, man. Yeah, Jeff's chilling. He's doing okay. When's the last time I seen Marco? I probably six months ago, a year ago or something like that. Yeah, I, I didn't really say hi to him because, like, it was like I wasn't like a hundred percent sure it was him. I was like ninety percent sure, right? But like, uh, yeah, that was about it. I saw him at, at a distance at the at the fucking at, at the HEB, man. Is that the guy your dad told lost the weight? No, that was my other friend that got into meth. Yeah, that was somebody else. Uh, Lance is now married with kids. I'm not really sure exactly. I don't know. Most of my graduating class in public school uh, had kids by the end of high school. Yeah, we had a police station on campus, and next to the police station, we had a daycare. That's the kind of school I went to. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. And uh, mine is five heads. So tell the grape soda story, please. I honestly don't remember which one the grape so soda story is. There's like three grape soda stories. I don't know which one it was. But um, tell us when you got into meth. I never got into meth, man. Like, I, I, like, I, I never. The thing is, whenever I was a kid, I always thought I would grow up and be a drug addict. Because it's like, you know, I would act crazy, and like you see videos and people that are doing drugs are acting crazy, so it's like, yeah, maybe I'll grow up and be a drug addict, right? It, it just kind of made sense. And I got older, and I realized that drugs were expensive, and I didn't have money to afford them, so I never got into drugs. And that's what it was. Tell the bomb story, please. Uh, the bomb story. I feel like I've told the bomb story too recently. Yeah, I'll have to think of a, I'll have to think of another one uh, that's that's better. But yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of these fucking stories, man. I, I do, and it's like again, I remember uh, you can afford them now. Why the fuck would I want them now? Like it's like I feel like people, t people, especially like kids, right? It's like this is how it was in my school. It was like cool if you did drugs. It was like that's what the cool people did is they would like drink at like age twelve or thirteen and, and do drugs. And so, like, yeah, that's what it was. Man, you grew up with some wild animals? Yeah, exactly. They put some of them in cages, though, unfortunately. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, hey, yo, it is what it is. If you weren't cool, you got exposed to addiction? Yeah, why was your drug? Yeah, I don't know about that. Tell us about your worst best date. Um, Worst best date? I mean, I don't know. I took a girl to, to Dairy Queen once. Like, I mean, and it actually went pretty well. Like, it, it did. The thing is, like, yeah, I took her out to Dairy Queen. And, like, I mean, yeah, what's... Uh, the thing is, like... Listen, when the first date I ever took Izzy on was to Taco Bell. Like, I met her, and she's like, wow, it's so nice to finally meet you. I'm like, yeah, me and Rich are gonna go to Taco Bell. You wanna go with me? And she says, yeah. A and that's basically what it was. Dairy Queen is good? Yeah, it is good. They remember it flipped the cup upside down? Yeah, they do that. They, they still flip the cup upside down. No, absolutely. Did you give her a McFlurry? Yeah, yeah. You mean true story? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. How did you meet Izzy and me? How do you and Izzy meet? What was the best date with her? Um, Izzy and I met basically. Uh, uh, the way I met her is I commented on her posts uh, over and over and over until she DM'd me, uh, and then I uh, basically it's like it's like fishing, right? Where like you throw the bait out there and you wait for the fish to take a bite. 
And like I kept DM, I kept messaging her and messaging her, not messaging her, but like you know commenting on her shit over and over. I finally, I finally got her on the line whenever she she DM'd me, and then I got her to play Fortnite with me, and uh, then things went from there, and uh, we moved in together, uh, and then we broke up. But be before that, we moved in together. So yeah, that that's how it worked. Simping, weren't we? The thing is, it's not simping if it works. It's only simping if it doesn't work. You understand that? Like simping when it actually works is not a bad, that's not a bad thing. That's like, that's what you do. It's kind of like, uh, doesn't that make sense? Yeah, true. Yeah, true. The thing is that like, I have no problem simping. Like there are, there are it's okay to simp for your wife, a long-term girlfriend, your mother, and your sister, right? Family members. Like, I, I had no problem doing that, and, you know, it's like, like, there's only, like, a small handful of people that if I'm right in an argument, and it hurts their feelings that I'm right, that I will say that I'm wrong. And that's Twitch chat, my mother, and, you know, any long-term girlfriend, right? Like, I, I don't really, I, it doesn't really matter to me, it's not that big of a deal, uh, I don't really care. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Would she have DM'd you if you didn't have a verified account? I didn't then. Like, the, the funny thing is back then, I, uh, I didn't have... Like, I was an irrelevant 8K Andy. I was a, a dead streamer at 8,000 viewers in 2000, like, late 2017, maybe 2018 or something like that. Like, yeah, I didn't even have 10,000 average viewers back then. It might have been seven or 6,000 average viewers back then. And, like, yeah, I was a dead, irrelevant streamer, right? And uh, this was back in, like, 2000. Like, back then, obviously, it was more than, like, than it is now. Like, 8K is less now comparatively to what it was. What blew up your stream? How did my stream get popular? I'll tell you. Give me a second. I'll take this fucking hoodie off. I gotta, uh, I gotta get this. Uh, we're, we're actually gonna be selling these hoodies, I think, soon. Uh, I'll let you guys know. Like, these are really comfortable. I'll wear them all the time. Uh, whenever we get new merch, I give it the Asmongold test. That's where I wear it for a month, and I tell them if it's good or not at the end of it. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. But it does get hot after a while, because obviously it's a fucking hoodie. That means it works. And so, anyway, uh, the thing is that, like, at what blew up my stream, how my stream get popular, it's simple. Uh, I used to let anybody who I wanted, who wanted to, uh, just upload content of my stream onto YouTube. Like, and then that helped a lot. Uh, BFA was coming out. That helped a lot. Like, my stream went from, like, getting, uh, fucking, like, 8,000 viewers to 20,000 in, in a month. And then the month after that, I went from getting 20 to 30,000 viewers the month after that. Like, and, and the, the, the weird thing is, like, it happened so fast is it, like, actually stressed me out a lot. Like, I was, because it's, like, whenever things go up that fucking fast, like, you're just waiting for them to go down. You know what I mean? Like you're just waiting for him. And it took me like years to, to not be as, uh, as stressed out about that, man. Like I felt like I had to go every single day and like put on the best content I possibly could, etc. cetera. And, and it's only really been recently that I've been able to just kind of, uh, just enjoy myself. I still care about numbers. I, I love whenever my numbers are high and I hate whenever they're low, but I love it just as much as I used to. And I don't hate it as much as I used to. And I think that's a good thing. And that's the main thing. Now, Final Fantasy fans watch you. Yeah, exactly. That's it. 2016 followers. Exactly. <laughs> Uploading asthma clips. The thing is, like, I tell you guys, there was one of the, uh, this is like not my official channel, but this is like back in the day. There was one dude that all he did was upload clips of my stream. He made $30,000 in one month. Thirty thousand dollars in one month just uploading my content and making money off of it and i made a comment about that and he wanted to brag and tell me wait a second this month after that he made thirty four thousand so yeah people upload my shit all the time uh, we have to, like, there are some things on YouTube that, like, we can't let people re-upload, etc. But if I don't have an official account for something and people want to upload stuff about me, like, on TikTok and, and things like that, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You want to make money off of me? Go for it. I don't care. Uh, it's like, what am I going to, what am I going to lose from it? Who runs Asmongold TV channel? Uh, that, that's the channel I own, but obviously it's run by my editors, right? That's what it is. Free advertising? Yeah, who gives a fuck, man? 
Could be for a lawsuit. Who gives a fuck, dude? Like, it doesn't matter. And, and, like, obviously, I might have to, you know, ask people to take something down for some reason, right? You never know why. But uh, I've never really had to do that. Now, I've been lucky that everybody who's done that kind of stuff that's been uh, chilling. Runberg and Lamar checking in. Yo, I used to have a... Uh, Cody used to work at the HEB on Runberg, actually. And we'd always go there, and uh, there were somehow more crackheads there than there were at, uh, at the other HEB closer to the house, which was crazy. Like, it was, it was impressive how many crackheads were at that HEB. Like, it really was. Like, I, that was some... That was nuts. Hmm. You know, Twitch stopped paying Russian content creators? I don't think it's Twitch that stopped paying them. It was like the uh, the payment processing system or something like that. I don't know. I don't want to get into politics today, right? I, I just, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to do it. Now, I've wanted to do a, uh, a fundraiser or a charity thing. Give me a second, guys. I got to fucking do that thing I have to do. Give me a second. I want to do a fundraiser for some of the people that have had their uh, their shit destroyed, their lives fucked up in Ukraine. Uh, I I've been talking to some people about that, and that might happen kind of soon. Uh, yeah, so I, I do want to do that. Uh, probably, like, within, like, maybe a couple weeks or so. Uh, we'll see. A a and, like, yeah, I'll raise some money for them and, uh, you know, help them fucking uh, rebuild their lives. And uh, that that's important to me. Yeah, shave head fundraiser. Uh, I, I think I might do like maybe not that, but like maybe something that's close to that. Maybe who knows? But I, I like as I said before with like the the Ukraine thing. Like the only thing, the only message that I have to say with that is like please just don't harass random Russians just because they live in the country, man. Like they got nothing to do with that. A lot of them probably don't like it. It's the same thing as like uh you know I said this before, right? It's the same thing as like guys that try to put like some guy in the Middle East. They try to put him on the spot. It's like well what why why does your country fucking like do X or Y? thing it's like well i don't know like i didn't do any i don't have anything to do with that right i just live here right my pa yeah i was just born here and i happen to be here right i'm fucking you know 22 years old i can't do shit about this and like there's plenty of russians that are like that you know you know like yeah and uh it's the same thing also like uh fucking europeans do with americans sometimes and and, and it's like uh, europeans try to bring up some shit like oh man remember whenever america did x or y thing right and like that's definitely happens all the time and i fucking hate that because like i hated i i didn't agree with what they did either so just try not to take your frustrations on the russian government out on the russian people that's all i'm really trying to say man that's all i'm trying to say not not on a personal level man you're, you're not helping anybody you're not fighting for justice uh you're not making things right you're just making them worse no no shot don't do that <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to see that at all. Uh, maybe, but the hope is to make them fight for what's right. No, people are just looking for an excuse to be an asshole. They do this all the time. People constantly go around in the world and they look for excuses to be violent. They look for excuses to be abusive. They look for excuses to be bullies. I don't want to hear that. Like, you harassing a random Russian on Twitter is not going to make this person think, Oh, wow, wait a minute, let me rethink my entire life, uh, my, my entire life orientation and go immediately protest against Putin that could potentially put my entire life and my family's life in danger. Like, you have, you're just so, like, fucking delusional if you think that's going to help. Like, please, please just cut the bullshit with that. I'm just so tired of reading that. It's so frustrating. They want us to have some power to change things. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I, I really don't like that at all. Ban a retard who said that? No, they're just stupid. They don't know. They probably have never even heard what I said. Because I never hear people say what I say. Because mob justice is so popular on the internet because it empowers losers to be abusive. And so you constantly have losers that get abusive and they feel good about themselves. And anybody who ever tries to rein it in gets fucking hate for it because they're not allowing people to let out their life frustrations on some random person who doesn't deserve it. Self-righteousness. I hate it. I'm not a fan. It wasn't good whenever people burned witches. 
It wasn't good whenever there was inquisitions. It wasn't good during McCarthyism. It wasn't good during the 2000s whenever Arabs and anybody from the Middle East was targeted. It wasn't good during coronavirus whenever random Asians became the victims of abuse for no reason, even though they didn't even come from fucking China. And it's not good now either. Quit it. You're not helping anybody. You're just being an asshole. Let's go ahead and read the rest of these. I could talk about this all day, but that's it. Uh, as mom, whenever a tree keeps doing squeaky noises in his treehouse, yeah, I just cut the bitch down. Yeah, I just cut. I cut the bitch down. Like, I could do a tree cutting down stream. That would be fucking fun, man. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Rack to Crucial's video on Broxigar being nice to Illidan and Legion. Not sure if you've seen it. No, I haven't seen it. I'm not going to look at that today. I've got some other stuff that I wanted to look at. The main thing that I wanted to look at today is, um... There was a video about accessibility. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. The Elden Ring incident, man. It's just, it really is something special, isn't it? Yeah, tree cutting therapeutic. How much RAM do I have? I have enough dedicated RAM to run Minecraft. That's what it is. Yeah, let me go back down over here. And uh, I want to go ahead. I want to knock out. I haven't even, I, I just sat here talking for like an hour and a half. Like, this is going to be a long fucking intro. Holy shit. Like, we got to get a lot of shit done today. So anyway, uh, let, let's go ahead. I'll look at this. Uh, uh, yeah, this is it. The accessibility numbers. I wanted to watch this video. I was going to watch it the other day. I didn't watch it the other day. I'm going to watch it today. Uh, because there's been a lot of discussion about Elden Ring and accessibility, etc. So let's go watch a few more of these. And then I want to move on. Talk a little bit about, uh, about like, the WoW uh, updates and everything like that. And then after that, let's go ahead and watch a couple videos. Play some games. Have some fun. You know what it is. Original Warcraft 3 game designer calling calling Strathlon talking about Arthas did nothing wrong argument. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, if it's on my Reddit, I'll look at it. Charlie being ambushed while playing Elden Ring. Last night, I was ambushed. It was a surprise attack that I never saw coming. Honestly, I'm lucky to be here today. If it wasn't for my extensive training and black belt and taekwondo I got when I was 12 years old, I might not have survived. Thank God for God that. God damn. Nice. Give us a good roll. <laughs> Another good roll. <laughs> no, not now. No, there's a wasp. Oh, fuck. Wait, oh, a like wasp? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God, please, fuck it. Ha, <laughs> Bro, you can say soy? There are three things in life that I am afraid of. Death, wasps, and dentists. That's it. That That's it. Uh, I'm not afraid of anything else. I'm not afraid of snakes. I'm not afraid of a, of a lion. Uh, I'm not afraid of guns. I'm not afraid of taxes. I'm not afraid of... I am afraid of vegetables. I'm not afraid of heights. Uh, I'm not afraid of, of anything else. Spiders? I'm not afraid of spiders either. We used to have a giant fucking spider the size of my hand, and he would sit uh, at my window every day, and I would see him, and then eventually he had a kid, and then the kid spider would sit next to him, and uh, then eventually they moved away. But this spider was, he was a big boy. Oh, man, he was a big boy. And, uh, yeah, no, I had no problem with that. But I tell you something, man. You get me next to a wasp, and it's not even the wasp. It's the buzzing. Like, bro, that shit stresses me out. Oh, my God, that stress. Like, I, I, it's like something, it's like you put water on a computer. That's what it does to my brain. Uh, it's like that buzzing, man. I cannot stand that shit. What was his name? Uh, I think I probably used to have a name for him, but I don't know what it was. Yeah, it just freaked me the fuck out. What about nuclear war? What I gotta worry about that for? <laughs> if, if, like, d d dude, if, if that happens, like, that'd be the, like, like, there's no thing. It's the same reason got getting worried about dying, right? I mean, like, to an extent. It, it's like, one of them is, like, more inevitable than the other. Uh, it seems that that's becoming less the case, though, these days. Um, it, it, but, like, 
Yeah, I never worry about that or think about that. I never worry about like getting arrested or going to jail or anything like that. I, ne I never worry about that. Hornets are even more annoying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there was one time. <laughs> there was one time a wasp flew on my mom's head. <laughs> and I had to fucking spray it. I sprayed her in the face. <laughs> with it. <laughs> and it was in her hair. And she's like, ah! <laughs> and I'm like, Psst. I got her in the face. <laughs> But I got the wasp, right? I mean, I did. I got the wasp. I saved her. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. We all have those moments. Why spray an animal? I hate wasps. I love, I love killing them. I love watching them die, man. Like if I used to kill, I kill wasps for fun, man. I hate them. I, I genuinely fucking hate them. I love watching like you, you spray them and they're like writhing around and dying. And I'm like, oh, look at you. <laughs> I feel so good watch. I hate them man. I just fucking hate them. That's it that wasp deserve to die I agree with you and I kill every single one that I see So Charlie here That's not soy. I hate wasps man. I fucking hate them man Be here today. And that's all there is to it like it's too bad. You couldn't see that but yeah, that's what it was <laughs> flying insect version of a rat no, it's worse than a rat, because rats fucking don't bite you. Rats are just being rats. <laughs> I feel like His Holiness would approve it. Japan has created the ultimate gaming bed, so you don't have to rejoin society again. Oh, uh, what's this? <laughs> See, like, I never would want this shit. Like, this is just weird. Like, I don't want that. Like, the thing is, like, there's... N Actually, there is a pretty good amount of death space. Like, I just want... I'm not looking to reinvent the wheel. I don't want to reinvent the wheel with this. All I want is to be able to sit in my chair and play video games. That's it. Uh, I, I don't want to have some weird thing like this. Like I just want to have a chair and a desk and a keyboard and a mouse. I don't want a cup holder. I don't want anything, okay? I just want the normal shit. I have to sit up. Yeah, I, I don't like sitting like that either, to be completely honest with you. Watch Zeno's clip on Reddit. I'll look at that in a bit if you guys remind me. Uber Danger certified five star bang wow girlfriend was a dude. I've now gotten confirmation from the gnome Larry Six that my longtime endearing primal top shelf certified five star banging wow girlfriend was a guy named Eric. And let's be honest, it's much better this way. Well, of course it is, because that means that you're getting the true World of Warcraft experience. Yeah, there you go. Devs dissing so called Elden Ring. Oh, yo, bro, I actually was going to watch this one. I think this is even on my watch later. Yeah, I think that it was. So, yeah, I'll, I'll look at this for sure. Uh, give me a second. Let me Epic Wholesome Narwhal Bacon uh, Asthma Gold 100. Oh, great. He's got soy, Funko Pops, and he's at a GameStop. That's great. Yeah, it looks just about right. It's just that easy. What's this? Guys, I think I'm using the wrong weapon. Yeah, I I think I, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a spellcaster build. Yeah, um, it seems like um, you know it, it's it's a different way to look at the game and and everything, and it's just an interesting way to to play. Uh, that's that's pretty good. That's the weakest caster. I can't unsee today's thumbnail. Oh, with the face? That's not how we look, to be fair. This is a painting by, uh, is this Caravaggio that did this? I don't remember who it was. Uh, it, it's, uh, fucking, that's Kronos, or it was Saturn in this photo, uh, eating his children from the Greek myth. Goya? Yeah, yeah, Francisco Goya, right? Uh, I think that's what it was. Am I right about that? Yeah, trash mods. Yeah, it's been quite a while. And, uh, yeah, Saturn dev devouring his son or something like that. Or, yeah. It's been quite a while. And, uh, whatever happened to the snack box? Is new to thee? Listen, if I get banned for that, tw I, it's just Twitch hates art. <laughs> wait, wait, so, so Twitch hates, Twitch hates learning and they hate art? I mean, listen, if, if they hate it, then that's what it is. Why would he devour his son, though? The reason why he devoured his son and all of his, uh, his, uh, 
what do you call it, his, his children, uh, is because he, uh, he got a prophecy that his son would succeed him. Because a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Kronos actually succeeded his father, which was Uranus, because Uranus was the sky. And the unironic, legitimate fucking lore of Greek mythology is that Kronos and his, uh, his brothers waited for Uranus to stick his dick in Gaia, who was his mother, and because uh, Uranus didn't let them uh, come out of her, basically her body, they waited for his dick to come in there and they cut it off. And then that's how they allowed, uh, that's how they allowed themselves to get out. And so because they were able to fucking rise up against their father, Kronos was worried about that same thing happening. And that's why uh, all of his, uh, he, he ate all of his children except for Zeus, and Zeus fulfilled the prophecy by overtaking him. That's what happened. And, and then also, like, they tried to overtake... I think Gaia tried to overtake Zeus later on uh, with... Uh, what was the fucking... Uh, the thing with a hundred heads? Why, why can I not remember its name? Not a not hundred heads. That's the fucking Hecatonkeries. That That's something else. Uh, Kratos? No, not Hydra. Man, y'all don't even know this. Uh, Typhon. Typhon. There it is. Yeah, Typhon. I forgot the name. And so, yeah, there's a lot to it. Like, as I said, guys, I... You know, I, I, I know a lot of fucking stories, right? Not just my own stupid ones. And, and so, yeah, there's a whole lot that came to it. Yeah, and then Kratos came along. Exactly. Kratos isn't great. Kratos isn't in the official war. Uh, he's kind of like a... Uh, he, he's like headcanon. Let, let's just say that. And uh, let's see. World of Warcraft patch duration and days. 1.0 uh, with guesswork. With shadow ends. I'm not really going to worry about that too much. Uh, it is what it is. He's like Shadow of, Yeah, he's like Shadow of Mordor. Yeah, except for he's the Shadow of Sparta. Or Ghost of Sparta. Excuse me. Um, I'm tired of Andy this and Andy that. I'm going to say it. Everyone saying, insert game here, Andy's, is probably circle jerking their own favorite game anyways. I just want to see Asmon play a video game, dude. Tired Andy has entered the chat. The anti-Andy Andy. Listen. Oh my god, it's so fucking funny to see that. Um, I feel like the Andy stuff in my chat is pretty bad because, like, I talk about a lot of different games and there's people that are, like, anxiously waiting for me to validate their game decision. And whenever I do, they're like, yes, I knew he liked me the best. I knew it. And, like, that's all it was, man. All chat banned. Yeah, what happened, dude? I don't know. It was probably a mod thing, okay? Uh, if people got timed out for that, there's probably a good decision for it, okay? Or a good reason for it. So, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, 30-year-old balding man. Please tell me my game is good. Yes, I know exactly how it is. Let me see here. Just disable chat. Primarily Lost Ark Player and New World Andes, WoW Andes, and Final Fantasy Andes are mauling over that right now. Threw up in my mouth a little bit there. And, uh, hot take, Copium used to be a fun emote until Spurgs drove it into the ground with constant spamming. Yes, that's why I got rid of it. It's because literally everything was Copium, and it wasn't fun anymore. Uh, Asmon Andes are getting out of hand. Never understood why people are Andes. I like the game that I play. Listen, it's all for fun, man. Uh, I wouldn't take it too seriously. Uh, let's see. El Elden Ring from an NPC's perspective. Yeah, I'll look at that real quick. Why not? Uh, original Warcraft 3 dev tells Asmon to get psychological help. Okay, good. All right, let's watch this one. This is good. Let's watch this one first, and then we'll watch the other ones, okay? Here we go. I can't believe I have to make this video, but... <clears throat> if you think Arthas did nothing wrong in the Culling of Stratholm, you need to seek psychological help. No. You need to talk to a therapist. No. The mass murder of civilians should never be the solution to a plague situation. We're not out there gunning down people with COVID or f setting flame to people with Ebola. We just don't do that because that is in This is the guy. This is the guy that every zombie movie he is the plot device. His friend gets bit. Somebody in the group gets bit. And he says, No, we can't just shoot him. We can't just leave him behind. 
We can't do it. And then he is the reason why everybody else dies. That's what it is. This is the guy right here. He is the real plot device. Humane. It is inhuman. That is the point of the culling of Stratholme. It's the turning point of evil for Arthas. So no, please stop no, saying no, that he did nothing no. wrong trying to justify his actions. They are absolutely wrong. No. The only way to defeat no. the undead is to flee because you are depriving them of the resource they need to create more undead. The humans that they kill and turn into undead. Okay. Number one, what if they follow you? So, like, if you're in a house, and then there's an undead zombie that's in the house, and then you go next door, and you go to the house that's next to that house, what happens if he goes to that house, too? You see what I'm saying? You see how this happens? Please seek help. Please. No. Arthas was completely right. A absolutely not. Uh, I completely disagree with this. I think he's totally wrong. And I'm going to explain why he's totally wrong. Blame to people. Uh, the reason why uh, something like COVID or something like, uh, uh, like Ebola is not really comparable is because a lot of times people that get COVID don't turn into zombies. Uh, it, it's, it's, not as a, it, it's not as bad. Like, if, if somebody... <sighs> and not yet? Yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. Like, Arthas did the only thing that a king could do. Is, whenever you cut off an infection, you don't remove just the infected part of, like, the arm or the foot or anything like that. You remove a lot of, actually, generally healthy tissue, too. That's just what happens. And in the process of that, you do that because you want to be sure that it's clean. And you don't do that because you hate the tissue that you're removing. You do that because you care about the tissue that you're trying to save. Arthas understood that. And that's why he was the one true king uh, of, of the Alliance. Is that nobody else could understand that. Nobody else could see the world that Arthas could see. They, they didn't have his foresight. And that's why Arthas was uniquely positioned to be the most insightful king and, and the most uh, simultaneously ruthless, but also caring king that the Alliance had ever had and, and the humans had ever had. That's all there was to it. Yeah, that, that's all there fucking was to it. Can we have an Arthas-inspired OTK hoodie? Yeah, I don't know. Devs at Blizzard by 7,000. No, the thing is, like, listen. All I'm saying is that Arthas made the right decision. And he made the only decision that would... He made the decision that would save the most people. It's kind of like the trolley paradox or something like that. Like, Arthas made the call that would save the most people. Do you guys see kind of what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a conflicting thought. Reason people died on COVID. I understand that. Uh, I, I, like, COVID is not being a zombie apocalypse, man. Yeah, COVID is not a zombie apocalypse at all. Uh, why not dispel them? Because they couldn't. And they still haven't been able to. Yeah, they can't dispel them. It didn't work that way. The town was already infected. The hardest choices require the strongest of wills. Exactly. And Arthas, Arthas made a king's decision. Uther and Jaina, that's why they're not the king. That's why they, they, that's why, uh, fucking, the only thing Jaina ever did, like, Uther gets manipulated by a fucking girl telling him to throw Arthas into the maw. Even after Uther knows at this point that Arthas was being mind controlled. Uther's a fucking idiot. Like, uh, Tyrion Forgering was fucking awesome. Tyrion Forgering was great. But Uther was a bitch. Uther was the, Uther, in my opinion, was the biggest pussy paladin out of all of the paladins. Like, Turalyon was even better than Uther, and Turalyon got his sword blocked by a guy's hand. Okay. Bolvar 
was not really a paladin, to be fair. Bolvar was just a warrior. When the fuck did he ever use magic? He was just a warrior. Uh, yeah, it, that's not it. Uh, Jaina went crazy on Dalaran later? Yeah, because she's a crazy bitch. The thing is, like, a lot of the female characters in WoW, the main plot device that these female characters exist around is being crazy. Uh, that's basically it. Whether it's Ashara, Sylvanas, Jaina, or Tyrande, all of them are basically fucking crazy. So, yes, their emotions getting the better of them. Yes, it, it's very uh, one-dimensional character writing for many of the female characters in, in WoW. I've said this for years. And, and so, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, fucking uh, Maiev is another one, for sure. You're not invited to Uther's party, then? Good. Uther was a pussy bitch. Let's watch this. Elden Ring from an NPC's perspective. Pause this music real quick. Mm, yes, this is good. This is very, very good, yes. Siegfried, how goes construction on the chest-high wall? Bonnefy, so good to see you. They're I never going to the get over it. wall as high as a chest. Ah, just the height we desire. No one can get over a chest-high wall. <laughs> no one. Smart. I picture a man trying to scale our wall, and I think, no, it couldn't be done. Impossible. <laughs> there is no way. For someone to ask me to rank the crossability of different types of walls, I would rank them as such. Chest-high wall, there's no way. Knee-high wall, you might stand a chance. The wall wall, <laughs> you're getting over that bad boy. Gentlemen. Hello? Ewan, is that you? Ewan, what are you doing over there? I crossed because I thought I saw a four-leaf clover. How did you get over there, Ewan? You're on the wrong side of the chest-high wall. Well, the problem is I crossed the wall when it was toe height. And then I noticed that you oh, fellas were just shit. a bit too efficient. Well, he can't get back over. Clover? It wasn't even a clover. He's not trapped even a out. Leaf. Just like a weed or something. Ewan! Oh. You damn fool, Ewan! No, I'm out. You are in. I, I'm on the outside. No, you and I know you're out, but you are you in. I'm in trouble. I feel I like this is the, um, this is the spiritual successor to Monty Python. I'm in. What? You and this happens every time you out. What? You and you fail to understand <laughs> yeah. me. It yeah. is upsetting. I'm going to die and you're making jokes. You and Siegfried. Wait, you... what is that? Someone's heading right for the chest high wall. Uh oh. He is suicidal! He is coming right for the chest high wall! <laughs> Who's that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What? Oh. No! You're, you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate. It, it is tightly like guarded me. by yeah. hardened old hounds. Instead, try this opening. No, I'll use no. the main. I literally just said dogs will attack you, and you're saying no. No, I'll use what the main entrance. Also, He's the main character. There, and there was a pressure Any game with the 50 gifted subs, an thank you so much. I appreciate it, thank you. you. Step on it. Okay, what if there thank was you, thank also you, a guy with a crossbow in there? Oh, shit. What did I do to not be trusted? Oh, beyond shit. Beyond looking all like this and stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> oh Dad, shit! Is that you, son? Father? What the fuck? Where have you been? Why do you have that thing in your hand? Put it down. No, I'm worried about you. I, I, I missed you. I, we, we, we needed you. We, we need to go kill people for food now because you stopped providing. You don't need a weapon. No, I do need to do it because of, because of you. That's so crazy. Come on, give that to your hug. Oh, Daddy, I can't resist your hug. Daddy, it's really you. Totally, 100%. Mm. Time to join Daddy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mm, my Daddy killed me. Oh. What the fuck, dude? Oh, my God. That shit was savage. Came out of nowhere. No, this why, dark. Yeah, I know. Oh, tarnished you are. <laughs> you will find little hope in these ashen, dreary lands for your kind. Oh, these Damn. cursed ashen fields. I have little to gain. You will be in a bad mood for the rest of your life. Rekindle the flame. Dark, dreary speech. Anyway, tarnished. You will find little levity, 
little to laugh about. You won't even find an incredibly goofy looking character in a field somewhere. Well, howdy there, stranger. <laughs> it would seem you happened to cross me at just the right time. It would, of course. It would appear that I am stuck in the ground. Here. Of fucking uh, course. Could, Holy I could shit. I really use your help. Uh, if you want to just get around, get around behind me and maybe hit me with like a big stick or something, that'd be most useful. Oh my god. They made an American? Yeah. Ones. This video was brought to you by Elden Ring. <laughs> oh my Out god. Now. I hope it seemed like I knew what I was talking about because they didn't really tell me more than everyone knew about the game. I, I signed an NDA. But I didn't have anything to disclose, so I don't know why I signed that. I, but they just let me do whatever I want, so I'm thankful for that. And I hope you guys liked it. That's so really I'll, good. Yeah, let's see you guys. That was really funny. I like that. All right. All right. Yeah, especially like the the knee high wall part. I think was my favorite. Like this shit was just so stupid. A and then like the guy that like stabs his own son. Just your hugs. Daddy, like, it's really you. Totally, 100%. Mm. Time to join Daddy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, mm, my Daddy killed me. Oh. oh, my God. You know what? This this is like it's a mixture between Monty Python, shitty, unfunny videos from 2002. It's like videos like, um, let me think of an example of it. Uh, Shifty Five or something like that, you know, like those types of videos. It, it's just like, it, it's a combination of like almost anti-humor and British humor, which to be honest are pretty much the same thing, but it, it's, it's so good. I, I love it. I, I love the humor in this. It's amazing. Yeah, Salad Fingers. I don't know what Salad Fingers is. I have no idea. Like, Red vs. Blue? I actually never thought Red vs. Blue was that funny. Like, I don't know why. I just never did. I, it just never, it never really fucking got me. You know what I mean? Now, I know other people really liked it a lot. It was just never really my thing as much as it was for probably other people. Let me look over the rest of these. What's our continent? Uh, as much should be sponsored by A1. WoW expansion announcement. Uh, you don't even have a middle slot, man. You should have had a middle slot with a storm mount. Well, I guess we'd already know that would be uh, that would be in there already. New book announcement. Sargeras and Inilidan come back. Currency abbreviated as AP. <laughs> Faction conflict involved. Yagi Saran mentioned. Yeah, it's hard really to know if that's going to happen or not. Where was the uh, the Zeno one? Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick, and, and then I want to watch the Elden Ring video. And there's like a couple of other ones and i just i just want to start playing some games uh we've been all i've been going off on too many tangents today man uh is this it is this it right here yes okay all right let's watch it do what you want to do so you guys are witnessing a moment in time like this is a stream i did a long time ago look at this we're the same person here, as you can see. This is just when what I played WoW. Fuck? This is when I realized that WoW sucked. You know, and this is when I came to Final Fantasy XIV, and I've been playing it ever since. Dude, we had the same hair, man, except for my mine was on this side, and his is on the oh other my. side. <laughs> Yo, how old is Asmin? Oh, he's 31. Guess how old I am in this picture. 48? Holy shit. 50? Holy fuck. Do I really look that old? People tell me that I look way older back then. I was 30. I was around the same age. Oh my god. Oh my god. How is this? The stream I did a long time ago. Look at this. We're the same person here, as you can see. Oh this is just when I played WoW. This is when I realized that WoW sucked. You know, and this is- Oh my god. I- <gasps> Oh my god. I just- I... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I can see why you guys wanted me to see this one. Holy shit. That is just- That is really something, man. Let me say that. That is really fucking something. I will tell you guys- that I do plan on going back to Final Fantasy XIV actually quite soon. Uh, I feel like we've done a lot of the stuff that obviously, like, we have a lot more to do in Lost Ark, but some of that stuff isn't out yet. 
and we are going to go back and do some of the uh, Final Fantasy XIV stuff soon because it's just been kind of a while and I just want to get back into the game and I've been streaming now for about a month now and so I think it's just about time to do it. You see a future now? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens, okay? I still can't fucking believe it's that close, man. That is just uncanny. Okay, let's see here. I think I looked at the rest. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and look at this other video, okay, guys? Um, this is a video I saw. It was like yesterday. I think I put this on my uh, my watch later, and uh, it's about Elden Ring, and um, we're going to go ahead and look at it. Uh, devs dissing Elden Ring success, cons uh, called out by Ubisoft X Dev, who criticizes Ubisoft Open World. So uh, there's been a lot of developers that um, people have looked at Elden Ring, and this is what they've seen. They've seen a game that is good, and there's no microtransactions. There's no overt, one-dimensional political messaging. It's just a good game. And it was released in a finished state. So, um, there were a lot of things that really, really made people upset about that. There were some developers because they knew that whenever people were talking about that, they were thinking to themselves, well, you know, they're making fun of me and my shitty video games. And so developers got their feelings hurt, I'm assuming, and we're going to see that right now. So there's been a lot of buzz about Elden Ring on social media lately, not only because the game was just so successful and so many people are sharing yeah. their experiences about some of the crazy things that can happen in the game, but there are aspects of the conversation that unfortunately have turned sour after certain developers decided to take to Twitter to lambast the fact that the game was so critically successful because they had certain issues with aspects of the game's UX, its stability and performance, and its quest design. And no, right, well, Let me read this here. The quest design is bad, uh, PC graphics, stability and performance, apparently. Yeah, I mean, like, no, that that's fair. Like, I, I, I think, you know, Rebecca here is right. Like, a absolutely. Like, Rebecca is 100% right. The, the graphics are fine, but stability and performance on release was bad. Like, we can all agree, anybody who played it on PC knows that there was slowdowns. It was bad. Like, and it, it could be better, and I think that they fixed it, right? And the thing is, like, the reason they wouldn't have had to fix it if it wasn't bad, right? So it makes sense. The UI is awful, too? No, it's not. It's completely fine. Uh, I think that a lot of these people are um, re really, like... These are the kinds of people that I would pay real legitimate money to watch them play a video game. I, I would pay a lot of money to just watch them play Elden Ring and see what they do. See how they experience it. See what it's like. Its stability and performance and its quest design. And there are criticisms here that are UI's fair. Probably, yeah, you know, the game UX fun. isn't perfect. There are things about it that I'd like to see improved. And UX stands for user experience, by the way. User interfaces, UI, that's kind of the visual representation. Everything about Elden Ring's user experience has been ideal. And it's been perfect, except for the fact that I think that players feel like they have to fight Margit too early. And they go up against Margit. And they probably hit a wall. And they frustrate themselves. Like, that is the only thing that I would say is like bad from user experience and it's not even bad for user experience it's bad for user lack of experience because a lot of those people don't know the context of souls games they don't know that's not user experience yes it is i think it is user experience i think that the way that you like you you obviously want to nudge the players in certain directions that's not what it is it's game design let me see what it is. Let me, let me see for myself. And that way, uh, what is UX in game design? L let's go ahead and look at it. Um, what is game's user experience and how does it help? Um, yeah, I I'm actually curious about this because some people are saying that's not true. And I feel like this is the user experience. Let me just go ahead and pull it up right now and see for myself. Helping game devs develop, also develop better gameplay experiences for their players by leveraging psychology and human sciences. So this is obviously something about encouraging players to play the game in a certain way because you're talking about psychology and human science. And uh, user uh, diversity of phrases. Uh, what does it do? Who is it for? 
um, user experience, particular discipline of design centered around the psychology of the end user. So, uh, and our behaviors, thinking processes, and capabilities. So what, what you're saying here, what, what this is saying is that the UX is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Like explicitly. UX is not UI. So I'm right, and let's move on. Of the UX, if that makes sense, UX being yeah. just the kind of the intuitiveness of how yes. features of the game work, if that makes sense. Uh, civilian performance, that's definitely a major issue. That's the biggest blemish this game has that I hope from software True. resolve soon. True. PC graphics, I don't get the complaint. Uh, if referring to fidelity specifically, the game still looks gorgeous. Art style trumps graphics every time, in my opinion. Now, if from software games have never been good graphics. They have never been, if you zoom in on a lot of the character models in From Software games, they look like they were made out of um, watercolor. Uh, they look like that. That's how, how like just blurry and shitty they are. They look like shit. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Nobody cares because that's not why people play the game. It looks good enough, and that's good enough. Bring to PC graphics settings, and yeah, on that front, there are certain things lacking, like ultra wide support, and you know, unlocking the frame rate and stuff like that, which is fair. Quest design like for gameplay, me, not presentation. The way Elden Ring does it. Well, that, you're so right about that, and, and like that's another fucking thing is that like now in these video games, you have like these fucking stupid developers and these production studios to think that it matters whenever you hire a person and have them put on a tracking suit so they can have the most realistic role animation the game has. Nobody gives a fuck about that, and you're wasting your money. Like, nobody cares about this. Like, this doesn't matter. Like, it no, no, doesn't matter. Like, do you think that, like, oh, wow, Nintendo had to figure out, okay, so um, we're, we've got a real-life Goomba. Um, we cooked one up in the lab, and we're going to get this Italian guy. Uh, his, his name is actually Luigi, but he's going to be Mario. And I want you to jump on him, and we're going to track it in a slow-motion camera to make sure that our, that our Goomba Pops are actually accurate realistically. No. Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. And you know what it really is? It's pearls before swine. You put all of this effort and all of this in, and you put all of this into it, and the players just don't appreciate it. They just don't appreciate it. It's not that this is not something cool. It's that this does not improve the user experience. It's kind of like, how many streamers do you see that have really great cameras and setups and everything? Like, all of their, their production is amazing, and they just sit there mumbling along with a Top 40 song while they're playing Minecraft, and nobody's watching them. That is the exact fucking same thing. Worse, it's just different and may not be for everyone, but doesn't make it objectively worse. So this one I don't quite agree with. It's stupid. But criticisms are one thing, but it's just more the expression of, like, the fact that Elden Ring scored a 97 Metacritic is proof that reviewers don't give a flaming poop about these flaws that we notice. My life is a lie, and the fact that Well, these of course your life is a lie, because you learned about your life through somebody who is teaching game design at a school, and in many cases, if this is anything like business school, the reason why they're teaching is because they can't make their own fucking business. My, my fucking school had this whenever I was in computer, uh, fucking computer repair, is that they could never hold down a teacher because any fucking teacher that could work in this, in, in this school making $40,000 a year could work in the private sector for $140,000 a year. So you have the bottom of the barrel people teaching people bottom of the barrel mentalities. That's what it is. So if it, if game, I don't know how game design school is, right? I know like, for example, Rich went to game design school. He actually had teacher Bennett Foddy, right? And like I had teachers in business school that really did know what they were talking about 100%. So there's a little bit of both, but there's a lot of them out there that just are fucking clueless. And, and these people are just people that they know a lot about, uh, you know, numbers or anything like that, uh, or like the, the, the curriculum. Well, you're not teaching people about the curriculum. The curriculum. Who gives a shit about the fucking curriculum? It's about the application. This, this person's thinking about the curriculum. 
Nobody cares. Do you know how you graduate business school? You quit and you start your own business. But people don't even see it that way. That's what I've always thought. Developers are almost like agreeing that Elden Ring doesn't deserve to be as critically successful as it is because there are certain issues that they have with aspects of the game. Just, I feel like, ignores not only the... I would pay $1,000 to watch that person's first 10 hours of the game. I would pay a thousand, ten thousand dollars to watch that. I would donate ten thousand dollars to charity. I would not give the money to them. Oh, I would donate ten thousand dollars to charity. I want to watch that person's first ten hours of the game. Yeah, let, let's let's see it. Tality of the experience of Elden Ring, which has enough pros to outshine the cons, but also it feels like they're being salty. It feels like they're being There's, petty. They are being like salty. Trying to throw they Elden Ring petty. under True. the bus. And to me, the intent does feel mean-spirited, especially if you look at this screenshot of another tweet by the same developer who said, Elden Ring's Imagine getting taken to task by a furry. I mean, this guy just got oo-wooed into the dirt. Like, you get taken to task by a furry, man. That's sad. Holy shit, that's fucking sad. They can't understand why their effort is not being met with the same praises? Well, that's because they're delusional. Like, whenever I have a stream and the stream is bad, and then I go back and I watch it and it's bad, and it's like, it doesn't matter really. Like, if you don't understand why Elden Ring is receiving praise and certain other games are not receiving praise... You shouldn't be working on games because you don't understand user psychology. You don't, you don't understand your end user. Like that's really what it is. And if you go back and you look at every, every person who has been like a massive innovator in whatever industry they were in, every single one of those fucking people, the reason what they were so innovative, the reason that they were so successful is the fact that they were able to see into the mind of the person and give the person what they want and also what they need. Like, it doesn't matter if it's Henry Ford, Steve Jobs, uh, fucking, uh, let's see, like Mark Zuckerberg. I do think Facebook is innovative. I thought it was incredible. Um, you know, if you look at all of these people, as Sam Walton, like all of these guys that are just massive, you know, business legends, Every single one of them understood the end user experience and they understood their customer. The, the fact is, that if you don't understand your customer, you will fail. That's all there is to it. You will fucking fail. And at the end of the day, Miyazaki and From Software understands the customer. Um, Square Enix understands the customer. The people that uh, run Valheim understand the customer. The people that run Lost Ark, uh, you know, it's a pay-to-win game. They understand their customers so well that their customers are spending their own money taking out uh, billboards to tell them how great they're doing. They understand them. And Blizzard used to understand their customers so fucking well that they went and they had a massive trade show a trade show advertising their new products that thousands of people from all around the world would pay thousands of dollars to travel to just to celebrate how much they love those products. Think about that. Square doesn't, Yoshi P does? True. Uh, yeah, I, I know Square, Square Enix has like its own problems and there's been a lot of releases they've had that are bad. Even people didn't like Final Fantasy 15, etc. Right. And you're always going to have like good apples and bad apples. But you see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. When you say it like that, Blizzard sounds like a culty MLM. Yeah, and it was. And we were proud to be part of the cult. You're goddamn right. Yep. It was great. is so bad that I can only imagine FromSoft's devs smoking at their desks and using CRT monitors. This isn't criticism, this is just straight up mean-spirited attack against the actual- The user experience is so bad I can only imagine FromSoft devs smoke, uh, smoking at their desks and using CRT monitors. What does this mean? What's wrong with the CRT monitor? Huh? Well, you think you're too good to play CSGO 1.0? Sorry, CS 
You think you're too good to play Unreal Tournament, huh? You're not. You're not good enough. Developers. Like, to me, the saltiness of these tweets are pretty apparent. And the end result yeah. is that this has all led to a whole lot of backlash. And people have been pointing out things like how... You see, like, you know what all this is, right? It's just some fucking guy that couldn't figure something else out in the game. And he's pissed off and he's blaming the game because he's stupid. That's all it is. This is a Ubisoft developer and this is a Guerrilla developer, both of who have released open world games, who kind of follow the same formulaic I've had that open myself. world style that has become a bit too commonplace, uh, a I've bit made an too ass stagnant. Out of myself before. So I do think uh, Horizon Forbidden West actually takes that formula and does it right and does it really well, but it could still feel somewhat formulaic here and there, in my opinion. And so coming from them saying that. You know, Elden Ring doesn't deserve its by big score or that reviewers don't seem to care about uh, certain flaws, ignoring what Elden Ring does accomplish from an open world. You know, uh, was it Ferrari who said that uh, I don't give a fuck if my door is shut right or not. Whenever I hit the gas, I want the dude to shit his pants. I think it might have been Ferrari. It could have been somebody else. And you know what? We remember that. Because those are some good fucking cars. Nobody gives a fuck about, oh, the game slows down at this one point. They don't care about that. Yeah, that doesn't matter at all. Shelby said it? No, no, it wasn't Shelby. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Um... Let me see if I can find the, the quote. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, this actually is really not a very good uh, bit of evidence. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really not a very good bit of evidence because it's literally just a, a Reddit post. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Okay, I think this could be it. Wait, what the fuck? I can't find it. There's like no actual like good. This is what the actual quote is. It's from uh, Enzo Ferrari. I was right again. So this is actually the second time that I've been right and chat's been wrong just in one stream today. That's crazy. I don't care if the door gaps are straight. When the driver steps on the gas, I want him to shit his pants. That's the quote. Look it up. Look it up. design standpoint and not being able to at least give it credit before criticizing the things that you know can be criticized that's where a lot sources. of people took issue it's more about the attitude point? of the criticism rather a, than the uh, criticism collaborating evidence itself that? and that has instigated source? tweets like this i found it the elden ring with the good ux which has yeah. gotten over eighty thousand <laughs> likes and what sucks about the approach of criticism here is that these few developers who don't necessarily represent the companies or studios as a whole have caused backlash against the studios as a whole i don't believe all of gorilla thinks this way. It's just one guerrilla developer who said this. I don't think all of Ubisoft's developers think this way. It's just this of one guy who not. had this take to share. And of what this is not. The other ones are playing just the game. The flaming of tribalism and now people are suddenly attacking studios and saying, you oh, know, this game's better and that game's better and, you know, Elden Ring deserves this and screw Horizon Forbidden West when, you know, I feel like both games can coexist and the conversation mm -hmm. doesn't have to turn into this like war between Elden Ring community and Horizon one guy community or, chat. you know, Elden Ring. Okay, Ring. guys. All right, guys. All right. Look, there's one or two guys who are saying that I was wrong. Nobody else was saying it. You were disagreeing with me and saying like true right it wasn't really me beating chat half of you guys are just watching the video you've got nothing to do you have no horse in this race you just want to watch the video and have me stop pausing it every three seconds to get in another argument with the viewers okay i get it i'm sorry can we fucking move on okay kane thanks for the 20 subs i appreciate it thank you all right let's go ring enthusiasts versus horizon enthusiasts like both games can coexist. They have both their own takes on open world design. I don't think that the more formulaic open world design has to go away entirely. I think multiple kinds of open world formats can exist. It's just refreshing what Elden Ring does because all open world games have become lately is some sort of that Ubisoft formula. And yeah. that's kind of the main thing that I drive. But 
I'm ultimately glad that Horizon Forbidden West resonated with tons of people, and I've met people both who prefer Elden Ring or who prefer Horizon Forbidden West, but still respect them. Most gamers don't care about who makes the game. They just want to play a good game. And it doesn't matter if it's made by Blizzard, Ubisoft, From Software, or whatever. They just see good game, I play good game. That's it. Appreciate the other, mm -hmm. but the conversation has turned into people flaming studios and the other game because yeah. of how these developers approach the criticism that has caused this conversation to heat up a bit too much. Now, on the other side of things, you've got a Ubisoft, a former Ubisoft developer who's spoken out about the way these developers approach their criticism and who agreed with audiences saying that AAA open world games have become a bit too formulaic and a bit too stale. And I'd like to read this take, which is different from these developers okay. and uh, kind of, I think, represents the other side of things. Here's what he had to say. Let it be heard, let it be noted that I lament greatly and with satisfaction that the Ubisoft formula that is permeated into all major AAA open world games is tired and wrote from quest design to UX, everything about it, and I do agree with this. Even Horizon Let me Forbidden read what he West, said to the rest a degree. Give me a second. Gave uh, I'm going to just zoom back. Uh, Titan run from quest design to user interface, everything about it. I hate that every major AAA open world is the same quest design, has the same checkpointing, the same waypointing, all the same bells and whistles, and I wish it would stop. Uh, I'm thankful for a game like Breath of the Wild, which is doing a good job breaking that mold, even though it has its hands in the Ubisoft formula. The thing is, like, I mean, I never really played any of these games, like, so I can't really speak to a lot of, like, are these games innovative or not, like, uh, whatever the Ubisoft game is. So I'm not really sure. Is, is this accurate? Yeah, is, is this part accurate? Yeah. Tired and wrote from quest design to UX, everything about it, and I do agree with this. Even mm -hmm. Horizon Forbidden West, to a degree, gave me that sense, even though the game did a good version of this formula where it wasn't stuffed to the brim with very grindy and very generic feeling activities and quests. Yeah. It didn't feel like the game overstayed its welcome. The graphics were beautiful and it had all these great things going for it, but it still followed that formula. Whereas Elden Ring for me felt like it just did something really that felt refreshing. This former Ubisoft developer continued, I just hate that every major AAA open world game has the same quest design. Has yeah. I haven't played these, so like this is this is new for all me. the same bells and whistles. And this really goes to show that not all developers necessarily feel that the Ubisoft formula or the traditional open world formula that that's all open world games has become. See, I actually don't think players care about that. I think the reason why players d like a game like Elden Ring is because it doesn't have any other uh, pay to win or pay for convenience or microtransaction bells and whistles. And there's no implementation of the viewpoints of the real world developers being injected into the game in an uh, overt way. Like, I, I think those are the two big reasons why people actually like Elden Ring. The user experience, the menus, the world building, the graphics, etc. I, I think, yeah, sure. Like, because the reason why they're using the formula, people say in chat, is probably because it works. Like, that's a big reason. Uh, of course, that's the reason why. It's because it works for a lot of people, and people like that. Uh, however... I think there's also a lot of people that are just tired of seeing the same old shit over and over, and that's why they're happy to see something new. Um, is strictly the way to go. There are developers mm -hmm. out there who are seeking to drive more ambitious risks and ambitious designs that kind of break away from the mold that so many games have stuck with so that refreshing and compelling experiences like Elden Ring can kind of rise to the top. But of course, ground floor developers don't get to necessarily define the direction of the game. That's no. up to executives and creative heads. True. And, you know, whatever their goals might be with a game, but it just feels like games played a bit too safe, a bit too often. And it's the same thing with movies. Yeah, it's the same thing with movies. Like, I'm just, I, I like... I like superhero movies. I do. Um, you, you know, Marvel, Poggies, you know, like I think a lot of the Marvel movies are, are cool. Uh, but there's just so many of, of the same thing. It's the same thing. Like another one, another one, another one, another one. Like people are just getting tired.
They're getting tired of it. I think That's so. That's why I do agree with this. And I just wish it would stop. I'm thankful for a game like Breath of the Wild, which was doing a good job of breaking the mold. It's boring it's still now, yeah. Because they're in too the Ubisoft safe. Formula. And now Elden Ring pushing as the antithesis to the standard open world format. Listen, I enjoy all these games. I'm going to list, but there is definitely a problem when they all feel so samey. Ghost of Tsushima, Assassin's Creed, Horizon, mm -hmm. Halo Infinite, Far Cry, etc. And yeah, I actually do concur there. Even Ghost of Tsushima, which was my game of the year in the year that the I game came out, one. could feel formulaic, but there are so many things that made up for that, like the combat just being amazing, the visuals, the, especially the way the foliage makes the world feel like it's breathing with how it's constantly swaying, the yeah. design of the world, and uh, I like the story personally, and there's so many good facets of that game that made up for the fact that it was somewhat formulaic, and I think there's so much potential for these franchises I to think kind so of expand too. their horizons when it comes to open Not world. every game has to completely break the mold and reinvent everything. Like, it's okay to make a game or do something that's, that's formulaic and just have it be really, really good. Like, you don't have to re Like, uh, World of Warcraft, in a lot of ways, w did not really reinvent the wheel. It was just a really good wheel. Lost Ark, like Mario. Yeah, like, there were a lot. Yeah. It's that Genshin Impact, yeah, Mario Kart, these games, yeah. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Just make a really good game, and it can be formulaic, and people will love it. World design and pave the road to something that evokes a bit more engagement from players instead of this sense of constantly being handheld and navigated. Alex finished off with, instead of always doubling down on what has the best mass market appeal and always doing exactly what the mass market expects, please start taking more risks. Indeed, when Demon Souls was first proposed and, you know, as the game was being made, yeah. everyone thought this game was going to flop, including yeah. Sony, the publisher. They did not like this game. They just wanted to get it out there and get it over with, but it ended up being a risk worth taking it Absolutely. kickstarted a whole new subgenre, which I think peaks with Elden Ring with True. how the open world design has been so well integrated with that formula. And I just, I wish it would be more risks like that, but because publishers like to play it safe because they know safe. Well, that, because that's what they do, right? And like, that's always the balance. It's the balance between people that are creatively, creatively driven and people that are trying to make sure that they get enough, because the publishers aren't always wrong. There's a lot of times where, you know, developers make content and it just sucks. And it's like, well, we tried to take a risk. It's like, yeah, well, driving without a seatbelt is a risk. D d does that usually pay off? No, it doesn't. There are plenty of things. It's like, well, we're going to do things differently with this game. Uh, we're going to have it to where, uh, you, you know, like, well, you, you have to, uh, your weapons break and you can't repair them. It's like. Actually, there's a reason why every other game doesn't do this, and we'll find out why. Yeah, so, it, yeah, you do have some people that try to, like, reinvent the wheel, and they just turn out with a rock. It's like, well, this isn't a new wheel. This is just a rock. Please just give us a wheel again, please. It brings them money. That's where creativity gets stifled. That's where it feels like it takes too long for new boundaries to be pushed and new molds to be broken in. We like the comfort food, but at this moment, the entire buffet is just one type of bread. This is a great way to put it. Again, it's okay to have more comfort food based, more accessible open world with, you know, map markers and that are more navigated like Horizon Forbidden West or like Assassin's yeah. Creed or Ghost of Tsushima or all these other games. But we just need a bit more variance because it's all been comfort food as far as open world design goes. And that's where I do agree yeah, here. I can see I'll that. leave this open it's for like more Golden things Corral. I have to say and just keep it in this thread. But yeah, it really does bug me. And I do like this developer's take because this yeah, is agree. actually a more nuanced take compared to just a simple why does this game it's bad get so much it's praise good. from your yeah. viewers who don't seem to care about flaws. Uh, whereas this developer is looking at it from like there are good things about all these games, but can we just vary it up a little bit? Can we not just pretend like the Assassin's Creed formula, the Ubisoft open world formula is the only way to do it. And Ubisoft especially has been called out quite a bit after the Ubisoft developer here called out Elden Ring, mm -hmm. which is ironic coming from a developer working for a company whose, you know, UX and overall game design has become so stale, so complacent to its design to the point where all of their games... One thing I really like about games is I don't like having a UI in the game. 
Like, I, I don't want to have a UI in the game. Like, the more of the game that is not the UI, the better it is. Like, I'm talking, like, an example, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, uh, Dark Souls, or something like that. No HP bar? Well, I, I, I don't want to have no HP bar, right? Of course, I want to have indicators of what's going on in the game. But, like, I, I would like to see things move towards more, like, the more minimalistic UI. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I want to see things be more minimalistic. Yeah, 25 add-ons. Yeah, exactly. Like three different third-party websites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you want your abilities? Uh, it depends. I feel like the, the best way to do a UI, in my opinion, is for certain things like that to be optional. Like, I, I think giving players options for the UI is the best option that you can possibly have. Like give them the tools to do it if they choose to do it but don't make it to where you can't turn it on or off there's one that well, a good game in my opinion is one that feels like a touch like work being challenging it's also really fun it's hard to find that balance yeah exactly feel kind of the same and so when it comes to the community the you game, will not see the people yeah. talking about how if elden ring was a ubisoft game you would have paid real money in their store to get the stone sword key for Ooh. those who don't know what this is this is an item that you have to find Ooh. there are a number of them scattered throughout the world you'll find them you know by opening up treasure chests by looting them from corpses well, here's what it would really be there are six items that you need the stone sword keys to unlock to finish the game and there are five stone sword keys in the game and you can buy more on the store and the stone sword keys that you can buy on the store are five dollars but you can only buy currency to buy them from the store in packages of ten or twenty dollars that's what it would really be like being enemies you name it and you it would have, have a chance to, to these, fail these yeah. open certain sort of secret dungeons or little secret areas where five dollars it'd be six cool dollars not five like true lootable chests that will yield new weapons and yeah, new yeah rewards yeah. new items whatnot uh, these are important to sort of the side activities of the game now while jess here insists that these are jokes and i doubt ubisoft would actually charge money for something like the stone sword key but they do similar crap i could not disagree with this take more if ubisoft had their hands on Elden Ring. They would absolutely allow you to earn the Stone Sword keys in game, but hey, we got this alternative where you can buy them in the store because these are yeah. time savers and they're optional and we're just giving you the option to skip. It's the just pay for convenience, guys. It's totally fine. It's pay for convenience. You, I've said this before, right? Whenever a game has pay for convenience, you've just created a profit incentive to make the game inconvenient. That's all there is to it. It, it, oh, look, it's Lost Ark. When have I ever defended Lost Ark? And also, number one, Lost Ark, it's a free game. Okay? Like, I have a different fucking paradigm for free games. Lost Ark is a pay-to-win game. Period. I still play it because it's fun. But it's a pay-to-win game. Compelling gameplay of exploration and of finding these and then, like, going through this cycle of wonder and discovery and unlocking yeah. these. They're not really time savers. They are solution to an intentionally introduced grind problem or they're basically a giant pay money to skip compelling content of the game button. And that's one area where Horizon Forbidden West and games like that stand above the Ubisoft games, even though they kind of follow the same formula. Horizon Forbidden West wasn't designed around microtransactions and around grindy content. It was paced just right. It, it's a game with integrity, whereas games a like Assassin's people seem Creed, to like they do it. shove in microtransactions that either yeah. allow you to skip compelling content of the game or that try to resolve the intentionally introduced grindy aspect of a game and yeah. it's various sort of grindy and monotonous activities and that's what True. makes Elden Ring all the more refreshing there's zero microtransactions yep. no aspect of the game yep. feels like it was influenced by monetization everything just feels so well thought out and organic and it just it's just a video game. experience that feels that's it 
ideal, like it was exactly what the developers envisioned, like it was really made out of love and not out of greed. And so that's why people are kind of going out of their way now that the Ubisoft developer has suddenly like criticized Elden Ring in a way that feels cynical and not constructive. This is why the community is putting stuff like this out, and yeah. now this poses up to you know over twenty two thousand yeah. upvotes, and this is kind of the conversation that's happening. They've kind of now rallied against Ubisoft, and that's what can happen when one developer decides to, in a way that feels salty, lambast another game's success. No when doubt, their own yeah. games. Uh, just this is the same thing that happens with Blizzard developers too. Is like all the time, and this happens with streamers and, and other people just in general. Is whenever they open their mouth and they start talking a bunch of shit, that's just the way it goes. I've fallen short in areas where Elden Ring really rises above and beyond. And here's the yeah. thing: even the community acknowledges that there are aspects of Elden Ring to criticize. When it comes to UX, for example, absolutely, it was noted right here. PSA: You can sort the inventory for the love of God. Make this top so others see it. And literally, in my last video, I was talking about how the game could use at least like a recent items tab or something because the inventory in Elden Ring that's quickly true. gets filled up. And when you find a yeah, new that's item, a really good, that's you often a really good find idea. yourself having to look for it so you can either use it or read its description yeah. to see what it does. Uh, well, I've, I've, it's it been hard for me to find items, too. There is a feature where you can press the L1 button to sort the game by order of acquisition, but it is not listed in the help section. Yeah. So, look, there are aspects of the U.S. to criticize. The community even criticizes the U.X. and aspects of it in some way. But are these aspects all so detrimental that the game doesn't deserve the high praise it gets for where it does shine above exactly. and beyond so many other open world games? I don't think so. Does it deserve... This tone of criticism, this level of, again, saltiness or no. pettiness or jealousy, no whatever you want to call it, where it feels like they're underplaying the game's success rather than just saying, here are some areas where I have issues with, I don't think this is the right approach. Mm -hmm. I hope that this kind of approach to communication isn't something that becomes commonplace. I do like Alex's take here, this former Ubisoft dev who is respectful but direct about his criticisms. Yeah, people are just tired of the formula. Uh, I think that's what it is for a lot of cases. Open world games yeah, absolutely. have become complacent and uh, a Ubisoft dev who has worked on games that are very formulaic, you know, just sort of talking trash is what it feels like here. It just is rather ironic. And also this is the same individual who also played a part in Battlefield 2042's UI and UX, and we all know all about that Ooh. game. The UN UX in that game has been criticized quite a bit as well. So Here's another example of a really bad UI that didn't matter. Do you remember back in PUBG where you had to drag your items over because it was faster than actually clicking to have them equipped into your inventory? Do you guys remember that? Yeah, yeah, that, that's the way the game used to play, and I don't know if it's still like that or not. I know some people still probably do drag out of habit, um, but uh, yeah, that didn't really matter, though. Like, nobody gave a shit because the game was good. Like, gameplay is king. Everything besides gameplay is secondary. If gameplay is bad, the game is bad. If gameplay is good, the game is good. It's literally that simple. It's just, you know, there's that level of irony as well on top of all of that. But at the end of the day... Look, let's just appreciate the fact that amazing games are coming out this yep. year. Like, 2022 is looking like an awesome year for games. And I think every one of those good games can be appreciated for their own reasons without us having to, like, pit them against each other. True. Because True. at the end of the day, True. the options are there, and it's your choice to buy the game that resonates with you. Elden Ring resonated with me. Horizon resonated with me enough that I still enjoyed it. I even didn't if play I that ultimately game. prefer Elden Ring, but I'm glad they both exist. Yeah, I didn't play that game people are able to enjoy what they want to enjoy and that's really mm -hmm. what matters i think yeah with all said and done this is one man's take and additional context on this i'm gonna link this video course and i'm gonna watch like maybe uh, two more the, videos and then i, uh, I just want to start playing a game like, I've been that's been going on as a result of i was telling uh, too many stories today just uh being a, a little mean-spirited about the way they criticize the game yeah. let me know in the comments below what yeah, your thoughts and opinions are up. on this whole discourse and have you played elden ring and horizon forbidden west yeah quit qu quit being salty about shit that's all there is too much goofing man three hours yeah 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 i know i know listen i probably will do I'll, I'll do elden ring today for sure but like the thing is um i'm probably not gonna do like i'll do lost ark today for sure too but like probably not a whole lot of lost ark because i just have like two things that i really really want to do 
Long intros are great. Well, it's I feel like this is not even really an intro. Like the intro is the music. Like I this is just where I talk about shit, man. Like that's what I like to do is talk about shit. And, and like that's what I enjoy and and that's I, I'm just I feel lucky that so many people like to just sit around and watch and listen to me talk about shit. You know, I was going to watch this one uh not yet. This is about uh, stuff to do in tier 3 and I was going to watch the other Elden Ring accessibility video. Yeah, I could actually, you know what? We could just watch this one now. Because we just got done watching one Elden Ring video. We just watch this one now, then get into the game. You, you know what I mean? Like, we could just do that now, and then just get right into the game. Like, how, how y'all feel about that? Is that good? Because I, I do want to get up to 1340 today and, and, like, get leveled up. Yeah? Yeah, all right. Well, we Y'all have to remind me. Like, I need to watch it tomorrow, though, like 100%. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. I've got to take a piss, and uh, then we're going to start. Yeah, 1340 today? That's right, guys. Get your money out. Get your money out. We gotta get. We gotta get the. Uh, get my character geared out, guys. Come on. Come on. We can. We can do it together. Be right back. I'm bad. We back. We back. Y'all back. We good. All right. We good. Let's go take a look at it. And we're going to immediately do this at tier three. I hope that he'll have on this list beg the viewers for stuff. If you've watched my I Just Saved You Thousands of Gold video, that reaction because you oh, will. Sorry about that. Watched my I Just Saved You Thousands of Gold video, that reality is now because once you hit tier three do not spend any of your gold unless you know the information in this video and you know exactly what you're going to be doing with your character because you will regret it okay a lot of people that are hitting tier three right now are really trying to push this item level up because they yes. think that that's all that matters absolutely and they think that the majority of where your performance comes yes. from and it's really not in fact a lot of people at tier three well it, it's mainly engravings and fucking tripods ain't it I feel like that's the main thing that makes you do more damage at T3 because that's the new shit. I don't even know the value of gold other than thinking that it's used for honing. And that couldn't be any more wrong if that's your perspective. I get it. If you're a new player, that's what you thought. Cool. Yeah. Let me enlighten you. These engravings are big what's dick. most important. Big like dick. I talked about in that video, you have to make big, sure big you choose the spec that you want. Not only the engravings, no. but also the stat priority I that you want to go hands, to. Dude. I gotta clean for example, dick. I'm running Esoteric Striker. I need to have swiftness. Yep. I need swiftness. I need I crit. need swiftness. Okay, with a little bit of spec. That's the build. If I don't have the swiftness, the build doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay? So... With that said, I've gone Esoteric Fury level 3, Grudge level 3, and Adrenaline level 1. Forget about what engravings they are. They are two level 3s and one level 1. Okay, we have blue accessories here, okay, and we have a tier 2 ability stone. Alright, I'm okay. going to walk you through this. Number 1, market price is everything right now. These blue accessories are significantly cheaper than the purple accessories. Don't use the purple accessories because you can look on the marketplace yourself. A crit spec because it has to be crit spec for me now. Okay, crit spec with Grudge Plus Two, the cheapest on the auction house. Last time I checked, it was like three thousand gold. On I've been vendoring those. You guys are gonna have to send me a lot of gold to make up for this. Oh my god, y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to pay for this. 
Y'all, y'all are gonna have to pay for this, but I'm like, this is just too much. Our version, Somebody's way too gonna expensive, have to pay for this especially problem. when gold accessories are gonna be. Somebody's gonna soon. have to pay for this. These accessories, the blue ones, are three digits. Like some of them are really cheap, like 100 gold, 500 gold, yeah. whatever that may be. It's significantly cheaper. Go with the blue accessories, okay? The I'm, I'm gonna use purple. I'm gonna use purple. Two, because the only difference between the tier two and the tier three is the vitality that you get from it, which is HP. You're gonna have less HP. Not the biggest deal yeah. considering tier two legendaries are significantly cheaper than the tier three counter. The tier three okay? shit, yeah, like, exactly. Significantly cheaper. Go with the tier two legendary. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use the purple ones in tier two. I'm not gonna do that. I actually have saved three casino stones that are purple to cut on stream today. I've saved them because I, I've been farming them off stream. Ability stone, yep. you'll be totally fine. Again, this is a transition filler set until yep. the yellow pieces start dropping, okay? So with that said, you need to actually sit down and do the math with exactly how you're going to distribute these points. Keep in mind that these blue accessories only give a maximum of two engraving points for one and then one engraving point for the other it's two one as you can see here grudge plus two shield piercing I see that. plus one okay i do that's see. how it is so there's a limited amount of points you see that with those points if you do the math okay you're gonna realize that the most that you could actually get are two level threes and two level ones i do not have two level ones yet because again market availability and market price is a big thing i'm not going to spend thousands of gold and for something that's not there when i really don't need it okay so here's what i did and here's how i went about it okay so i've got my class at level three grudge at level three adrenaline at level one all right i have nine by nine my, all my class imprint books okay so I've, I've consumed 20 green books 20 blue books 20 purple books and that allowed me 20 to purple have plus books nine god damn equip. i've doubled down on it and i have plus nine god here, plus damn nine here. that gives me a total of 18. i can't do that with just the blue books because that'll give me a plus six plus six that's a, pl a total of plus 12. i can't do that okay so that's what i did with my class engraving that's going to knock that out as far as what i did free? with the stone okay the well, very minimum that you free. need is a five five I got a 5-6 Grudge Adrenaline Stone. That's fine. Uh -huh. I didn't really need that last point into Adrenaline. Not a big deal. Make sure you're getting enrolling or cutting for a 5-5 five, five Stone. All right. Keep in mind, this is my build. It doesn't have to be Grudge in yours. Like, for example, Grudge okay. doesn't have to be Grudge in, in your book. Also, with this stone, you want to choose your main stat and you want to choose the stat that you're trying to get to level one to just knock that out. That's why you need five points. For me, it's adrenaline. Once okay. I hit five points on the stone, I'm done with adrenaline. I don't need it on my accessories. So now that that's done, I need 15 points into grudge. So since I only have five for my stone, I'm going to need two grudge into every single accessory, and that's going to give me exactly 15 points into grudge. So I'm done with grudge. Wow. And my secondary level one engraving that I'm going to go for is either going to be heavy armor or spirit absorption. Right now, this is exactly what I have. I have yeah, I'm going to do 1340 spirit, today. Spirit, fortitude, crushing fist. Why is it like that? Because I need swiftness as the stat for every single accessory that I get, except for my necklace. And that needs to be two swiftness rings, two swiftness earrings. And that needs to be grudge two swiftness and Holy heavy armor shit. one. Heavy armor one, heavy armor one, heavy armor one, heavy armor one. Holy that shit. That will allow me to get heavy armor level one because that will give me five points into it. Now, that's not available in the current market. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've purchased it for my rank and I've also purchased an alternate spec, which is Spirit Absorb. I don't Got mind it. having Spirit Absorb at level one either. So this was available, so I just bought it. I'm gonna be looking out in the marketplace for Grudge 2, Swiftness, Heavy Armor, or Spirit Absorb. I'm gonna have, dude, I'm gonna have to figure out so much shit today. Like, tier three is where the real game begins, man. On these other like, that's pieces, whenever I get, get gear listed, that actually I'm gonna matters. Them, and then I'm going to have my level one. That's so the important knock shit. It out in one go. Now, here's an alternative way of building it, okay? Mm -hmm. I build it the way that I built it, again, based off of what I had on my account and market prices. Another way you can build it is by going nine engraving points, or <laughs> nine points for your class imprint, and then six points for your main engraving imprint. In okay. this case, I'm just gonna use grudge, for example. That makes That'll sense. essentially look like this. It'll be like class and then grudge. That's right? what I'm doing, grudge yeah. Six, that's what I'm doing. Class nine. That's there, what I'm supposed to right? do, I think. So if that's the case, 
then uh, you'll you should be able to do the same thing, which is two level ones okay. and two level threes. Um, so I've got class okay. nine, grudge six. I'm gonna need a grudge stone of five and an adrenaline stone of five. All right. Whatever level one engraving you want to be running on your class doesn't matter. I'm just using adrenaline as an example. I, I know what to That's do. That's gonna knock out adrenaline, and my grudge is now gonna be. I can easily, points. I can easily okay? do this. And I'm gonna knock out. Two this more is gonna be no here, problem, two man. More points here and grudge. That's gonna give me 15. Yeah, I'm gonna be totally okay. fine. I've got to knock out a total of six. I'm also gonna. I'm gonna do the abyss dungeon I today. I have nine from my equip imprints. I'm ready. Okay, that's gonna knock out my grudge and class engraving and adrenaline. And then the last one I'm gonna need. Let's say in this case, spirit absorption. I'm gonna need it mm -hmm. on each one of my accessories as the plus one engraving point, and that'll give me the same exact result. The way you go about making this decision is by figuring out how much everything is on the auction house and on the marketplace after you've decided what spec and build you want to go for. The last thing I want to mention is that it doesn't matter what accessories. I know I wrote out okay. neck, ring, ring, earring, whatever. It doesn't matter if I have grudge to spirit absorb here. Yeah, on the yeah. It, it, that doesn't matter. It's 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 the same thing. That the makes TLDR sense. The TLDR to this, guys, is that you need a level two ability yeah. stone. Yeah, this matters. Okay, I get it. I understand. Accessories. No, it's not that complicated, guys. And you need to at least have one times 12. I don't have a purple book. Purple books. That's the problem. Class engraving. That's what's uh, holding me back, because I don't have a purple book. One level one engraving, and then you're going to add an additional level one engraving when the market makes it available. Mm -hmm. The last thing is your ability okay. stone needs to be a five All right, we're going to cut, cut these today. So there it is. Let's Guys, do it. this is going to take you kind of a long time to sit down and go through the market price for each one. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly, because okay. I know some of you guys might not know. Okay, I think I know how to do, do this. You're going to open up your marketplace window. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know how to do this because I've searched for these From things here, before. You can, you can click this button here. Category, if I want to do Ability Stone, Ability yeah. Stone doesn't matter the class, just set that to all. I'm going to just go ahead and do, let's say, Legendary Tier 2. Okay, okay got, got it. Legendary Tier 2, and I want Grudge, and let's just say I want Mayhem. Adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, okay. whatever. Yeah, yeah, I get this, it. this, and then we're going to sort by the cheapest price here, and here it is. This yeah, I totally understand this. I, I, I already know this. This is good. How much these have sold for. There's one that has sold Purple for books are gold, 1K. One yeah, I know. 50 gold. And this is how you go about doing everything, right? If I want to check my necklace. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put my combat stats in there now because it's actually super important. I yeah. need to have, let's say spec. Excuse me. And let's say crit. 20 purple books once per roster from Chaos Vendor? Grudge. Okay. And let's I'll have to I farm that. I didn't know that. Be, let's just leave it blank for now because it might not actually show yeah, up. Yeah, I'll, I'll farm that out. Rare tier 3. I can save this preset here, by the way. Holy I'm shit. Search for that, and bam, here are the listings. As wow. you can see, the cheapest one is 1,500 gold, and not very Jesus. great. As you can see right here, there's one that are plus one grudge, plus two grudge. So if you need plus two grudge, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit two here. Okay. This is gonna show the ones that are just plus two grudge. Yeah, 2, I, I, I've done this before because I've wanted to buy go. items and in tier two. Look up prices and items. Yeah, I know how this market. part works. Final Anguish Isle is OP. Sure yeah, I try to do that play. every day. I do have a YouTube video that I'll link in the description below that provides what we believe to be the best in slot builds mm -hmm. for our current endgame. Just know that that video is showing three level three engravings and one level one engraving. Okay, our version right now with these accessories, right now, it is two level three engravings and two level one engravings. So all you have to do is remove one of the level three engravings from that video. Why would I remove it? I want, I want three Keep level threes. That not all level three engravings are good at level one. For example, Grudge is, bad. is actually terrible at level one. So you never want to leave Grudge it's, at level it's bad. one. So if you're thinking like, oh, Grudge was one of my engravings that I need, but since I can yes. only pick two, I'm going to pick these two and I'll have Grudge at level one. Don't do that because this is actually really bad. Okay. Versus there are other engravings such as Adrenaline okay. or Heavy Armor that actually perform very, very well at tier one. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're actually building these. And again, if you need help with that, catch me on stream. I'm streaming live on Twitch five to six days a week. Let I me like know this. what you think in the comment section below. I'm so ready for and, today. Uh, yeah, I like, hope I'm that helps, I'm actually so ready for today. Like, I'm ready. There's, there's a video right there. Canon makes really good videos. They're very useful and very informative. We've watched a number of his videos. He's up to 70,000 subscribers now. He's probably going to hit 100K kind of soon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you guys today. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to pop off today. Like I've got, I, I'm not worried at all anymore about 
uh, about not knowing what I'm doing. I'm not worried at all about any of that. I'm going to go in. As soon as I hit 1340, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do erection. Uh, I'm going to beat erection as soon as I get up to 1340. I want to cut my stones, and then I'm going to try to push it up there and see if I can get there. Erection? His name is Erexion, I believe. It's basically Erection. So yes, that's right. That's the guy we're going to be beating today. We're going to do it on stream. Hopefully it's going to be a one-shot. I don't know if I can beat him, though. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Like, my gear is going to be just at the very, very fucking bare minimum. And I am afraid that it's not going to happen. Cut some stones? I will cut the stones, man. Don't worry about that. I'll do that. That'll be no problem. But I'm talking about something more than cutting stones. I'll, I'll just, let me show you the stones that I've got, and we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start cutting the rocks, man. Like that's what it is. I think you'll be totally fine. I, I hope so, man. Like I'm kind of worried because, like, it's just like these tier three guardians. The first one that I did, I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was easy. Like I did. I actually thought it was an easier version of the boss that I already did. Here we go cutting them rocks yep there it is they are easy yeah i know sometimes we all have to face hard erections well this erection is very hard he's uh th like you have to be 1340 to even queue into him okay purple books no joke to get welcoming uh gives you all your shit i don't think i can get the welcome challenge from purple books man i'm pretty sure you can't uh, like i could be wrong but i i don't think so but maybe it is like i'm just i'm not really sure there's a lot of these items and everything it's like hard to keep up with everything you get 20? Oh, you get 1340. All right, well, I'll just get 1340. Well, it says you only get 10. Yeah, this says 10, not not uh, that not 20. Did we forget what numbers are? Boss rush? Okay, I'll have to do my chaos dungeons and see if I get a boss rush token. Rush token. Okay. So, we have a master's tenacity grudge stone. Now, this is a tier two, or sorry, a tier three stone. This is a massive fucking stone. Uh, sell it. I will see how much it sells for. Okay, let me let me look and see how much it sells for before I cut it myself. All right, guys. Uh, market and let's go for uh, auction house ability stone all. Okay, let's do an advanced search. Uh, item rank is going to be epic. It's going to be tier 3. And it's going to have an engraving effect. Uh, grudge. Where do you spell G? G. Okay, I found it. And then Master's Tenacity. And let's find that right there. Okay. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money that I would have to spend. Like, I could sell that right now, or I could cut it. What do you guys think? Do I cut it or sell it? Sell it? Cut it? Chat, do you want to vote on what I do? Let me do- let me cut the other one first, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna cut the other one first, it's not a big deal. Okay, um, emergency rescue. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with this one here. Alright. Cut it. Selling it's no fun. You're right about that. Okay. Here we go. Can we start over? <sighs> all right, all right. Let's let's just get this out of the way. All right, let's get this out of the way. I don't understand. Okay. 
throw I I'm not gonna do the rest of it. That one's bricked. Let's do the big one. We got the bad one out of the way. Let's do the big one. I'm ready. I know I'm gonna get this one. Yep, let's do it. Mm-hmm. This could be my best in slot. This could be the big dick. I'm going to go for two Masters Tenacity. I just, I don't know if I even want to. Okay, all right, all right. It's going to be fine, guys. It's going to be fine. We're totally okay. The Quad Laser, thanks to the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There it is. All right, we're good. Now we just keep it up. Now all we do is we just keep pushing. We keep going. All right, next... We go Master's Tenacity again. All right. All right. All right. See, this is, this is, I told you guys, like, I'm good at this game. I am good at this fucking game. Now, Grudge. Ooh. There it is. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Do we hit a red? Do we hit a red? All right, let's go red. Let's go red right now. Red, boom. Do we hit another red? Do we go with another red? Red again? All right, red again. Boom. Good. Now red again, right? Do we do red again the third time? I think we do. I think we do another red. Red again? Okay, all right, red again. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, yes. And now I go grudge. Do I go Grudge or do I go Master's Tenacity? Oh, wow. Ah, yes. Okay, all right, all right. Stop, stop, stop. All right, everybody calm down. All right, we're going to go Grudge again. And now we go down, we we go down to red, right? We go down to red. How are we guys feeling? How are we feeling about red? We feeling good about red right now? Do we hit it in the red? Yes. <sighs> I just do red twice, right? I just do red twice. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're still in the game. We're still in the game. Do we go grudge? Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Come on! Yes! Okay, okay, all right, all right. We're in the game. It's three... Shh, shh, be quiet, be quiet. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Which one do I do now? I don't know which one to do now. Do I do grudge? Master again? I think I go Masters again. I think I do Masters again. And now I do Grudge. How do you guys feel about doing Grudge now? Yes. Masters again? Oh, man. Oh, man. Masters again. Hmm. Hmm. What's the most it can roll? Like, is there a, is there a cap? Like, is there a hypothetical where every single one could be there? It can only do five five. There's no way it can only do five five. 
Seven, so I can only roll seven. Okay, then we should do master. There it is. There it is. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. We're still in the game. We're still in the game. Calm down, guys. There's no cap. All right, now, now do we hit grudge or not? Do we hit grudge or what? I think we hit grudge. Masters again? <sighs> I'm gonna put it pull. All right, slash pull. Oh no, I, I put slash pull. Give me a second. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna get to vote. Um. Okay. There. Decide. Decide right now. Okay. 70%. 70% say Masters. Alrighty. Here we go. I do masters again, right? Come on. Come on, motherfucker. Come on. Two. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Look at this. Where is it? Where's my stone? Um, let me see if I can find it. There it is. Holy fucking shit, man. I'm not ready to use it because I don't have grudge at three. I could roll this one as well. This is the other one that I could also roll. It got bricked. It's legit trash. You need 5-5. Five, five. Really? So you just think it's bad? Alright, let's do another one. Let's do the other one. Okay. Alright. This is my last one. This is my last one. Okay. Alright. Guys, guys, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. It's I'm 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 big dick in it, man. I'm I'm ready to be big dick in it. Let's go. I double tapped it. Let's go. All right, all right. Now we hit. Now we hit this one here. Emergency rescue. All right, right here. Boom. Okay. Boom. 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 Oh, bitch. Oh, man. Ooh, I think we do emergency rescue, then masters. Stop, stop. Yo, guys, stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Yo, yo, chill, yo, chill, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out, guys, chill out. Chill out. We, 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 we go, we go, we go. Watch, 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 watch. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, please. Let's buy another one. Let's buy another one. I'll do one more. I, let's buy another one. 
Uh, let's see here. Epic tier three. Engraving effects, master's tenacity. Yep, we're gonna do another one. Uh, category ability stone. Okay. Oh, I, it reset this. Uh, give me a second. I'm to make sure I've got this in, in, in here. God, dude, my hands are shaking, man. My hands are actually shaking. Okay. This is a $40 one right here. Bro, which one should I go with? Which one should I go with? I don't know which one I should go with. Buy three? Grudge? No, that one's too expensive. Um, I feel like we go with... Mm, it's hard to say. I'm gonna buy- I'm gonna buy one. I'm, I'm only gonna buy one. I don't want to buy more than one. Spirit absorption? Okay, let me see if there's a spirit absorption one. Uh... Okay, there's one right there. I'm gonna buy it. Okay. Give me a second. Let me wait for it to show up. Okay. Alright, we're gonna buy one more. Okay. Wasting Fions? Oh, yeah, it was like that dumb thing that like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got a- you can buy more of those on the store though, right? Like, that's whatever. Okay, one more, that's it, I'm done. One more, let's go. You're a streamer, it's fine? Okay, alright, cool. Okay. 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 All right. Calm down. Calm down. Everybody calm down. Not a bad start. It's not a bad start. It's not a bad spark. Spark. Dot. 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 Oh. 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 What? Oh. What? What? Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Everybody calm down. Calm down. Oh. I just... Oh my god. Can somebody trade me another one? Can somebody trade me another stone? With Master's Tenacity on it. Can somebody trade me another one? Like, uh, that, that's, that, yeah, somebody trade me and I just want one more. I want one more and see if I can get it. Uh, check mail. Okay, I'll check my mail. Give me a second. Let me look at my mail. Okay, uh, market, uh, mail. Let's see. Uh, gold to unban in Twitch chat. I made a joke about straight men. Name, really Rick. Okay, uh, user... Okay, let's see. Uh, you got banned. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. I'll unban you. Yeah, you're unbanned. That was- I think you were just goofing around. Okay, um, let's see here. Accept all. Alright, sounds good. Outstanding so stone of storing. Okay. Alright, let's- let's just take this one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go with that. Thank you very much. Oh, what's this? Oh, tier three gems. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Loot auction result, 300 gold. Thank you. Can I touch your big juicer? Thank you. Uh, ring. Remember how you guys told me this ring was going to sell for a lot of money? Well, it didn't. 
Uh, Zeo's play of Korea. Um, there's a game Zeo's plays that's popular in Korea. I say up or down, you choose up or down and scroll down to my answer. If you're right, you get my gift. If you're wrong, you send my mail back and take the L. So I have to pick right or up or down and based off of what it is. Okay. Um... I'm going to go with up because it has less letters and it's easier to do. Yep, I'm going to go with up. Pull? No, we're going to go with up. I have an ability stone calculator. I don't need one. There it is, boys. There it fucking is. It's just that easy, guys. Clear what you do? Yep, there it is. Okay, that's a fun game. I like that game. That's fun. Powerful Stone of Birth. Wait, what are these? Oh, no. No, bro. I'm not going to take these. These are low level. Th those are tier two. Yeah, th th those are those are tier two. I don't want tier two. Wire 20 gold. Thank you very much. Somebody took my name as well. One ball, Bruce. Thank you very much, one ball, Barry. I appreciate that. Level 69 stone. Please use other weapons and armor in Elden Ring. I only watch you stream it and I like to see other weapons in the game and how they interact and work. Um, I like using the same weapon. Uh, if, if I didn't, I wouldn't use it. Thank you. Um, wire 85 gold. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Check the price of your Cerberus mount on the auction house. Okay. Holy fucking shit, how is it worth that much? Average date. What the fuck? Check the mount, not the chest. Okay. There aren't any. There's only the people only sell the they only sell the chests. Let's see. Holy fuck, that's ridiculous. Uh, congrats. Congrats on tier three and thank you for the content. Send me 950 gold. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Regular stone statue. Um, I have both of these. I just bought all of them on the auction house. I know that. Um, let's see here. I have every single one of those as well. Um, I can guarantee you I have all of those. Thank you so much. I need the Punica, um, fucking, uh, adventure guide stuff now. I bought a lot of the other ones already. Thank you so much. Nimbus is like 999. It's insane. Thank you so much, guys. JOR pretty cinematic. Let me see if I can watch it. Yeah, I want to watch this real quick. The JOR pretty cinematic. Let me turn off the music real quick. Uh, how do I turn off the music in this game? Is there like a, a key command to do that? Is there a key command to turn it off? Like a, a slash command? Slash background music? No, that doesn't work. Okay, Alt F4. Okay, um, let me just go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, settings. I want to watch the cinematic and, and then we'll get right back to it, okay? Okay. Here we go. Here's the new Jailer cinematic. Yeah. Oh, I remember that dungeon. Soul of Azeroth, yeah.
humanity. Sounds good to me. Death claims the soul of your world. Now, bear witness, mortals, to eternity's end. Yep, sounds good to me. I hope he wins. Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, a jailer's not that bad of a dude. He's fine. Yeah, hopefully he wins. We'll see what happens, though. I mean, I, I don't know yet. Uh, it'll take some time, and we'll figure it out. What's this here? Jailer just got all of his Azerite to max level. Yeah, he got his Azerite up to legendary. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen. Okay, I have one more stone. I will cut one more stone, and then we have to move on. Okay, guys? Yeah, let me open up my mail, my mail, and then we're gonna do the uh, the last stone. Urgent. This might prevent air loss situations during stressful. Oh, thank you very much. Wow, thank you, very, thank you, thank you, thank you. The honor shard pouch. There's a point during cremation process where the meat is perfectly cooked. Thank you very much. I appreciate that too. Uh, Tuzer. Big dick or no dick, bitch. Thanks. Holy shit, thank you. He sent me 5,000 gold. Oh my god. And I have to take... Uh, I'd have to take more phenons in order to take this one. Okay, well, let me just... Okay, I, I got all these. Yeah, I did everything. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Give me one second. Let me use these and make sure I get these. Alright, we're gonna cut the stone. We're gonna get this done, okay, guys? What's this? What is this? What does this is? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wait a second, that one's gonna cost me the Phenons too. Give me a second. <gasps> what the fuck? 28,000 gold? What the fuck? Use the market, lots of gold to be had. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Buy a new Cerberus mount? I still don't even have enough. What the fuck? I can't believe it. That's insane. Give me a second with the stones, okay, guys? Let me let me open up one one more stone, okay? I'm gonna do. I only want to do one more. I I, I only want to do one more stone. This is my last stone. Let's go. Only one more stone. This is the last stone. Uh, who else has a stone? Who else has a stone? Is there anybody else with another stone? Uh, I see. Uh, yeah, does anybody else have another stone? Just real quick. I, I, I just want to try one to try one more. Um, yep. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, let's let's go ahead. Come on. Come on. All right. I got one. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, all right, so uh, I am just so sick of this game, man. I'm just so sick of this fucking game. Like, this is so stupid. Good, 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 good. All right. I don't think it really matters. I, I really don't think it matters. Like, I, I think I just go with whatever.
it's not perfect that's not good guys we need to have one it's like two seven seven two that's what we want we want seven seven two not some other bullshit no oh shit orion is up oh we gotta do orion okay give me a second seven seven is unreal yeah i know that's what i want okay give me one second Let me do one more. Let me do one more. Let me do... Because somebody mailed me one. I'm going to try that other one, okay? Yeah, let me do one more. Uh, it's just one more. Give me a second. Uh, great stream. Thank you very much, Armitars, for the 100 gold. Thank you so much. Wire, give me your tier 2, guys. Garbage content. I don't know where it is. Stone Masters, thank you. Inscribe Stone, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, one gold for the rope. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to go with this one right here. This is my last one. This is my last one. Actual last one. All right. Everything's going to be just everything's going to be just fine. Everything's going to be just fine. This is totally normal. I can't end on let me do one more L let me let me do one more uh because like i i don't want to end on that one like i'm not going to end on that one like no no i i literally just got a bad one out of the way does somebody have one more i just need one more this is actually my last one uh, i will not do another one after this i will not do another one after this this is my last one strong will master tenacity all right thank you Okay, good. Let me just a second. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. I'll do one more. Book, book, book. No, I'm not wasting silver. Wait. Oh my god, I've wasted over 100,000 silver. Oh my god. Am I an idiot? I'm actually going to go bankrupt. This is my last one, because I need to save to upgrade my weapons. Okay, give me a second. Good. 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 Let me do my upgrades now, because if, if this is the way it works, no, if, if this is the way it works, then if I do my upgrades right now, my character will get better. Yeah, no, no, my character will get 100% better right now. Watch, watch. Watch, these are my upgrades right here. Here we go. Bricked character? No, this is not a bricked character. Watch this. I knew I would get it. I knew I would get it. See, there it is, boys. It's just that easy for me. It's just that easy. I knew I'd win. I knew I would win. There it is. See, I was just... I was literally clicking down my bad luck because I knew that I had to save it up for this right here. Watch. Watch me hit a dubby. Watch me hit a dubby right here. 
watch me hit a W right here. Yeah, dude, there it is. I knew I would get it. I told you guys I'd get it. Okay. I can only do one of these. I actually have to make it. I, I have to succeed at this one. I have to succeed at this one. If I don't succeed at this one, I, I won't be able to do anything. Like, should I use graces or not? No, no, I won't. I won't do it. I won't do it. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. Do you know why I won't do it? Because I was a born winner. I was a champion. I was the best that there ever was to do it. Let me show you how easy it is for me to win. Does anybody have... 16... Tier 3 Destruction Stones. Is there anybody that has 16 Tier 3 Destruction Stones? Uh, I, I need to do one more. Does he have any? Thank you, that's enough. Wait a second, wait a second, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. That's good. I, I, I won't need all of those, I just need one. But it's okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. World boss? I'm going to sail over there in a minute after I upgrade my weapon. It's going gonna, it's gonna to upgrade right here. Watch. Oh my god, I'm so upset. I'm so fucking upset. Let me go do my- let me do my upgrade, okay? Let me go do my world boss. I have to go do my world boss. Give me a second. Welcome to tier 3. Guys, this is just ridiculous. Like, this is just... We're gonna really- like, you guys are really gonna have to farm out some more stuff. Like, this is just crazy. Like, this is I mean, like, this is just fucking ridiculous. Let me sail over to the world boss right now. Where do world boss be? There do he be, right? Yeah, there do he be. Okay, good. Okay, that's good enough. Let me get over there. That what we went. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me. Um, what's my... Watch the Jailer's ending. Okay, I'll watch it right now. How long is the video? Yeah, how long is it? 1.5 minutes. Okay. That sounds good. Let's watch it. Um, Jailer, in that's the intro. That's the intro. That's not the, um... Uh oh, okay, okay, okay. Bash Cutter's got it. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, let me just uh, zoom back a little bit. Okay, so he's the jailer's dead. Alright, and I'm going to make sure I turn it up because it seems like it's pretty quiet here. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, alright, here it is. Let me talk, guys. Have 
betrayed your duty as Arbiter, and shall be bound forevermore. Your madness has threatened the cycle of life and death in time. You could have sought another way, brother. Imagine what we could have accomplished together. That was fucking lame. All right, <laughs> Can someone link this uh, this thing for the other cinematic. <sighs> oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, all right. I got I got two more minutes left on this. So it's like, so he used to be the arbiter. That was the only reveal with the cinematic. Is that this the? A cosmos divided will not survive. Like, I still think the Jailer is right. I do. I, I think the Jailer is right. I think the Jailer is trying to unite the cosmos to stop the Void Lords. He's right. There's an intro cinematic too? Yeah, I saw that. Like, that's not, like, the facial expression and everything about it, like, that's not a... This is not the face of a villain. Th this isn't the face of a villain at all. Like, this isn't a villain. He's disappointed. That's what it is. He's disappointed in them. Because they won't see what he can see. He's the only one who's not crazy. It it's not... We're on channel two, by the way, if anybody wants to come over here and do the world boss. Come over to the channel two if you have really good gear. Yeah, and he gets he just gets turned into a robot? Like, what the fuck? He's the good guy. Yeah, he's not mad. He's just disappointed. Yeah, exactly. Wait, there's nobody here. The boss isn't even here. Oh, yeah. Okay, everybody get over here. I'm in channel... Oh, I'm in channel 5 now. Never mind. Yeah, I'm in channel 5. Come over to the channel 5 if you have really good gear. So you can so you can do this. Yeah. All right, let's talk about this while we fight the boss, right? Because this boss will take a while. Everybody come over to the channel 5. Only people with 1,400 item level or higher are allowed into channel 5, though. Repair gear? Yeah, I guess I'll repair right now. I've got a good feeling I might die a couple of times. Uh, let's see here. 5,000. I actually need to start watching my silver, man. I'm running out of money. Based on the uh, Grimoire, uh, there's a force outside. Six main one as well that threatens us. Well, that's a loon. Yeah, that's obviously a loon. The, the cinematics are out. Yeah, I watched it. Dude, that's just... It's so... Um, well, villains aren't really villains, but maybe we're the villains. Well, like, I'm fine if they want to do that type of a cinematic, but, like, it seems like it's kind of, like, irreversible. Like, the guy just got turned into a, uh, like, I mean, dude, like. Will not survive. 
Like... It's just, it's so weird. Like, what the fuck? It, it, it's just, like, I don't know, like, why is this, why is this happening? Camera's in the wrong spot? Yes, it is in the wrong spot. Apologies. Um, like, why is this, I, I don't understand why it's ha why, why is this happening? There's still campaign chapters after it? Yeah, where they're all celebrating that, like, wow, I can't believe we beat him. You know, he's so bad. We don't like him. He sucks. Like, the j so, and, and yeah, he was just a robot. Like, that's it. The boss was just a robot. What the fuck? It just, I, I, I'm just so, I'm so annoyed because I feel like we had, like there was the potential, the Jailer, you know, I said this before, right? Is like the Jailer is, um, okay, that was a little bit close. Um, the Jailer is, it could have been Thanos. We could have had Thanos, but instead we got, we got a defective Bionicle. Like how how do we how do we go from Thanos to a defective Bionicle? Like, are you kidding me? We got Wally. I don't know about Wally. I've never watched Wally. I, I don't really give a shit about Wally. But like, I'm just I'm I'm big mad. Uh, I'm actually big mad. And the reason why I'm big mad is because. Uh, and, like, also, why would the Jailer replay Denathrius? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, why would he replay Denathrius whenever Denathrius, uh... Like, he would... Like, Denathrius was on his side all along. Do you see what I'm saying? His only ally, yeah. Why would he replay the only memory he had of Denathrius, or, like, the strongest memory he had of Denathrius... Whenever Denathrius was was saying like there could have been another way, like it just doesn't. I, I'm very frustrated right now. I'm very upset. This is a I I this is I can't believe this is happening to me. I I, I can't believe that they're doing this to me. Why are they doing this to me? Then rewatch it. Wait, how how many times do I have to rewatch it? It's just, it's so frustrating, man. He talked to Denathrius uh, because we split reality. Oh my god. Rewatch it and watch it again. I will watch it again. Let me finish this boss and then I'll rewatch it, okay? I just need to fucking kill this boss and then we'll rewatch the, we'll re the thing. Intro cinematic, please. It's just that, like, I'm just... I think that the reason why I'm so frustrated is it because of the idea of lost opportunity. Like, it, it's not even that I don't like... Like, here's, here's a good way to say it, right? Is I think that if you had a... Like, a, a writing team... That, like, let's say you put... Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not going to say, like, oh, this writer or that writer or whoever. But, like, let's say you put a, a really good writer uh, in, involved with this... And you say, these things need to happen. Like, the Jailer needs to be evil. Um, you know, he needs to, like, do all this stuff. Like, it could have just been so much better. It really could have been so much better. It's lost opportunity. It's lost opportunity since Legion. I, I was very upset about the Legion, the end cinematic, because uh, there wasn't any voice lines with uh, Sargeras. I was hoping that we would get a chance to talk to him more, you know? Uh, I mean, after like 10 years or 50, or sorry, 10,000 years of the Burning Crusade, like, I feel like maybe we should have like a little bit of a conversation about this, right? I mean, or, or, or something. Like, rather than just like, he's gone, that's it, yeeted and deleted, you're, you're done. I, I don't know, man. I'm just frustrated, okay? Yeah, I'm just, I'm frustrated, and I, I wish that what happened didn't happen.
Uh, I'll basically just say that. Make sure I didn't lose. Alright, did I get the legendary? Did I get it? I got a lot of stuff. Holy shit, I got a lot of stuff. Oh my god. I did not get the legendary today. Wait, oh, we got a... Slight... We got a legendary book. Holy shit. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, we got an earring, grudge one, uh, hitmaster, crushing fist, uh, crit ring. That's decent, I guess. Okay, neither of these are good. Yeah, it, it's whatever. All right, let me go back to the city. Yeah, let me go back to the city. That's that's so like. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna rewatch the cinematic. Okay. JR cinematics out. Yeah, we're gonna watch it again. Okay, we're gonna watch it again. Let me go back over there. I've got to get my next item upgraded so I can uh, I, I can do the next guardian. That's right, book leaves. He, he leaves. Yeah, well, it gets mailed to you. Like that, you you get the gold mailed to you. It doesn't matter. Uh, take about what you said about Wally. I've never seen the movie, so I, I don't I like. I mean, I there's nothing really for me to say. Okay, there we go. All right, that should basically solve it. All right, let me go ahead. I'm gonna turn this off real quick. I'm gonna mute it. And then I'm going to watch it again. Here we go. Let me see, like, the end of the fight, at least. I'm curious. It's going to seed. So there we go. He's got 5 million health left. What's Azeroth's health at? Oh, it's haste. Okay, what's the next room? Knockback, knockback, knock knockback. Back. Knocking, knocking. Okay. Kill X now, I'm out of book. Shane's just go only break one, only break one here. The JR begins casting Defile. Oh, oh that's cool that he's oh. using the Lich King's abilities. I like that a lot. Just that is cool. Chain. Wait, 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 chill. Move the runes out. Yeah. This is the healing one, just jump off, I think. I I yeah, just, what's just, the UI? Nobody knows. The yeah, nobody knows what's happening on the screen. See, in order to Sickness. understand what a UI is, you have to have played the game for 10 years. And if you haven't played the game for 10 years, you don't know what's happening. Uh, I'll be right back. I need to take a piss, and then we're going to watch it again. Okay, guys? Give me one second. All right. Yeah, that's just... I, I don't know what else to say. It's just crazy. Okay. Here we go. Let's watch it again. Soak and then just finish boss. And he's dead. Happy. This is not the whole boss, dude. It is. This is not the whole boss. Don't get knocked, don't get knocked, boys. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. There it is. Let's go. Okay, here's the cinematic. Oh, my God. Oh, guys, guys, let me talk. Let me talk, guys. I'm going to turn it up. With, like, all of them looking down on him, it just reminds me of the Pepe meme where he spilled his lunch and all he's looking up at all the popular girls. Like, that's the only thing I can think of whenever I see this. 
shall be found forevermore. Your madness has threatened the cycle of life and death in time. You could have sought another way, brother. Imagine what we could have accomplished together. That was fucking lame. Alright. Can someone link this, uh... Oh. Twenty years for this? You keep that in mind. This was the story that they've been building up for twenty years. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm so mad. I, I, I've never been, I, I've never been this annoyed in my entire life. Like, I, I, I've never, this is the most annoyed I've ever been. They did this to me. They, they, they did this to me specifically. That's how I feel. I feel like they did this exact thing. They're like, we're going to put this, we're going to make it just like this to make Baldy mad. We're going to make Baldy mad today and we know exactly how to do it. We're going to we're going to send Baldy over the edge today. And they did. They did. This is just such absolute horseshit. I can't even believe it's happening. The Jailer and Sargeras team up in the future? It sounds great. Yeah, that sounds great. I, I'm, I'm totally, I'm all for that. What the fuck? What the fuck? Like, I, I can't do, I can't do this? Should I buy these on the store? Let me see, can I buy these on the store? Do I, what, where, where's my real money store? Let me, let me buy something with real money. Honor Leap Stones, that's like a bug or something like that. Um, I don't know if I should buy those or not. Okay, where, where's, where's the real money store? What, why is this a... Destruction Stone? It's only 50? There's only 50? And I only get 50? Oh my god. Okay, should I just go and... Um, should I try to actually have to farm these? Like I, I should just I should just farm one, right? Like let me see how much they are at the market. Yeah, let me double check. Buy with gold? Okay. What are they called? Destruction stones? Destruction stones, okay, overall rank, tiers, tier three. Should I buy this or not? I could buy a thousand gold worth of destruction stones. Should I buy a thousand gold? Okay, yes. Buy it? Alright, I'll buy it. Okay, I I'm gonna do one more upgrade, guys. It's okay. Accepting. Wait, I only got 40. Someone else scammed them out of me and then they took them off? Price changed? You got 600 gold back as well? I, Dude, this is unbelievable. You got your money back? Okay, all right, that's fine. Let me see here. Uh, total price is 694. All right, 
Let me do a fucking chaos dungeon and I'll get them out of that and then I'll do my upgrade and that way I can fight uh, fucking Erection. Yeah, that, that's what I need to do. And then after that, I need to go and do the Abyss Raid. That's the other thing. I, I really need to do this fucking Abyss Raid. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Get 1340 first? I can't. I, I actually can't. Because I don't have any other upgrades. Like, I can't buy any other stones. I can't do anything. Like, unless somebody... Does anybody have destruction stones that I can borrow permanently? I'm on channel 2. Does anybody have destruction stones that I can permanently borrow? Because if, if they don't have any, then I'm fucked. You can buy them and pay more. Upgrade my armor instead? Should I just upgrade armor instead? I guess I could do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I, I just upgrade this instead? What do you guys think? Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll, I'll do that. I'll upgrade that instead. Okay, boys. Let's do it. Try the weapon. I can't. I don't have enough money to do it. Thirty percent, nine to ten. You guys realize if I fail this, I have to buy more stones, right? <sighs> I'm going insane. Like, I'm actually going insane. I, I, I can't believe this is happening to me. Like, all right, let me see. I'm going to buy Honor Leap Stones. Can I buy these? Uh, let, let me buy these, and then hopefully I can do another upgrade, okay? Yeah, I'm going to do another upgrade, because all I need to do is do one upgrade, and that's it. Uh, I just don't have enough, man. This shit is so expensive. Okay, and Honor Leap Stone. Okay, I'm going to buy this one, too. Good. All right, there we go. Swipe, swipe. No, it's not that. Like, it's it's not how. That's not how it works, guys. That's not how it works. I mean, I'll buy the honor shards as well, uh, because I, I might need those. Okay, good. And I'm almost out of the crystals, though. I don't know how to buy crystals or what the fuck to do with them. Do I? Should I just buy this? I'm just gonna buy this right here. I'm gonna buy fifty for forty. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but I just bought it. Okay, give me a second. Let me do that. Okay, destruction stone. All right, I think I bought pretty much everything I need then. Okay, good. All right. This is it. It's all come down to this one right here. I need to hit I need to hit 1340. I need to hit 1340 right here. I'm going to give it one solar grace. I gave it one. That's all it needs. Yes, dude. Fuck yes, dude. We actually made it. Oh my fucking god. Let me claim the epic engraving recipe right there. We're gonna go with mayhem. We're opening up 10 berserker mayhem recipes. There we go. Oh my fucking god. Let me stack these up real quick and then I'm gonna learn all of them. Oh my god, I feel so much better about myself now. Uh, I really do. Like, this is just... I, I actually thought that this was the end for me. Like, I, I, I genuinely thought this was the end. There's more stuff to redeem. Um, what, what, more stuff? I don't think so. Wait, where's the other one? Where's my, my other Mayhem book? Wait, how did I only get... Wait, how... I thought... I thought I got ten. I only got n nine? 
You used one? Oh, really? Okay, I was so- I thought they stole one from me. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, give me a second. So I've got that done. This is good. And let's see, what else do I need to do? So my character is now- he's now fully upgraded. Like, I am as- I am- my item level is- is higher than it can ever be. Yeah, look at this. Welcome challenge again. Wait, what's this? Oh my- Oh my god. Oh my god. I just got 500? Holy shit, that's a lot. Okay, so the next goal is... Let me just go ahead and check right now. I want to go ahead and check before we do this. More upgrades? Not yet. I want to beat... Uh, I want to beat this other guy. Uh, I have to beat Erection. If I can beat Erection, I'll be fine. I need to get... Like, should I buy the Master's Tenacity books? Like, I don't even know. I feel like maybe that's what I should do, is I should buy Master's Tenacity books. So now I can do this one. This will be my first time ever doing this level. Okay, it'll be fine. Let me see if I can beat this game. Let me see if I can beat this game right here. This is going to be an easy level. Hopefully it's not going to be too hard. Alright, let's go. And what's the next level? 1355? Yeah, it's going to be a while. Alright, let's do it. Open space? I'm totally fine, guys. It's semi-hard? Okay, well then it'll it'll be better. After this, I'm going to do Erection, okay? Uh, Erection. Yeah, after this, I'm going to do Erection. I just feel like I need to have a, a bit of an item level buffer if I'm going to solo it, though. Like, I mean, I feel like it's going to be really hard to solo if I don't have an item level buffer at all. I'm getting blues. I thought there were purples from this one. Why am I getting blues if I'm supposed to be getting purples? Am I getting cheated? Guys, I think I'm getting cheated. You get both? No, I'm only getting blues. Haven't you seen? I, have I been getting any purpies? No, I... Okay, I got a purple. Alright, that's pretty good. I got pants. That's not too bad. Is there any sort of a difference between the purple and the blue pants from Chaos Dungeons? Like, or organically? Like, is there or not? Base stats? I don't think that they have more stats. Like, I'm pretty sure they don't. They do? Okay, alright. I'm gonna look it up. Because I intentionally didn't buy them because I thought that wasn't true. So, I, I maybe I'm the big stupid, but I don't think that I am. Two tripods instead of one? Yeah, but you can move the tripods over. Who gives a shit about that? Like, I did that yesterday. Dude, these mobs have so much health, they're not dying in one hit. This is weird. Okay... They're all dead. I got earrings. Okay, earrings are good enough. I'm happy about that. Let's see here. I'm going to pick this guy up as well. And... Okay, dude. These mobs have so much health. This is crazy. Okay, let's kill all these guys. There we go. It didn't... It only killed one, one mob. This is so stupid. This chaos dungeon, I'm not one-shotting everything. This is so dumb. Like, how does this game even exist? Okay, there we go. That guy's dead. And let's go back over here. It, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Like, I can still do it. Uh, it's just it'll take more than five seconds. And, and, you know, that's really quite a long time. What about my Mokokos? I have 830 Mokokos. I, I started farming some more of them yesterday. Uh, I had to take a bit of a break from it because I was doing other stuff instead. But, like, yes, now I have 830 Mokokos. Uh, my plan is to hit 1,100, uh, probably in the next two or three weeks. That's the plan. Okay, I just got gloves again. Okay. Yeah, like these, uh, his damage is just like, my damage I feel like is just really low right now. Yeah, like, I mean, this is just so low damage. Just go ahead and move out of here. Wait, oh, I got an entrance ticket to the cube. Oh my god. I, I So I just got a tier 3 cube. 
Holy shit! I wonder if I can solo that one. I'll probably be able to, right? Yeah, I should be able to solo it, right? I mean, like, yeah, what do you guys think? Should be fine. Don't try it. Do it. No, no. I, I, I mean, I think actually... I think with this one, I'm, like, really nervous. I feel like I should probably just do it in a group. Like, I, I know, obviously, big dick and everything, but, like, this is a limited try thing. And so, like, I'm really worried about something going wrong in the cube. So, I don't think that's what I should do. Sure. Yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. I just have such a... I, I have, like, such a bad feeling about it, man. Okay, we'll pull all these. And after this, I'm going to try to do the uh, uh, the, the guy. I, I'm just really kind of worried about it, man. I feel like it's not going to happen. If you don't pug, get some Giga Chads to help you. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm straight up just going to get people that are, like, really well geared uh, to help me. Because, like, the cube is, like, I get a lot of stuff out of it. And it would be, it would be good if I got all the stuff, right? Small dick energy, streamer carry. Yeah, yeah, I would want to get carried. Uh, that That's the goal, but I just don't really know, like, what's possible and what's not. Man, I just, I, I'm just thinking about that Jailer cinematic, man. I really am. I'm not happy. I, I, I'm, I'm not happy about this situation, man. I can't believe they did this to me. Why, why would they do this to me? It's just like, it's just, it's it's so ridiculous. They're, they're just... Why would they do this to me? Why would you be happy? I just, I just don't understand it, man. 20 years in the making? Yeah, I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, it's just... Okay. So, if I look at this stat right here... Uh, this one actually do have, do have a, a good one. Why do I not get any of these with Mayhem anymore? Is there some kind of, like, different thing where they just don't appear on Tier 3 Jewelry? Because I feel like I haven't gotten a single one with Mayhem on it. They're rare? Oh, they're more rare. Okay, yeah, I just didn't really know. Okay, um, well, let's just get rid of these, I guess. These are probably garbage anyway. Uh, maybe that one's good? I don't know. Okay, oh, let's get rid of these two. All right, getting rid of these. Abyss only. Okay, I'll get ready and do the Abyss then. Uh, so, like, if I look at these pants right here... Let me just look and see. So, you're saying that these pants have, like, a higher ceiling than the blue pants? Yes? I don't believe you. Yeah, I, I don't believe you. Like, they have bonus stats? No, 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 I, I don't believe you guys. Look, let me see for myself. The bonus stats are... Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, the bonus... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess the bonus stats are way higher. Huh. Yeah, so that would make them better. Okay. 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 Um, uh, yeah, that would actually make sense. Yeah, um, just transfer them? No, I would do that. I just, let me see what I need to do here. Uh, Una's token, hefty gold stack. I don't really know what these are. Uh, I'll deal with that later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, so let's go back over and... Let me see what what this is. So if I went and I wanted to use, like, let's say this helmet right here. So it would have the same basic effects, but it would have higher uh, of, of the other effects. So, like, if you look at physical defense, magic defense, and vitality, that goes up, but the other stats stay the same. 
Okay, okay, I'm starting to understand this. Yeah, I I'm actually starting to understand it. Tripods, Asmon? Yeah, yeah, I get that too. But like, can the Perpy Boys have three tripods? Oh, they can. Wow. Okay, so that's why they're better. Oh, even the blue ones can have three. So should I do the, the other Chaos Dungeon right now and see how much of this armor I can get and then transfer everything over to my purple armor? They're higher level? Really? Let me see that again. Oh, so you mean like they can only go up to a higher level? They can hold three, but they start with two. Okay. Oh my god, there's just so much to know about this game. It's really hard for me to, to figure everything out, man. Uh, it really is. You should set up tracking? I did. I set up tracking. Okay. Uh, would you be able to unlock everything to Abyssal first in case you get better equipment? Okay. Should, am I good enough to do the Abyssal now? Like, am I man enough to just do it right now? Yes. 1340, yes. Okay, fuck it. I'll do it after this. Yeah, and I won't upgrade anything yet. Yeah, I, I won't upgrade anything yet. It'll be easy? Okay, sure. It's really easy. I'll just, I'll match make it. Yeah, I'll just match make it. It's no big deal. Like, if you guys are saying it's easy, it's probably easy, right? So what I'll do is I'll just go in matchmaking and it'll be no problem. Yeah, I'm not worried at all. Like, the thing is that whenever I play this game, it's not really as hard for me as it is for other people. Because uh, I'm, I just, I, I'm good at it, right? And so, like, I, I feel like even if it's hard, uh, we'll be able to win anyway. Yeah, let's go back down. It, it'll it'll take you three hours. Yeah, I know that. Wait, no, when no, I no wait, I that's not what I meant. No, I, I I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying. I was just ignoring you and and just uh, I was thinking about something else and just talking. I, that's not what I meant to say. I didn't mean to say I, I knew that. I I don't know that. It's not that's not true. Uh, you're lying. Okay, let's get these guys together. I'll, I'll actually I'll do I'll make this a little bit faster. Okay. Okay, and they're all dead. Good, and we already got everything reset there. We'll even use those uh, those extra abilities, okay, guys? So after this, we're going to go and do the Abyss Dungeon. We're going to go in raw. I'm going to go in raw, and I'm going to do matchmaking, okay, guys? I feel like everybody in matchmaking is really good. Because, like, it's like if you're doing matchmaking... It's because you are that confident in yourself. So I feel like it's it's not going to be an issue. I, I know there's some people that are Pepe laughing and stuff, but, like, I really don't think it'll be bad at all. I think a lot of these guys, these are just, like, you know, like, just average Joes that just, you know, they put in the work and they, they work hard and they succeed. And, you know, it's a good all American dream, right? And you, you just, you, you get the, the stuff and you win. That's all there is to it. Okay, kill this guy. There we go. You're dead. All right. And let's kill these two. What are you even talking about? I'm talking about matchmaking. All I'm saying is, like, I think that matchmaking in this game is not going to be that bad. I, uh, I'm really confident that my matchmaking group is going to be good. Now, why am I confident? That's a good question. I don't have the answer to it. Uh, but I think that, I, I do think that it'll be really good. Yeah, like 100%. It's going to be really, really good, guys. You really need a support? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I feel like we wouldn't really need a support. People just need to avoid the mechanics, and then it won't matter if we have a support or not. Like, the only thing I'm afraid of is I'm afraid of... Uh, I'm afraid that, like, I will be the one that's bad and everybody else will be good and it will make me look bad on stream that's what i'm worried about everything else besides that is not really that big of a deal 
Yeah, just like always? Nope, not just like always. Remember whenever I sold that Abyss Dungeon? Uh-huh, remember that? It's not like always. I've actually popped off a lot in this game. There's just people that are trying to deny it because they, they don't want to have the illusion of me being bad destroyed in their mind. Call Rich. Rich already did it. Uh, Rich did actually the hard mode because he's actually 13... Se he's actually... Rich is 1380 item level. Which is pretty fucking insane. Like 1380 item level? Are you crazy? And he did that all by himself too. That's what that's what's even more insane than that. Like it, it's one thing to get there, but it's another thing to get there like completely solo. Just by being just by being able to grind, man. Like that's nuts. Okay, there we go. I mean, he's been taking the game really seriously, so I guess it makes sense. Okay, I've got a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I know. It, it's it's nuts to me too. Like I was really surprised. I'm proud of him, man. Okay, all these guys should pretty much be the end of it, right? Yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Got him. All right. There we go. Okay. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I mean, you can't tell if Rich is a good player or not. I mean, isn't it obvious? That's why he has good gear. He wouldn't have good gear if he wasn't a good player. I mean, obviously, that's just clearly what it is. Good player, good gear. It's that simple. Okay, let's go level four. We got some level th uh, level three, Tempest Slash, Aura Blade. Nobody cares about that garbage. Okay. So what should I do here? Um. So I should go over here and I should... Should I get my purple gear now or not? Or should I just do the Abyss Dungeon? What do you guys think? Like, I could just go in and go in raw and just say, do the abyss. All right, fine. Fuck it. Let's go. <sighs> what could go wrong? I feel like I should at least upgrade my gear. Uh, I, I should at least upgrade. Like, let me at least try to upgrade what I can. Like, I want to go in and I don't want to... You have no silver? I have 200,000 silver, okay? That's more than enough. You're 340, you're fine? No, I, I know, but I could be more fine. All right, let's go ahead. This is, I, I only do one upgrade. I mean, I'm just gonna do this real quick, get up to like 341 or so, and I'll be completely fine. See, look at that, there it is. It's plus 10, it's that easy. Like, I, I, I knew I would get that one, by the way. Like, I, I knew I would get it. So look at my gear now. Look how much look how much higher my item level is. If you round up, I've actually gained an entire point. It's pretty good, huh? You know, I would say so. So is the gear let me ask you guys something. Is the secondary stats on the tier gear that you get from Orphe as well? Are the secondary stats on that tier gear the same as the secondary stats on the gear from Chaos Dungeons? They're the same, so there's no reason to not use the Orphe as well armor. Like, the Orphe as well armor is better, even though it is bad. Okay. It costs gold? That's okay, I have, I have gold. Okay. Do we do matchmaking, guys? Are you ready to see this? I literally cannot do hard mode. I would do hard mode if I could. It does not allow my character to queue into it. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going to do matchmaking. I should not do this. I'm going to do matchmaking. Oh my god, that was so fast. Oh my god.
Here we go. If that guy clicks yes right now, he's a stream sniper. He queued in because he was waiting for my stream delay to click yes to see if I was the last person to confirm whether it was me or not. Come over behind here if you're watching the stream. Come over to me if you're watching the stream. Okay. Wow, I I'm just playing with a normal group of people. Okay. No viewers. Um, all right. I'll type in the chat. Uh, hi, guys. I said hi, guys. Here we go. That means they're gonna be good. I said first time. Oh shit. This idiot hasn't even done it before. Oh my god, he's gonna ruin everything. Oh my god, this guy doesn't know anything. Oh, this is gonna be such a fucking disaster. Oh my god, oh shit, okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. Whirlwind all these mobs down. Hopefully he's just joking around, and he's actually done it a bunch of times before. Yeah, it, it'll be okay. Insta regret? No, it's it's fine, guys. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Let's go over here. What? 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 This? Oh, oh, the, these are bad boys. Okay, let's kill all them. And there we go. You're all dead. And that did literally zero damage. I feel like a lot of times, like, people kill the mobs before I even get time to kill them. Because, like, right there, I just killed everything. Okay, so now what? Oh, we jump over here? Wow. Damn. I got my Nikes on. I can jump around. Holy fuck. Okay, they're all dead. That guy just, like, zapped through them and he just killed everything. What the fuck? Okay. Well, that makes it a lot easier. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a lot of these mobs, man. There's really a lot of these fucking mobs. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess we just keep killing them, right? I mean, who gives a fuck? There's no reason to worry about it. I tried to turn it around, but it wasn't in time. Yeah, I can't fail with two berserkers. I don't think we have two berserkers. We do. Yeah, we do, we do. Uh, I thought that was a paladin at first. I, I, okay, yeah, we do have two berserkers. Oh, there's this guy right over here. Got him. Now what? Defeat the angry Moguru captain. All right. That seems pretty easy. Let's do that. Full melee. Yeah, I see that. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we'll hit him with that. There we go. Okay. Hit him right there. That way I'm a little bit out of range. Okay, it doesn't really matter. None of that matters. See if I can break it, uh, break his poise. Nope. Okay, move too far away. Oh, you bitch ass! Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I died. I'm so stupid. I actually died on this boss. I'm actually garbage. I am legitimately fucking garbage. How could I ever die on that boss? I didn't even use a potion. Okay, let's see here. Okay, alright, they're all dead. It's not even my fault. Yeah, I don't know why they had to fuck up like that. That wasn't my fault at all. 
Okay, you need slow potions, bro? No, it's okay. No pots in Abyss? No, I just, I, I didn't know what to do. That's all. Uh, I just made a mistake. It, it won't happen again. Okay. Okay, hit him with this too. There we go. That would have been way better if I had used it with my other ability, but I was being stupid and I didn't do that. Okay, hit him with that too. There we go. Jumping over to him. All of these abilities don't matter. Let's head there. Okay, so we have to go inside of this. Okay, I'm gonna use my heal. I'm gonna use my heal as much as I can. Okay, I, I fucked up. That's fine. It doesn't matter if I fucked up. It doesn't matter. That's normal for me to fuck up. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back in. Okay, I'm gonna heal myself. I'm healing myself. I'm healing myself. I'm staying alive. I'm healing myself. I should be fine. I should be fine. I should be fine. I'm not fine. I almost had my potion up, but I didn't have it up in time. Okay, that's fine. Zug Zug ignoring mechanics? I don't know what they are. Uh, if I knew what the mechanics were, I would do them. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done this fight. I don't understand how it works. Okay, hopefully this guy can beat him. You can do it, man. You can do it. You got it. You got it. You got it. He's dead. All right. Yeah, I don't have my halberd. Press X, you can cancel mayhem. Oh, I should have done that. You're right. That would have been a way better idea. I just didn't even think of it, man. I was under pressure. Uh, I, I don't work well under pressure, man. Okay. Hit him with that one right there. And probably this. Get out of that. Jump over to here. Okay. Ooh, that's really bad. Okay, move over to this way. See, like, I don't know what he does and what he doesn't do. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get away. See, I have to find out, like, not only what does he do, but what does he not do. I hit my potion, it just didn't go off. Yeah, I, I hit my potion, like you even heard the sound. Uh, potion just didn't go off. Alright, let's go again. He death kills you a lot? No, it's okay. Complete the quest? I can't. It's a weekly quest and I've already completed the weekly quest. Okay. Maybe I should save this, because I'm only going to be able to use one Awakening anyway. I'll save it until later on. Okay. Hit him right there. Big dick damage. Okay, moving out of that. There we go. Nice. It's too bad we can't stun him there. We'd be way better off. Okay, now he's going to do that. That's not a big deal. All I have to do here is just not die. I feel like as long as I don't die, I'll be fine. Okay. So whenever he does that whirlwind, I need to make sure I'm topped for that. I, I think that's really what we're fucking up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can do that again. All right, that's fine. Just get out? Get So you think like, I have to get out of the fire for that? Uh, I don't know about that. And I really mean that. Like, I, I have no idea. Like, this is all new to me. Okay. That was really good damage there. 
Okay. Yeah, I just I wish I understood how he how he worked. Uh, I mean, I guess that's oh, just like that's how time. That's just like that's what time does, right? You just learn how it works. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is where he does this. And we can't be in front of him for that. Okay, there we go. Big damage. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Okay, moving around here. Let's go ahead and take a, a heal. All right, all right, here we go. Okay. All right, we should be fine here. Uh, let's see, can I move out of that? No, I can't. I have to stay in there. Stunned him. Okay, hit him with that right there. Okay, I'm out of that. Okay, it's really hard to tell, like, what to do here. Okay. Get my heal as well. He does four of those, right? Yeah, he does. Okay. Um, oh, wait. No, dude, I was out of that. What do you mean? Like, what, what the fuck? I was out of that shit. No, you weren't. You walked into it? Well, how could I walk into it if I got hit by both of them? How does that make any sense? Okay. I'm mad. Uh, I, I feel like that was dumb. Okay. Okay, all we have to do is just make it to where we don't, like, nobody dies. And, and that's, like, we just have to get through this phase of the fight, and I think the rest of the dungeon should be easy. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, this is the thing where he does a lot of damage, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so then there we go. So we're, we're, still, we're still in the game here. Okay, let's go. And where's my heal? Oh, oh, I, oh, 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 I see it now. Okay, and then I have to kill, like, these totems, right? Can I get out of that? Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just time stop whenever he does the spin. Well, I, I don't know what to do, right? The thing is, like, you guys have to remember uh, that, like, I'm learning this all for the first time on stream right here in front of you. I, I did no research ahead of time. Uh, I don't know anything about the fight at all. Like, I, this is all new to me. So, like, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes and I'm going to do a lot of stuff wrong because that's, that's what I'm doing, right? I'm just trying it for the first time myself here. Like, I, I'm doing my best, but, you know, obviously it's not going to be, like... Uh, you know, I'm not gonna learn things like super fast because I just don't know what to do, right? It, it's hard to to know that especially if you have like four people like going in there together So I do my best I, I try what I can but uh, it's hard Okay All right, let's see here Okay there we go, and we do the heal right there. Okay. Alright, now we get back on this guy. Okay, ooh, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's get back on him here. Okay, he does three or uh, four of these, I mean to say. Okay, I'm gonna use that, get out of that. Uh, how much time do I have? I have five minutes? I don't know if I can beat this guy or not. Okay, so you just have to run around them. Oh, oh, I didn't know he's gonna do that. Okay, let's heal. 
All right, that's a lot. Okay. Um, wait a second, I'm stunned. How did how did I get stunned with that? The curse totem. Oh, so they spawned next to each other, and so I couldn't get. Uh, I see now. Oh, I almost had it. Okay, yeah, 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 I get it. Well, if they had spawned next to each other, I could have killed the cursed totems before they killed me. If you break one, you freeze? Oh! So I don't want to kill the totems. You do. Okay. Uh, all right, yeah, apparently this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be complicated, it seems. All right, that's fine. We just have to do better. That's all it takes, you just, have, you just gotta do better. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it at all. Okay, getting out of that. Okay, getting back in. Oh, oh, the water clears the burn. I did not see that. Okay. So it's actually not like a, you have to take damage. You don't even have to take damage there. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Holy shit, I got destroyed. Why did I take so much damage on that one? That's nuts. I took so much there. Hmm. Okay. Just move out of the AoE? Well, I just, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Why don't you just simply roll out of the way? Because I was animation locked into an attack. And I didn't think it would do that much damage. Like, I thought it would only do like 2k like it did before. So because I thought it would only do 2k, uh, I, I thought it like wouldn't really matter if I got hit by it. It would be like, whatever. Okay, this guy's doing pretty good. He's gonna get hit by that one. Jesus Christ. And someone gets stuck in that whirlwind, he does a high damage skill. Okay, yeah, it's like there's a lot to know about this. Read the buffs and debuffs when you stagger the boss. I mean, like, how can I read the debuffs whenever I have to avoid things in, like, split seconds? Like, it, it's hard for me to do that and, and do everything else at the same time, right? Like, I, I'm doing my best, but it, it's hard. Okay, here we go. Okay. Kill him right there. There we go. So I'm starting to like understand a little bit of his mechanics at least, which is good. Okay, roll over to him. There we go. Nice, somebody countered him. Fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, that's the one that it's, like, really hard for me to understand. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, we've got three people alive for this one. We're actually doing really well. Okay, good. I, I think next one I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to use a potion right now. Yeah, we should use a potion right now. Okay, charging over to him. Okay, he's probably going to do those things pretty soon, isn't he? Hopefully I get a crit on that. I guess not. I'm aftershocked. That's unfortunate. Okay, so whenever he does that, okay, that's these lines here. Okay. I got lucky with that. Okay, good.
Okay, let's kill him. Oh, I'm stunned. Hopefully he breaks me out. All right, he did. Ooh, I, I thought I moved away from that. I guess not. Okay, let's try to stun him here. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, he's got immunity on again. Shit. Okay, he's gonna do the lines, I think. Oh, no, he's doing this. Okay. Oh, I thought I was out of that. Okay, good. Get on him here. There we go. That's big damage. He should be dead. All right, nice. Okay, we beat him. Okay. Fuck yeah. Poggers. <laughs> wow, we got him. All right, let's go. Next one. Good shit. Yep, we figured it out. It's not that big of a deal. You just get better and you uh, you try harder. That's all it takes. I'm not worried about it at all. Dragon time? There's no reason to worry about the dragon. It's just a, it's a dragon. Like, what what's the worst he can do? It's just a bird. It's, it's literally a bird. Like, why would I be worried about a bird? That did a lot of damage. Huh. Okay. 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 All right, that seems like an easy mechanic to avoid. Big dick on boss. Big dick on boss. There we go. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, this is a stagger bar. Uh, I can't really contribute a lot to this one. I think that we're going to miss it. Yep, we're going to miss it here. Oh, maybe we didn't. Okay, great. Okay, I was worried that we did. Nice. Yeah, they, they really carried that one. I, I didn't do much of anything there. Okay, big dick on him right there. Nice. Rolling over. I just feel like I need to just like, get whatever damage I can out on him. This boss moves it. He moves around a lot. That's what I don't like. Is I wish he would just stand still and let me hit him. Okay. 10k. Oh, wow. I should have probably avoided that better. I think I'm going to save my... Uh... Just going to heal right there. I figured I'd let that damage happen, but other than that, I don't want to take any any extra. Okay, what's he doing now? So he's at 11%? Okay, is this some kind of like a uh, fucking avoid thing? Uh-oh. I think I'm dead. I feel like I should go to... The, each one says eight? Hmm. How does that work? How does it work? Four, six, eight? Is it always four, six, eight? Uh, look at his back. Okay, I didn't know what that was. Okay, that's that's no, that's no big deal. All right. He does a lot of like lines and stuff too here. That's what I've noticed. Shows you on the top right. Yeah, I just didn't know. There are three star types, four points, and eight points. The boss have a picture of the three on his back. Okay, this will probably take me a few mistakes to get it to where I, I understand. Seems very complicated. It's like one of those things you just have to like kind of do in order to understand. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. 3.8, that's big dick. Okay, there we go. doesn't matter. It's not ideal, but it still doesn't matter. I really wish I had more abilities that I could do that do damage. It'd be really cool if I had that. 
Oh, this is the thing that I need to have my stagger for that I didn't have it for. Okay, so what does that do? So, like, we obviously fucked that up. Oh, it didn't do anything. Okay, good. Great. I was worried that it would. Oh, maybe that's why somebody just died. Oh, I fucked up my thing. I can't believe that. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, he's gonna do that. Hit him with the back attack right there. It wasn't really that much damage, unfortunately. Okay. Spin to win a little bit more. I might as well avoid that. Sometimes I do actually avoid abilities. That was weird. I thought I was underneath that. I guess not. Okay, getting my heal. That's probably really bad. Yeah, I, I really just kind of want to get to the point where, where we were at before. Like, I, I don't really care too much about this part or whatever. Like, I just want to get to the same point. Yeah, I can take as much damage as I want here. It doesn't really matter. Like, I'm a berserker. Okay, so let's see how this works. All right, I'm going to be here. Hmm, so what do we do here? Bunch of balls? Oh, so I guess I had to be there? Yeah, I had to be there, maybe. Hmm. Balls equals stun? Yeah, okay. All right, that makes sense. So I guess if we have everybody alive, we could push that transition and it wouldn't happen. You can't take three orbs? Okay, let's go. Let me see if I can save. I'm going to save uh, two of my attacks at the very beginning. Like, I'm not going to use... Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a few of them I, d I don't want to use yet. Damn, he has like a bunch of abilities, man. Yeah, this is way easier whenever they only have like three abilities. Okay. Okay. That sucks. Okay, here we go. So it's like we're just not even coming anywhere close to breaking that. It's unfortunate, but like, I mean, we get kind of close, but it's just like it's not good enough. I can't see anything. Oh, okay. Um, fuck, man. I like, I feel like my... A lot of times I'm, like, more used to, like, the way it is in Final Fantasy, where, like, it's the same general mechanics, but they work differently. And it's confusing. It's not the game's fault. It's just, like, I'm not used to it. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's jump over to here. Maybe do some damage. That's at least some. Oh, that was just my fault. Like, why is he doing different abilities? Because he, he never did that before. He has two forms? Huh. Earth and lightning. It, so it's random. Okay. Well, the other one, this one seems like way harder, man. Yeah, like, this is way harder. If you push him early, he skips mechanics. Yeah. Hopefully we can do that next time. Because that's what we were doing before. Yeah, this shit is hard. Two forms end enraged. So is this what it is? Uh, where the red stacks is enrage? Uh, because you failed stagger and damage the boss is enraged. Okay. Stagger equals enrage. You can't fail stagger. I feel like you kind of can. I mean, it's not like it's a one shot, right? I mean... Okay. I don't even know if I hit him. I I'm pretty sure I didn't. Okay. 
Okay, so I can't even do that either. Yeah, it's like they, they, it's like he's getting harder. Okay, so we get underneath that. Yeah, it's like we got so far ahead, like the first one, and like now we're just struggling to get back to where we got at the very beginning. Okay. All right, well, we didn't really get that close, but we did okay. It is what it is. Okay. Big dick damage, boys. Big dick damage. Let's do it. Come on. He's doing the laser beams. We don't give a fuck about laser beams. All right. I had to heal there. I couldn't move. Uh, as usual, boss is up against the wall. Okay. There we go. Great. All right. Now he's not against the wall. Makes it a whole lot fucking easier. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, well, at least I can... Oh, I can't even kill the clown. Fuck. Okay, we'll kill this guy right now. And hit him with that. If we can stagger him, it'll be okay. I think that'll make a huge difference. Okay, here we go. He's gonna do a thing. What thing is he gonna do this time? So we have to collect three balls. Okay, so now... Well, oh, I thought we collected all of them. Huh. So everyone needs to be alive or they just die? All four... Man, this is complicated. Okay, let's go again. That's unfortunate. Okay. I got lucky there. It didn't go on me. So this is the Earth form, right? Yeah, this is Earth mode. Dude, we got so far on the first pull. And, like, now we're just getting fucked in the ass. If we could just not get fucked in the ass, that would be great. Okay. Oh, we almost got it. We almost got it, dude. That's really... That was really, really good. That was really, really good, dude. I'm happy. Okay. Avoiding that, avoiding this. Yeah, we're, we're actually, we're, we're killing it, we're killing it. Oh, we did get it, yeah, you're right, we did. Oh, shit. I guess we can't be underneath him when he does that? Maybe. All right, use my first potions, not a big deal. Okay, I missed that completely, that's very unfortunate. Okay, hit him with that. Yeah, it just that one did not happen though. Uh, he only got one stack though, which is good. Okay, he's gonna do the uh, the memory thing. Okay. So he's got yellow. So how the fuck? I couldn't see what it was. Look at his back, so I have to be closer to his back. So then why are there circles in front of him? It's the symbol? I feel like the symbols look the same, though. Yeah, the symbols all look the same to me. They're not. Yeah, I haven't get I haven't had enough opportunity to, to to see it myself. Jesus Christ. 
Okay, he can beat him. He just has to just like not get hit. Yeah, if I can get past that phase, I think I can I can solo him. The stars are either four, six, eight. Yeah, I just don't know what that means. Like I I have to just probably do it wrong a few more times until I can figure it out. Like I'll eventually get it. I just I just don't know what what it is now, and I'm just not really. Like, I'm not the kind of person that can just, like, listen to, like, instruction and, uh, and just do it. Like, I, I kind of have to, like, I kind of have to do it wrong myself in order to, uh, to understand what's going on. So, it'll take me a little bit of time to, like, learn this. Okay. Alright, he's probably gonna do the stagger really soon. And now he's just doing way more damage. This boss is like really confusing, man. Okay. Okay, that's actually really good I got that off. And hit him right there. That's about all I can do. Nice, we got it, fuck yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Ooh, that's really bad. Okay, let's just heal again. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. None of it matters. Okay, that was kind of stupid. I missed that attack. Come on. Okay, moving out of that. Shit. Hit him right there. Okay, that actually helps out a lot. That's a lot of damage right there. That is a lot of fucking damage. Okay, I did no damage there. Never mind. Okay, I can just avoid that. Where's the boss? Boss is right over there. Okay. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we're doing really, really well right now. I'm happy. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's the balls again. Okay. So I wonder what these balls do. Huh. They stun me? I think we all must be in there. Yeah, the guy didn't make it there in time, maybe. Fuck. Well, I mean, that sucks. So we just, like, we missed somebody and everybody died? I is that it? Like, I don't know. Is it? And so it's just literally that simple. Okay. Well, fuck. Well, that was stupid. Okay. God damn, I'm really fucking up right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll save the that ability for the stun, I guess. Like, I'm not really sure whenever I should use it. Okay. There we go. Oh, I thought he wasn't gonna... Oh, shit. Damn, I really fu I fucked up again, man. Okay, there it is. Dude, I don't... Why is it not... Why is it not doing it now? Fuck. Okay, good. At least we at least we've got damage going off. Like I mean, fuck the stagger, who cares? Oh shit. Okay, uh that was Uh we I, uh, I mean, we pretty much we got pretty close to getting it there. I would consider that way. We pretty much got it. Okay, and he's probably going to do his thing, right? Yeah, he's going to do his thing. Okay, so we have to look at the stars, is that right? Yellow. Huh. Is 
So he stands in this one. Well, there aren't any yellow circles. It's the number of points that it has. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was the people said it was the color. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hopefully they'll kill it here. Hopefully they'll just kill it, it won't matter. Hmm. You're so dumb. Why am I dumb for not knowing something? I, I just, I didn't understand. People said it was the color and it wasn't. And I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, why am I dumb? Like... Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm just try I'm trying to just, like, honestly learn to fight. Like, if you want, I'll just look everything up ahead of time and then I'll do the fight and it'll be easy. But I, I thought people wanted to see me learn to fight. Like, I'm not stupid for not understanding something on my first time seeing it. Especially when people are giving me in incorrect information at the same time. Like, I I'm not stupid for that. Like, I... I I've never done this before. I'm, I'm doing it in front of thousands of people. Like, I'm thinking about talking and entertaining at the same time. Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to make mistakes and not know what I'm doing. Like, it's not... Like, I, if you guys... If it's going to just be negativity, if I do this, I just won't do these on stream I, 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 or until I understand them. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I don't want to, because I don't want to put myself in that position. Why, why would I want to do that? Run it to peak? Yeah. I guess that's kind of what you have to do, is you, like, look, and then you run back out. Okay. Just immediately do as much damage as we can. Uh, I don't think I even hit him there. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Okay, and I'll just save- I'll save my high stagger in case he does it early. I feel like I should just save that for the whole fight. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, actually. I- I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. There we go. I can finish him off with that one, too. There we go. Nice. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It's fine. It's whatever. It is what it is. Okay, we fucked it up, but, you know, that's what happens. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you get got. And some, sometimes you miss the fucking massive attack in, in front of the gigantic dragon that somehow you missed. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Okay, there we go. Got him. All right. Okay. See, like, whenever he's faster, I feel like it's harder to avoid his attacks. No, I, I've learned that. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna heal here. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal right now. Oh, um... Let's see, what can we do here? Uh, I might have to heal again, even. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, somebody's already dead. Uh, it's not a big deal, as long as... Okay, he's gonna do the, the balls. Like, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. So, um... <sighs> One dead guy's a reset. So all I have to do in that part is just be in the circle. Right? All I have to do is be in the circle. Okay, yes. Uh, all right, I don't have to, like, soak the balls. It's not like any of that other uh, thing. Okay, all right, that's good. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I thought I didn't have that up. Oops. 
Okay. I feel like maybe it's just like better to attack him from the front because he jumps away less. I don't know. I hate that. That 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 mechanic is so annoying. Okay, stagger check. And that's big damage right there. Huge damage. We broke. Oh, nice. We did it. Fuck yeah. Nice. Okay, we're good. Okay, I fucked that one up. It doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. None of it matters. Fuck it. Who cares? Never stop going big dick. Who gives a shit? Fuck these mechanic things, homie. It doesn't matter. Just take a heal right there. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Where's the boss? Oh. Okay, um... Oh, wow. Never saw it do that much damage before. Holy shit. Okay, so they're gonna do the mechanic now. Hope They should be able to kill it. So that's four. So he's standing in the wrong one. He's gonna die. No? Oh, I just read it wrong. Okay. Okay, okay. So he goes in that one. And that's oh, that's four. Okay, that's four. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I get it now. Okay, hopefully they can kill it. I think everybody... There's th yeah, there's three people alive. They should be able to kill it. Sixteen million, come on, please. Please, please, please fucking kill him. Use your awakenings. I feel like I might be able to do that phase right if I do it again. If they don't kill it here, I'll be able to do it right, I think. I think they're gonna kill it. Honestly, I think they're gonna kill it. Okay, good. Ten million. He's already down half. Ooh, that's really bad. Uh, is everybody else alive? Okay, two people are alive. As long as they can survive until they can do their awakening, they might be able to kill him. They should be able to kill him. Here we go. Come on, please. Ooh, that's really bad. That's a lot of damage. That's a... Ooh. Okay, good. There we go. There we go. Six million. Five. Come on, please. Please get him. Four? It's one guy, decoy. Come on, decoy. You can easily do it. This is the easiest boss in the game, man. Okay, good. Three? He's gonna beat it. He's gonna beat it. He's got it. He's got it. This is the easiest boss. He knows everything. He's not going to make any mistakes. Two million. That's big damage. One. This is it. Come on. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. God damn. Holy shit. Wow. <sighs> Jesus. I can't believe that guy... Dude, that guy popped off. Oh my fucking god. Jesus. Did I get anything good here? No, I didn't. Alright, let's look at it there. And let me see here. And, ooh, I got my box, too. Fuck yeah. Okay. Let me get my bonus rewards. Okay. Alright. How many items did I get? 
I feel like I got pretty much everything. I'm good. So let me zone out. I think I have to zone out now and open that. Okay, nice. I got Oh, I got 10,000 silver from that. Holy shit. Wow. Well, how about that? Well, how about that, boys? Look at that, dude. Oh, boy, look at that. Wow. Wow, we buddy boy. Look at that. We're going to get up to Grudge 1 now. Fuck yes, dude. That's big. Let's see. Oh, I got a card pack, too. Nice. Okay, so let's go back over here. Um, I'm gonna leave. Oh, why did I get MVP? Oh, that's yeah, I didn't. Never mind. Okay, so uh, let me zone out. GG Baldy. They knew after all. Ah, they knew after all. Okay. <sighs> Oh, shit. Okay, alright, let me go over this way, and I'll see what I can get now. That's insane, man. And so I also have, like, this new, uh, th this new, uh, special rock. Where's my special rock? Didn't I have a grudge special rock? Wait, did I vendor that one? Did I vendor my grudge special rock? No way I did. Oh, no, it's right here. Grudge. So I've got Grudge 4. I, I might use this one here. Yeah, I might use this one. This one's really, really good. And let's see here. I might try to, like... It, it's It's got three. Like, it's... Yeah, so I'd have to get Grudge 4. And then if I use this ring... Or, sorry, this neck, that would be me Grudge 6. That's pretty good right there. And... Okay, so now I can buy the new gear, right? I think I can. Grudge 1 isn't worth it. It should be fine. Okay. Let me see if I can buy my new gear. Okay. It should be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, Because I also need to get my other... Uh, so I got nothing with mayhem on it, though. That's what was so crazy. I got nothing with mayhem on it. What a bunch of bullshit that is. Okay, let's talk to the Abyss Vendor. I told you to wash your hands before. Yeah, let's talk to the Abyss Vendor. No, we're not going to wash our hands. All right, let's go back over here. And... So I have 20 of these. So 20 times 6. Oh, did it give me a piece, though? Yeah, did I get a piece of the set? Or do I have to spend multiple weeks doing it? So yeah, do I have to spend multiple weeks doing it or what? I got the helmet. Wait, it gave me the helmet? No, it didn't. No shot it gave me the helmet. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't get the helmet. No, that's 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 another one. Uh horrible set bonus? Well, like isn't the set bonus still better than no set bonus? I feel like I feel like a set bonus is better than no set bonus, isn't it? No? Why not? I, I just don't understand why not. It seems like that, that's what would make sense. Okay, 78 quality. That's really good. So I just made something. And like, if I compare that to the chess piece here, 263... That's way better. That's way fucking better. No tripods? It has two tripods right there. Yeah, that's insane. Not the ones I want? Yeah, I just transfer them over. It's whatever. Okay, I'm going to buy two more. So what are my lowest quality ones? So, uh, this is 57, and that's 63, 65. Helmet is 72. So let's do the pants. And what was that? 
70, not really too good. All right, let's do gloves as well. 64. All right, let's redo the gloves. Yeah, let's redo the gloves. Gloves are not that great. 70 is decent, though, I would say. You can't transfer? Yeah, you should be able to. Why would you not be able to transfer over to these? Let me see. Um, okay, so... We've got sunset pieces, and then we want to transfer... Yeah, this is... You can transfer that over, and it's no problem. See, look. Yeah, that, that's no problem. Thirty percent success rate. Well, I, that doesn't really matter, does it? You can save it in your inventory. Actually, clueless. Well, yeah, of course I'm clueless. I just started playing the game a month ago. Of course I, I, I don't. I don't. Of course I don't know what I'm doing. Why would I know what I'm doing? Um. So, inventory. Okay, so if I unlock this, I should probably unlock that. Sounds really good. So, this is where I can put them. So, like, let's say, hypothetically, I want to do... The, oh, those are 91. That's insane. 91? Okay, let's look at this one here. Shoulder charge. Okay, so we're going to do chain charge. So how do I, I drag it over? Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Tripod video. Well, like, let's say I want to use it on these gloves here, right? Okay, so I would use, and I would apply this to my selected gear. All of the existing skill tree effects will be deleted. It's all or nothing on storing tripods. Yeah, it seems that way. Is saving your main gear skills? Oh, so you hold this while you... Man, this is really complicated. Holy shit, this is complicated. So, yeah, I'm going to use the armor set that I got. I think... Oh, I'm, I'm actually going to redo these. I'm going to redo the gloves. Yeah, let me let me redo the gloves. Okay, hopefully I get a better pair. Uh, 56. Okay, those are actually worse. All right, dismantling again. Okay. 62. I want to get 80. Yeah, I, I really want to get 80. We'll see if we can do it or not. I, I'm not really sure. Okay. Trying again. 73 is decent. Should I keep 73 or not? Like, I feel like 73 is pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, keep it. All right. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so... Holy shit, this is... There's so much to do here. So, vacuum slash... So, I should hold on to... Wow. Oh my god, dude. There's so much for this. I'm just... Oh my god. Let's see if I can upgrade any more gear, because that's what's going to happen no matter what. Okay, I can do one upgrade. 10 to 11. 10 to 11. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. I'll put in one grace for good luck. That's a good idea. All right, guys. Here we go.
man. Man, dude, it's really hard being this good. It really is hard being this good at the game. Holy fucking shit. Uh, I got an 11 already. Oh my god. I just need more of these leap stones, man. I need more of these leap stones. Let me see. Somebody mail me leap stones. I'll see if I can upgrade any more of them. Loot auction result. All right. Those are the things that I already got. Ring. What's this ring here? Barricade. I might actually use that. Thank you. Uh, stones gamba. No. I, I, I feel like I can't do another stone gamba. Okay, Destruction Crystal, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let me remove that one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Destruction Crystal, eight. Okay, yo, I'll take another one. All right, thank you very much. Um, what's this here? Up or down? Wait, holy shit. You're betting 7,000 on a coin flip? Bro, are you crazy? So he obviously watched me do it. And logically what he would have said to himself is that I already picked up. So what he would expect me to do is to pick down because I already picked up. So what I think that he did is he put up again because he was expecting me to say down. It's up again. Thanks for playing, man. I really appreciate it. Ah, thanks for playing. It's down because he knows you. Nah, man. That's, see, that's how it is, man. People try to goof on me. They think they're going to fool me around. Do Milwaukee Omnium Stars big good. Yeah, I've got to do that too. Wire, a thousand gold. After your hiatus, I'm going to personally. I was really so excited about playing multiple games on stream once. I'm actually going to start Elden Ring really soon. Uh, I know, obviously, I haven't done it yet, and I want to get into the game as soon as I can, okay? Because right now, I just wanted to get that dungeon out of the way and uh, keep going from there. Yeah, there we fucking go. Easy fucking game, boys. Swindled? Listen, man. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it fucking is, man. Now, should I buy these stones? Let me see how much the leap stones are. I got 8,000 gold, man. Fuck yeah. Okay, and market. Um, honor leap stone. Okay, what do we got here? Bye -bye. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so much money, man. That is so much fucking money, man. That's nothing for me. Alright, I'll buy ten of them, okay? I'll buy ten of them. Okay. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, guys. So we'll go ahead and... Uh... Wait, what? Use Mari's shop? Okay, but it didn't... I thought I already used the shop. Let me double check. Uh, honor Leapstone. Honor Leapstone. We're not seeing any Honor Leapstones, guys. There's one right there. Okay, we're gonna buy this one. Dude, these are so cheap on the store. Holy shit. And should I buy more crystals? How does that work? Yeah, I need to figure out how to do that because it seems like that'd be really, really good. Honor Leapstone. Okay, there's 10 again. That's really big. Look at that. Okay, and we'll buy that one there. Buy with gold currency exchange. Uh, is that like dollars to... Like, I'm not even really sure. Okay, I at least got 10 more, so we're okay. Level 2 Annihilation Gem. Uh, energy Bullet. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. A beautiful mountain feast to my stronghold. I, dude, I've got to do this right now. I can't fuck around with the stronghold thing. I've got to get my gear upgraded, man. Okay. I can do two upgrades. I can do two upgrades, boys. Upgrade number one. That means two pieces of gear are going up five item levels. I feel like I feel like we have to put in two for this one. 
feel like we got to put it, we got to put in too. We got to really, you know, get, get a little bit more serious with this. Double fail? Well, no, no, that's not it. Yeah, that, that's not it at all. Why, why would my, why would my thing fail? It's not going to fail. Watch, I'll get it right here. Watch. We have to use three on this one. We have to use three. If this fails, we immediately play Elden Ring. Like, I, I immediately alt F4 if this one fails, and we immediately play Elden Ring. Here we go. Grexion? I, I want to get a little bit better gear before I do them, honestly. Okay. So, uh, Elden Ring. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me go back on over here. We're going to log over. Give me one second. And uh, I've got to go ahead and get that started. And i got to log over to here. Change directory. Yep. And I'm not even worried about it, guys. There's no reason to be stressed out. You know what? You want to know why I'm not stressed out about losing that one? It's because I know the next one I'm going to get is going to be even better. So why would I stress myself out or get upset about this? Like, I know whenever I'm going to win. I know whenever I'm going to come out ahead. There's no reason to stress out. Yeah, I I'm already going to win. Cinematic, it's out. I watched the, uh, the WoW cinematic. Yeah, I, I think it's so. Just a second. And let me make sure I get over here and we do this. All right, good. And scroll all the way up. All right, let's go. Lost Ark tweet. Okay, I'll actually look at the Lost Ark tweet before I uh, before I start the game, okay? A and that way I don't get too far uh, distracted. Uh, let's see, Lost Ark tweet. Lost Ark and Twitter. And there we go. Okay, what did they say? Oh, shit! Uncover the Legend of Argos and learn about the new in-game activity Abyss Raids! Arcasia will need saving from his malevolent plans. What do you mean, plans? It's a goat! What kind of plans does a goat have? Being a goat? There's nothing any plan- what's he gonna plan to do? It's just a goat! Arkeisha, uh, Arkeisha needs your help. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna read all the lore shit, okay? Where's the fuck of this? Uh, Albion worked for the Sonic Fire years ago. We watched that. Yeah, 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 sure. There's Argos. Okay, this is what really matters here. Players will need to progress uh, through three distinct phases as they work together to vanquish this powerful guardian. In three phases, Argos will grow more powerful with different mechanics and attack patterns. Each phase has its own loot table of rewards and a different item level requirement for players to participate in. Additionally, to facing Argos, you must complete the quest Abyss Raid Unlocked. We did that. That's not a big deal. So this is so this is gonna happen really soon. Like we're gonna get Argos real quick. We get Argos re quick. So all I need to get to is to 1385. I don't want to go all the way up to fucking uh, to 4K or 1400. I, I think that's that's too much, but it should be fine. Yeah, it's okay. 1400 is going to stomp people. Uh, I'm not really sure yet. Just a second. All right, let's get this started. <sighs> Boys. They said it couldn't be done. 
They said it was impossible. Guess what? It wasn't. Today, we go beyond Rao Bon. I went in there and I beat him with only a handful of attacks and only a handful of tries by myself. No summons, nothing. Today, we return and we're gonna beat even more bosses. We're gonna go even harder than we've gone before. Imagine having alts whenever you can have thousands of viewers funnel you materials anyway. Exactly. That is exactly right. That's why I don't have alts. Uh, I think alt gameplay sucks, and I don't give a fuck about my alts. So I went over to- Oh, yeah! There's a boss supposed to be in one of these. Which one of these has the boss? Yeah, which one of these belfries has the boss? Is it this one over here? All of them? Middle? Uh, does this one the middle one? This one right here? Let me read it. Strong foe ahead. Be wary of strong foe. Yes, that's the one. Use the imbued sword key. Man, five hours and 40 minutes, huh? Yeah, I wanted to have a shorter intro today. Yeah, I see, I see that. Very nice. Listen, in, 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 a, in a few days, I'll do a full Elden Ring day, okay? I love gambling in my lost art game. I love honing gear. <laughs> well, you know, you click the button and then you get the thing. That's what's so cool about it. What the fuck is this? Oh, dude. Knockaround is dude. That city is fucking wild. Oh my god, look at this place. Can I jump so up here? Sick. Um seems like I'm not supposed to go up there. I'm just trying to get an idea what's what what's to come. I gotta go down this way. Okay, I understand. Asgard? Yeah, something like that. Okay, and we've got to go down to here. I've got to be very careful with Mr. Horse. I don't want him getting angry with me. Okay, this this part is annoying, but whatever. Okay. I've seen this because I went down that lift, and this is where the Minotaurs are. And you can go all the way over to there, but not all the way over to there. Yep. And I didn't know how to get over to this side. I thought you had to, like, unlock something, but it's this. Modeled necklace. Wait, doesn't that guy look like... Alright, we're gonna sneak up on him. It's okay. No, he's not gonna see me. He's just gonna get that. He's gonna just die. He gonna. Shit. What the hell's he doing? Oh, I was reading chat. This is easy. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. That was easy. I don't know about you, but I would put, uh, I would put Elden Ring's, like,
map interconnectivity up there with like DS1. I think it's, it's better. Good. I actually think, think it's better? better. Yeah, I do. Jump? Guys, do I jump off or not? I feel like jumping off is just a mistake. That's it. That was easy. Like, that was super easy, boss. Should I just go back to the Belfry? Yeah, let's use the map and teleport out. I already went over here. I'm going to go to here and show you guys where I'm at, all right? And we're going to go to this area, too. It's the war placement of the night. I see. Okay, so we've already I've already gone through this area. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. And then we're gonna go to the next spot. The merge, uh, message of the Church of Anticipation here. Quinn died here ten times. Wait, why would he die? You just don't like. Have you? Did he try not dying? Like, watch. Like, it, it, it's not hard. You just don't die. He should have not died, and he would have been fine. Like, I don't know why so many other people in this game have so many problems with, like, uh, some of the bosses. It's almost like they don't want to use the Halibird. Like, I guarantee you, if you use the Halibardo, you're gonna have less problems. Scythe is better. No, it's not. Because if it was, it would be the Halibardo, but it's not. I, I always use the best weapon. And that's why I'm using it. the best one. No, I really think the hot scythe is better. Really? Actually. Yeah, actually, like actually. Then why? Then why do I do more damage? Wait, what? The fuck? Wait, so he grabbed me while he was dead? How the fuck does that even happen? Is this a joke? Okay, let's go up here, and then right here, this is where I stopped, or it's a little bit after this. This is the one day that I, I wasn't sure if I was going to play Elden Ring on stream anymore. And I was like, fuck, I'm going to try out this new uh, this new area and just see if I enjoy it any more off stream. Uh, and I did. And I was like, well, fuck, okay, I'm going to play the game differently now. So we're going to do this. Why am I not using the, the Loretta bow? Because I don't know what that is. And I don't need to. Why would I use anything besides this? I have the best weapon in the game. Why would I not use the best weapon in the game? You understand that whenever I get a somber 8, I, I go all the way to somber 9, right? Because I already collected my 9? Okay, so... Let's look around here. Moonlight Greatsword, best weapon in the game? No, it just looks cool. Uh, all right. Let me make sure I have my lantern on, too. Okay, who's this guy? He's just an idiot. I guess I must have looted that. All right, so... Let's go this way. And I'm looking around. I don't really see anything here. I don't know where the mobs went. I guess they're just gone? Okay. Wait, what? Who's this? Why is Mr. Krabs here? Okay, Mr. Krabs is dead. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Alright, so we're gonna look around and we're trying to find... Now, my assumption... After running around in this area... Is that I need to light all of these bonfires. That's what I think I need to do, because whenever I light one, it lights one of these. Yeah, that, that's it? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I wasn't sure, but now I'm sure. See, Mr. Crab does not stand a chance against me. Okay, let's look around. We're going to get all the rest of these, and then we're going to go from there. So these Minotaurs... Oh, this isn't one of them. Oh, let me kill this guy real quick. Okay. Um, oh, oh, it, that makes sense because it's actually on fire. Yeah, have I done this one before or not? Let me see. 
Okay, you're dead. Okay. And so this one's already lit, because that makes sense because it's on fire, and like you have to light the bonfires, and if they're already on fire, they're not bonfires, they're bonfires. So that we don't need to worry about those. Okay, let's keep going. Did something try to attack me? Oh. Wait, why does that take two hits to kill him? Shouldn't he die in one hit? That's stupid. Whatever. Okay, let's look around. I don't know if I have to go this far over. Oh. Okay. He's so stupid. He's just, he's so dumb. Look how dumb he is, he's just dead. Imagine being an octopus. Wait, look at these little pussies. They, they, look, they're so dumb. They're so dumb, dude. All right, let's go. We got rid of them. No problem. Okay, now let's keep looking around. I don't know if there's one to light in this area or not, but it seems like there's not. Um, This thing's got a lot of fucking health. I'm not going to deal with that. I don't want to get poisoned either. Okay, there's nothing to light here. So we're going to get out of this area. We've got to figure out where it is. Let's kill this one too. Might as well. This doesn't matter. See, like, whenever you have the Halibardo, everything is possible. Like, there are no bosses that are hard. There is nothing that's a challenge because of the Halibardo. Can I go through this? No, I can't. Okay, and by Halibardo, what I really meant to say was my superior skill as a player. Maybe you're it's up here. Say what? You're, you're a Paladin. You're a Paladin. No, I'm not. Because Paladins don't do any damage. I'm doing so much damage right now. What do you mean? I do more damage with you no, than you, don't. you with my size. I no, do. you don't. You don't do that much damage at all. I do. I saw you. You were hitting for 300. Like... No, that's before I upgrade the scythe. It's a plus nine scythe. Yeah, okay, so I'm plus seven. So, like, are you really trying to prove that, like, you have a better weapon than me because you have it's a higher level? Like, that's not it's even... It's literally better. It does more damage. Well, yeah, it does more damage because it's higher level. No, it does more damage. Like, when you get yours to nine, mine will still do more damage. No, it won't. Not... It no, will. No, we'll it see. won't. I, I, no, okay. it will not. It will not. All right, okay. That's not true. Uh, he's lying. I don't know if there's one up here or not. I think we're going to go down and check and see for ourselves. Okay, so... Maybe it's over here? Hmm. It could be in this area? Uh, no. Who the fuck is it? I hope I'm not doing this for no reason. I'm trying to find this thing, but I just don't really know where it is. Okay, so this must have been an area that I've already looked, looked at whenever I was just running around. Okay, let's go somewhere else. What am I looking for? What, you want me to 1v1 McConnell? Uh, I don't want to make him look bad, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Uh, yeah, I mean, you thought I was a nice guy. I don't want to make you look bad. Yeah, you're right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Why are these mobs keep spawning? Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy. I'm kind of worried that, like, after I summon all of these, or after I do all of these, it's going to be some really big uh, fucking guy that does a bunch of stuff, and that's what I'm really worried about. Like a boss or something? Look at this guy. There we go. You're dead. Damn, bro. I really wish I could actually hit something. It doesn't matter if I hit the horse. The horse is made to die. 
Okay, so there's no way it's all the Oh, it's up there. Holy shit. Got him, dude. Got him, dude. Square up. Okay, cool. Did you... Have I looked at Radon's swords yet? No, I haven't. I, I don't know how to do that. Oh, man. You might want to switch. I don't know. Really? They're that That's, good. I don't, I don't think I could beat the Halibardo, man. Dude, I'm telling you, you're going to want the swords. I'm telling okay, you. Okay, all right, all right. We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, why are these guys doing that? Whoa! Oh my god, I'm dying. I got lazy. I got lazy and complacent. Uh, I, I, I misunderestimated the rats. Damn, man, how are they so smart? This rat's smarter than I am. Jesus. Okay, let's get this done. Ooh, how the fuck do I get over there? Um, I guess I'd have to drop down from there, and then, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to really think about that one. Okay, good. So we've got, how many was that, guys? That's four, right? Oh, a tree, a special tree. Nice, okay. Let's go over here. We're going to get that. And what's over here? I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. I'm really not sure. Okay. At least I got this, though. Special trees are very important because they have special seeds under them. This is obviously an invisible... Wait, what? Secret path? No, it's not. I, uh, dude, I fucking. I, I think that should be a bannable thing. You think so? Yeah, yeah, because like the thing is that like it, it's something that like it gets people really excited, and, and then like they go over there and it's like oh it's a secret passage they're happy, and then they find out that it's not it makes them sad. I'm honestly inclined to agree. It's really yeah. fucking annoying. It's like every single one is marked like that. And it's like, you have to hit them. That's the worst part. Is It's not like, oh, well, you know, just don't hit them. No, you have to hit them. What the hell's over here? The fuck is this? What the? Why is, there, why is everybody dead here? Rune arc, okay. Huh. The fuck? Uh, can I get up there? No. Maybe it's up here? No. So it's just all for nothing. They just left That's a random rune arc down here for no reason. That's Dark Souls. Wow. Okay. So, I'm really kind of nervous about doing this because I feel like whenever I do it, it's going to be bad. So, we're going to have to find out and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go to this one. Wait, but there's, like, just no reason to. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Is there any reason for me to be here at all? Oh, oh, I got something. Stone sword key. Okay, all right, we got something good. Never mind. That that's actually great. By the I way, those. yeah, if you get if you hold down alt, that's how I'm slow walking. A lot of people don't know that, but yeah, you can hold down alt and it allows you to slow walk. It makes it uh, doing a lot of things way easier. Because, like, Mr. Horse, I mean, like, you guys know how Mr. Horse is. He just does whatever he wants. Okay, let's go down this way. Maybe this is where the other ones are. 
There's a lot of these guys. Wait, what's that? Fuck that, Fuck that man. Okay. Ah, oh, what? Okay. It's not a big deal. I just go around. I just go around. Who gives a fuck? God damn it. Fucking click didn't work. Okay. Yeah, we just go around them. It's not a big deal. Okay. Go on to the next one. And you're dead. Okay, so maybe... Oh, maybe it's up this way. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's got to be. It's got to be that way. Okay, great horned headband. Oh, that's cool. Let me see. Can I equip that? Oh, I can. <laughs> nice. Huh. I'm going to use it. I'm going to look around first before I go down there. I feel like there's not really a whole lot here. Oh, a sight of grace. I didn't see that at all. Missed item. I'll, I'll go around the sides, okay? Uh, I, I could have missed something. A lot of times I do miss things because I'm not paying attention. What do you got? Dude, I look fucking awesome, man. Yeah, do you use summons? No. McConnell, did you use summons on Robon? Nah. Really? Yeah. Then why there's why is it why are people putting like half of like a gray face in chat? I don't know. They always do that type of shit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's probably yeah, they're probably just being stupid. Okay, where's this horn charm? What's this? Uh race f Okay, let's go ahead and just let's take this seriously. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? You're going out? Paladin weapon, big boy time? Wait, what do you mean big boy time? Kaled. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a big boy. Wow, that is a big boy there, isn't he? Let's just go kill him. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. He just a dead ass. Yeah, he just a dead Y'all thought I was gonna have trouble with that? Yeah, fucking right. Stone sword key, okay. I don't wanna go down there yet. Cause I can't turn around. That was easy. Okay, so that's where I came from. So I guess now we should go up this way. 
Man, guys, I am just popping off. I've already beat two bosses today. I beat that Crucible Knight, and I beat this guy, too. We're doing pretty well. I want to go back there pretty soon and check to see if I can get my... Uh... Oh, these are the Explodey Boys, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. Not going to worry about them at all? Wait, is this where I think it is? It is? Oh my god. Easy, by the way. Fucking easy. Okay, I didn't get anything from him, unfortunately. Spiked Palisade Shield, that's cool. I'm just gonna wait for this one to go off. Okay. I wonder if I can make it before he shoots me. Nope. I'm assuming that if I get hit by one of those, my health will go to zero. I'm gonna bait another one of those. Okay. What, he just can't do anything else except for shoot arrows? This guy sucks. Easy. E motherfucking Z, dude. There it is. Okay. That was no fucking problem. I'm gonna kill the penguin here, too. Fuck yeah. Okay. Now, what is this? Is that the big boy? There's no way this is a boss. There's like literally no shot this is a boss. What in the fuck is this? Talk? What the fuck? Dismount? I will in a minute. Uh-oh. Should I? Should I hit him? Red summon signs? Uh, there's no red summon signs. Wait. Oh, no. Okay. Where is he? Just kill him. Okay, okay, all right, we got scuffed Gwyn. That's not too bad at all. Now, what about this one here? Knight of the Grey Jar.
sure does a lot of damage. Holy shit! Shit! How the fuck did he know? That was hard, dude. Greedy? I know. I got I got greedy. I, I thought I could kill him, man. I, I did. Greed got failed. The thing is, it is what it is, man. Like, I, I just I made a mistake. Let me go back over and do it again. I panicked because I couldn't move around and recover. And, and you know, like, whenever I, I get to that panic point, I just make bad decisions. That's all it was. I just made a bad decision. That's the way she goes, boys. Oh, fuck. Do I have to kill both of these every time? Uh, you can one-shot him? I don't know if you can or not. Sometimes you not even close. All you need to do is not die. Yeah, I see that. That's the problem. I feel like I got too I, I got too aggressive with those those mobs. Like if I wasn't as aggressive, I think I would be fine. I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight them and I'm just not going to die. Oh, is he going to breathe fire? Oh, that's crazy. That is just crazy that he can do that. I wish I knew he could do that. Okay, you're dead again. Yeah, uh, so do I have to kill all three of them? Like one after another? Yes? Okay. Maybe I should do that one first, because that seems like the most risky one. Actually, you know what? Let's do the one that I haven't done before. Because that's the one that I don't really understand. Like, the other ones, like, I get it. They change? Yeah, but, like, you know which one you're summoning, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is the new one. Wait. Oh. All right, let's just do it. So I have to kill all, all both of those giants every single time, is that right? Okay. First one's down. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. We're doing fine. Where's the next one? Next one is a rogue. It's okay, guys. We're doing fine.
Okay. Okay, that's the second one down. Now we have the third one. This looks like some sort of a healer or a friar or something like that. I am very nervous to fight a mage. Is this a mage? I can beat this guy. Got him. Got him. All right. I beat him. I beat him. That was easy, dude. Now what? I talk to him again? Great Jar's Arsenal? The fuck is that? Oh, yeah. That's a talisman? Okay. Vastly raises equipment load. Holy shit, that's insanely good. I, I guess I should just use... Wow, that's really good. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use that for sure. I'm not going to use it right now, but I will use it. So is that it? Like, do I need to do anything else to this guy? Like, I shouldn't kill him, do I? Just kill him. No, I'm not going to kill Okay, I don't have to do anything? All right, that's fine. That's it. Okay, you can get third talisman slot at your round table. Uh, I don't really know what that is. Maybe I should go back this way. Let me, let me resummon Mr. Horse. I don't know if I can get out of here or not. Kill him? I'm not going to kill him. Get Radon swords at your at your round table. I might try and get Radon swords. Next oh, time yeah. I yeah, next time I go to the round table, I will do that, okay? I do have to warn you. Okay. okay? I'm just going to tell you right now. Okay. It does require 15 intellect. However, however, okay? Before you say no, it's two gigantic swords, and the reason it requires intellect is because of this uh, weapon art. So, but I can already out. use two gigantic swords. I know, but these are Radons, and he's a boss. So you could use a boss weapon. A boss. You know? But, it, the, all right, think about it like this. True, but... I already beat Radon. If those weapons were so good, why wasn't he winning? He was winning. You you were stumped for a little bit until you figure out that you could double jump over the purple. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he did get me there. Uh, I, I did not know that. Uh, should we put more points into strength? I think we should. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I think after this, we're going to put more points into strength back. All right. How many intellect do I, do I have? I have nine. I have to dedicate not six points to that bullshit guys i don't know about that that sounds like some real fucking garbage but you haven't even looked at the weapons yet brother. but it's it's nine points but no no it's six and you haven't even oh, looked at oh, the weapons yeah that's right it was okay yeah just like, all right let me go down i'm gonna try to jump down here okay brother okay your crusade is over that was back whenever it was good. 
That was back when the game was good, dude. Imagine that, dude. Imagine oh that. That was God. badass. Like, I mean, yeah, compared to now, like, that was pretty cool. Alright, so we just go down this way. Okay, this is easy, man. Bro, this is easy. Like, there's nothing here. I just win everything. What's over this way? What is over this way here? Swamp of Anina. Oh, he's dead. Oh, we've got flowers. There's nothing here at all. Oh, they do that scarlet rot thing. What's this? Uh, sacramental bud? That's like weed. Have you done any crafting at all in this game? What do you mean? Like, have you have you explored the crafting at all? No. Me either. Like, I I have no idea what any of it does, or I bet there's some cool, cool shit, but it's like, I've yeah. not found it out. Oh, this is easy. All I have to do is open up the box? Okay, fuck. Rock sling? Cool. Uh, let me kill these guys real quick. Huh, there's a lot of these guys, huh? And I'm poisoned. Well, isn't that something? Ain't that something, huh? How about that? Why is my red bar going up? I'm gonna get the red- I'm gonna get red bar. My health is going down really fast now. I think I'm fucked. Yeah, Scarlet Rod does not fuck- fuck around. Like, I- I think I'm actually just fucked now. But like, I wasn't getting it before, like, I don't know why I'm getting it now. Okay, let's keep looking around. It should- oh, oh, that's right, my health is low. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, because I- my health was low and it caused me to die. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's go over to Marsha's shrine, and, uh, we should be able to keep going from there. No, I- I just- I wasn't looking at my health bar. Like, that's all. Yeah, it, it's not a big deal, I just wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about something else. Okay. Let's go this way. And is there something over there? Oh yeah, there it is. What's that? That was unpleasant. Alright. Meteorite staff. See, like, look, if I go down into this, it doesn't go up. See? So it's not because I was in the swamp, guys. I wonder why they put a shrine here. Oh, I think I might have found out why. Okay, that didn't do anything. What do you have to say? He doesn't want to talk to me. There's like nothing here. You have to talk to him? Okay, I'll talk to him. Yeah, why not? Hey, Billy. Let me see it if only one last time. Your splendid blade dancing amongst the scarlet rot? What the fuck? What in the fuck, dude? Alright, we've got the grace now. There's a boss in the swamp. I I'm gonna look at that in a minute. I just want to go up here real quick and get an idea where we're at. Okay, this place is a real shithole. I thought that was a boss. It turned out it was a tree.
Okay, what did I get from that? Life's oh, I should get lifesteal. That would actually really work well with my playstyle. Oh, this could be the boss over here. Let's see. Yeah, this looks like a boss. Damn, this shit's easy. God damn. Boys, have I gotten better at the game? I feel like uh, this is like one thing that I, I don't know if like you guys had to say. I feel like the better my weapon gets, the better I get at the game. What? Yeah. No? Uh, actually, it seems pretty logical. Listen, uh -huh. I've been told by my Somber chat four. that you will... Uh, you will be punished later on for your uh, your reliance on your weapons. So I'm I'm I have to say I'm looking forward to that. Really? Well, it's too bad that won't happen. All right. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I, I'm not worried about it. It's not going to happen. Uh, let's go over this way. Uh, somebody said there's a boss over here on the other side of the swamp. Let's just go over there and kill the boss. It's that easy. If there's a boss there, we kill him, and then there's no boss anymore, because he's dead. Where the fuck is he? I guess we're just going to start going towards that direction. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, maybe I should, um, not run off the edge. God, dude, I'm so good at playing with the horse. Like, I, I, I feel like that's, like, a point where... That's why I always win. It's because of the horse. Okay, what do you have? Buy something. I'm hungry. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Uh, material used for crafting items. Uh, th throw uh, together to cause buildup of poison. Uh, yeah, nobody cares. Okay. Not the weapon. Yeah, nobody gives a shit about that. Uh, I don't need to worry about, like, curing poison, because I just am not going to get poisoned, so that's problem solved. Wait, is that a thing? Oh, that's a thing. The fuck? Okay. Did I get anything from that? No. Okay, well, fuck that. I'm not going to kill another one. Dude, I just saw something amazing. What? All right, imagine this. Okay. Elden Ring 2. Okay. What do you think? Okay, okay, all right. So, so it would be like the first game, but it would be the second one? And more. More of it. That would be pretty fucking cool. That would be pretty fucking cool. I wish they would do that. Yep. There's a bunch of swords here. There's no boss anywhere. Fuck you guys talking about. Uh, I guess we'll, oh, maybe it's down this way. Aeon Butterfly, Somber 4. Maybe this is the boss right here. Nope. This guy, this guy check goes, stop putting numbers in sequels. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> what Elden do you want Ring. him to, what do you want him to call it? Elden Ring, the oh. sequel. <laughs> I think this is a boss. Okay, I need to take a piss. I'm going to beat this guy in a minute. Okay. That looks like, that's a fucking boss. Like, I, I know what a boss looks like. That's a boss. Elden rings. <laughs> God. 
Oh my god, man. What a day. What a fucking day, dude. I hope you guys have a, uh... I hope you guys have a normal and slightly pleasant day, okay? Okay. All right, let me just take care of this boss real quick. I'm just going to go on and uh, and get him. This one's probably going to be pretty easy. Okay, we're good. All right. So I'll just ride over here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Imagine thinking I could struggle. Imagine thinking I could lose. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was it? It doesn't really matter. I just didn't know what to do there. Like, I just have to defeat these guys and then they're dead. See, whenever you are the horse lord like I am, Certain things are not that hard to do. They're just not that hard to do. Did you really think I was going to have a trouble against that pussy ass bitch after I was able to defeat Raubon? No. That's just, it's another trash mob for me. That's all. It's just another trash mob. What are these? Oh, huh, those are really big. Okay. Cool. Well, they're dead. Oh, we're gonna play this game again, huh? Are we going back to basics, huh? Fuck this. I'm not doing this. Let me go back over to this area. Is this the PC version? Yes, it's the PC version, and I play the entire game on a mouse and keyboard. What's this? Huh, okay, you're dead. Oh, it's another one. Huh. Well, you're dead, too. Oh. You have to watch out for that one. Damn, these mobs are kind of annoying. I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, they do too much damage. And then it takes like three hits to kill them. Like, it's just a lot of work, man. I guess I'll finish them just to see if it's like any sort of bonus or something. Okay, so they're all dead. Okay. This is just no big deal, guys.
It's really not. Like... Wait, is this... Is this the way that the game is supposed to be played? Am I... Am I... Wait, what? Can't beat the literal god. All right, let's keep looking around. This area is pretty easy. You know what? I might actually go fight. I'm feeling a little bit confident to fight that big boy down at that well. I feel like it could be pretty interesting to see if I could beat him now. I also want to upgrade my weapon, though, to be fair. Like, actually, well, it, it's the opposite, actually. It's not to be fair. It's to be the opposite of fair. Is that the tree sentinel? Yeah, it's the tree sentinel weapon. It's the best weapon in the game. Some people are using other weapons... ...wrongly. But yes, that's right. NPC invader. So what the fuck do I do now? I guess I should go over to here and, uh, and unlock this, uh... ...and unlock this thing, right? Okay, yeah, I should go over there and get the map. Let's get the map, guys. It's actually a pretty strong weapon. Yeah, uh, it is. It's a great weapon. Uh, the reason why it's a good weapon, like, there's a lot of reasons why it's a good weapon. But the main reasons why it's a good weapon is basically because of the, um... Let me loot these. Rune arcs and smithing stone 4. Who cares about a smithing stone 4? Um... The reason why it's so good is because it has basically a, uh, a, a an attack kit that fits every single different type of ability. So like you have like a thrust, you have uh, basically every type of attack that you can have. Uh, I would prefer to not have to fight them. Uh, but I don't know where the map is now because I'm in combat. That's annoying. Okay, let's see if I can get over to here and maybe open up the map. Yeah, okay, it's this way. Let's go over here. We'll get the new weapon. Uh, I will in a bit. I don't want to look at it right now. Let me see if this guy has anything good for me. Uh, I got a sword stone key. Let's go ahead and just buy one of these. And uh, a great helm. That looks pretty cool. I might use that. Uh, it's, it's only $1,800. Uh, I'll buy the pot too. Okay, let's go over this way. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, that explains a lot. Holy shit. And then, have I been up there? I think I have. I'm pretty sure that I have. How come you're allowed to mount the horse when enemies, but in WoW it doesn't let you? It's because this game's better than WoW. Dude. What? I don't know about you, but... I think WoW kind of sucks. What do you think? I think WoW sucks too. Does anybody want to upvote my thread on my Reddit about that? About how WoW is bad? Yeah, I think we need some updutes. Yeah, can we get some updutes? Can anybody <laughs> else validate the opinion? <laughs> Please. Yeah, look. I mean, here's the thing, guys. WoW, it is what it is, right? And, and that's all it's going to be. Uh, it's not like a whole lot of innovation that's probably going to happen until next expansion uh, it's just going to be same old same old i would assume okay what's this guy doing why has he got a pot why is he throwing pots at me he, he's not going to get another pot is he he that son of a bitch that stupid son of a bitch Wait, where are you at? I'm, a, I'm, I'm up here with this giant throwing pots at me. 
Like, I'm about to go kill him. Uh, okay, I don't think I can kill him. He's too far up there. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna go up. And I'm gonna turn around the other way. Wait, do me a favor. Go, go there at night. At night? Mm -hmm. There should be a bon uh, bonfire to your left or behind you, I guess. Uh, let me just go inside first. Okay. Okay. Wait. What's this? Read message. Stop by the shack. Huh. Okay. Oh. Okay, you're dead. Now what? Oh, a pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gary, a great sage. In my I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. Yeah. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aelia. Don't fret, I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Hear the request. Oh, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? Yes. I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Okay. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. Oh. Um. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. I did it. It's yours. I did it. All right, great. Celia's secret. Look at the needle. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan. A meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? It seems as though it will not. Okay, so what does that be? Celia's secret. A note given by the sage. Light three flames atop the candle towers to break the seal. Okay, that seems pretty fucking simple. Reload area? Do I have to, like, log out and log back in, or, or what? Yes? Okay, I'll do that. System, uh, quit game, and we'll, we'll restart. Yeah, it's no big deal, guys. Uh, rest of the grace? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I thought that's what I had to do. I mean, if this doesn't work, then it doesn't work. I'll just go rest at the grace, and it is what it is. Like, worst case scenario, I waste 30 seconds. Who cares? Both methods work? Yeah, I think that both methods work because a lot of speedrunners use quit-out strategies in order to do things like this to reset areas, too. So that's why I assumed that it would work, but I don't know how it works with this game. Uh, we'll find out. I have awaited the needle is okay, there we go. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Great. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? Ooh. I will reward you in kind. Ooh. Millicent rests at the church attended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl. She never wished for any of this. Okay. Do you find it that I would show such concern? Well, I'm the one that a mere babe. She is at the rotting side. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I did. <laughs> so he wants me to kill his daughter. What the fuck? Beep. 
Um, all right, so cure by killing. Well, guess what I'm going to do? So let's think about this just for a minute, okay? How many people have I cured versus how many people have I killed? If you remember what I said about if you have a problem and it looks like a, a, a nail and you have a hammer, all of the problems are hammers. Well, there you go. Oh, I'm dead. I hate whenever that happens. God damn it. Okay, you're dead. And you're dead. All right, great. Yeah, it's those archers really fuck you, man. They really fuck you. I see him. I see him, boys. It's okay. There's not really much here. Yeah, this is just a pretty wide open, chill area. Rune Ark. Church. Uh, that looks kind of like a church. Yeah, I'm just trying to see for myself. There's plenty. You've got to look. Okay. Give me a second. She can be revived by going over there? I'm not sure. Sorry, I was making sure I was there for something. Okay. Um, well, damn. I actually almost got my, my thing stacked up there. Okay, well, we don't want to have that happen. Go to the Vine Tower. Okay. Let's go up here. Kaled again. Hmm. Maybe it's over this way. Oh, I see. I see. It's down in here. Okay. All right, let's go down in here. Wait. Oh, I've already been here. All right, past time until nightfall. Sounds good. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. So I'm here. Where do I go? Oh, did I miss this one somehow? Oh, what the fuck? Damn, I'm dumb. I didn't even see this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. There's nothing here, guys. Nothing here. It's just a bunch of bullshit. What are y'all trying to get me excited for? For all, all for nothing. I can't go through here. Let's go up to the top. Seems like the best idea. Let's go up to the top. There's nothing here at all. And I can't hit these with the stick, so... Light the towers? Well, how the fuck do I do... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. It says door ahead. But how do I go through the door if it doesn't open? Uh, maybe I have to jump over to there? No, there's no way. Maybe I have to go down to... Oh, oh, I see. Maybe this is what I have to do. Okay. No problem. Let's light the first one. 
Try jumping, but whole. Uh, I, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. True, that is a good one. Okay. A seal was broken in town somewhere. Where could it possibly be? Staff of loss. Oh. Oh, that's not nice. Damn, he used... I, 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 I didn't kill him in one hit. That was weird. Oh, they respawn. Okay, so I don't even want to try to kill these things. Okay. So this is the second one, I'm pretty sure. And how the fuck do I get in here? I have no idea. Okay, oh, there's one right here. Okay, I got it. So... Hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Man, this place is... Oh. Okay. Oh man, I just keep doing that. All right, so there's only one more to go after this. I wonder what's gonna happen. So do I just have to wait for this to stop being here? It's kind of annoying how like this is just like, it's just like there and I can't get rid of it. Oh, oh, I just click. Oh, um, uh, okay. Yeah, um, never mind. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really mean that. So we have to go all the way over to there. That shouldn't really be too hard. Well, you know, live and let live, right? Okay. Have you fought the twin gargoyles? No, I haven't even fought the single gargoyle. So I lit all, all three of them, McConnell. I did it. Wow. Thank you. So now what? around here oh maybe this is like a new door or something let's go towards the big one the big one is the one that was uh it was up at the top let's go see if there's anything up there okay great Fuck yeah. All right, let's keep moving. It's not really much up here. Damn, he's got a lot of health. 
Wow, I didn't kill him in one hit. Okay. You missed the boss? Dude, you're missing everything and you're ruining my fucking experience watching you, dude. You're missing so much shit and it's pissing me off, bro. Please. Is this it? Oh, they're just respawning. Where, where's the boss, guys? Where's the boss? If, if you're going to mentor me around, I just want you to tell me where to go. Go down and north. Other big staircase, okay. Um, where there's two big staircases? I, I, I don't know. So where do I go now? You gotta jump up and down, and you move it all around. Down and to the right, okay. Yeah. Like over here? This doesn't seem like there's anything here. There's nothing really going on here. Maybe he's over here? No. Oh, that was a special area. Let me go loot that. There's two other seals? No, I already got that. Yeah, I already did that. I still don't see it, guys. The boss is on the opposite side. Okay. Sure seems like it's not. All right. You know the uh, the door you just opened, the big blue one? Yeah. It's over in that direction, but it's off to the left of the door. Like, when you're facing it, it's going to be to the left. The left? Well, people told me the right. Don't listen to him. Listen to me. Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, we'll go around this way. So we're going to go in through here. We're going to go through this way. And maybe down this way? I don't know. Ooh. Okay, so I go down this way, right? Well, there's like nothing here. Oh, maybe it's this. Oh. Yeah, it's in there. God. Okay. You're gonna, like, two-shot this thing. Why is she attacking me? Why did I do this? Damn, this shit's hard. I don't know if I can beat it. They're dead. Okay. Um. All right, great. Well, well, we got him. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, Lou Sats Glintstone Stave. All right. Well, that went pretty well. World's greatest gamer. Uh, I mean, like, I, I don't like to call myself that, but I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not really that big of a deal, guys. Like, all I had to do was, uh, was click on them and they died. That's all it was. You have become the final boss. Yeah, I think... I, you know what I really think is making me do all this extra damage is the horns. I, I feel like using the horns is really just kind of... It's taking me to another level. So... I already went here. Oh, let's go back up this way, then. Yeah, this is where I was going to go already. 
Okay, so there should be something interesting up here. I'm kind of assuming. I mean, this is like a big, long, winding pathway all the way up here. I mean, like, damn. Like, look at this. This is All like right. watching someone dominate Limgrave at level 100 and saying it's poggers. <laughs> oh, it's not a big deal. It's just we're just playing the game. We're just beating the game. Just because I am an excellent strategist. Oh, no. No, those guys are easy. No, they're not. Okay, they're dead. Uh, yeah, you're actually right about that. It weren't really that hard. I don't know what level this zone is meant for, but, uh... Okay. I think you... Wait, I thought you killed her. I'm gonna kill her again. No, do, do, do not, do not, do not, do not. Don't, 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 okay, don't, I'm not, don't, I'm not, I'm not. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. She's hot. Yeah. yeah. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. Shut up, bitch. She's got an STD. Not to be meddled with by man. I'm gonna give it to her. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. Yes. How? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Okay. Would you mind? Averting your eyes for a moment. This better not be a boss scene. This is the start of a boss fight, isn't it? Uh, oh. That was easier than expected. But why do I feel so... The fuck? Oh, she's back! I hoped to see you again. Wow, look Apologies at that! For when last we met. Damn! I before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to rye. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself. Holy shit. I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this. By way of thanks. A token though it is. Prosthesis wearer heirloom. I'm considering leaving. On a journey, with the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's what? thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. It already has. I'm considering the needle my destiny. Okay. Um, let's see what the heirloom does. All right, is this a useful one or not? No. <laughs> it's dexterity. Yeah, you're right. What a piece of shit. Who the fuck would want that? Okay, you're dead. Um... So what what do I do now? So I already did I helped that that girl out. I mean, okay. Um Great. Talk to her dad again? Yeah, that seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Okay, let's do that. That yeah, it seems like a good idea. Let's look around up here first though, before we go talk to her dad. Because so I haven't seen anything over in this area, and I'm kind of curious to, to know if there's anything that's worth looking at. Uh, fuck you. And what's this? Hmm. 
Wait, who's this? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So we can't go over this way. Yeah, there's no no way that happens. Light the light? Okay. I can't. Hopefully I kick him off the edge. Nah, not quite. Okay, you're dead for now. Yeah, I can't even do it. That doesn't do shit for me, man. It means I already did it, but I didn't. I don't even know what fucking place this is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never been here before. Maybe I have? There's an undead legion following me. That's usually not a good thing. It's a dungeon in the Radon area? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, maybe this will be something good. Beast blood. Who's this guy? Huh. Well, that was fun. Okay. Maybe I go this way. Oh, wow. Grey Doll's Dragon Barrow. Huh. So I have to kill all these? Why does he have red eyes? Oh, there's three dragons. Huh. Oh, there's four dragons. Oh, why is he flying? Oh my god. Is there a reason for me to kill these? No? Okay, let me kill one of them and just see what happens, okay? Okay, there's one down, and what do I get out of it? $3,000. Wait, it just did damage to this guy. Didn't you guys see that? It did damage to the big boy. Oops. Yeah, it did. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I just got to keep farming these guys. It's not really that hard to do. I just have to do it. You just farm in each one at a time. It's not really a big deal. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing or anything. I just kind of go around and do whatever I want. I just hit him in the head, hit him in the head. I mean, there we go. All right, that's another one down. 
And see, look at that. He just took ridiculous damage. Okay, that's another one down. And look, see, he just took big damage again. Yeah, this is easy. Doesn't matter. Man, that was fucking annoying. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, resummon Mr. Horse. And I think this should be the last one right here. What happened there? Wait, what did I even take damage from? I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't even know what I took damage from there. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Wait, what? Oh. What? I got five dragon hearts out of that. Oh my god. That's insane. The new draconic power is available. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Wait, I, I just got 1100? That's nuts. Grace ahead? I see that. That, that did seem kind of fucked up to kill the dragon like that, though. You're right. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put some points in, and I'm going to level my character up. Uh, I think we should just go with more health. Like, yeah, like, I, I feel like more health is probably a better idea right now. I could, I could also go with more dexterity, too. Actually, let's just go with two more uh, points of strength. Yeah, I already decided we're going to go with points of strength. Okay, so what's in here? Fort Farath. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, you've got a lot of health. Try and get away here? Oh, I'm poisoned. That's unfortunate. Wow. These things really have a lot of health. Let's go ahead and try to skip away here. Oh, he did that. Let me go and just get a heal. They're all dead? Oh, no, you're not dead yet. Okay. That's not too bad. Golden runes. These mobs have a lot of health, guys. Like, I, I feel like we're not in the right area. Um, let me make sure that I get my, my lantern on, and that way it makes it easier. Okay, using Mr. Lantern. All right, and it seems like I can't get through here. I'll probably have to jump down. That's what I'm kind of guessing. Yeah, that's what makes more sense. 
Go up the ladder? Oh, really? I didn't... Oh, man. I should go up the ladder? Of course! Thank you so much! I was so worried that I wouldn't know what to do. That was a good idea. Thank you. Okay, what's this? Who cares? Okay. And I guess we'll just come down here. There's nothing here. I'm worried that there's something here. Oh, there's somebody. Hey! Well, that wasn't too bad at all. Okay. Well, he's dead. Now what? The key item I just picked up? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, we're gonna look around this way. I don't think so, Mr. Rat. Okay. Jump? Why should I jump? I've already been down there. Oh, I see. Okay. Um... Oh, you probably do a lot of damage. Okay. That wasn't too bad at all. And let's go down here. And this is where I originally came from. And this is a special item that I originally saw. Radagon's uh, Sore Cecil. Now, what is that? Does anybody know what that is? Greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. So it increases everything basically by five. Vigor, endurance, and dexterity. And it also allows me to... Oh, I guess endurance is increased with that. That's pretty good. Well, I'm not really going to use that. It's a free 20 levels. It is, but it's also a free damage taken. They're probably like, how much more damage does it make you take? Is it like 50% or something like that? It's like 10%. I don't know, guys. I feel like it's a bad idea to use that. I mean, I'm not really sure. I'm just guessing. Okay, are we done in this area? Are, are, are we done here? Yes? Okay, try it. All right, I'll try it. Okay. Let me see how much damage I do now. Are these guys going to respawn again? Let's see. Oh, there's one. Okay. I did 500 damage. That wasn't really that much. But it's a different type of mob, so it's hard really to say. 600? Oh, well, you're done. Okay. Let's jump out of here. It's 15% more damage. I don't know if I really want to use that. Oops. Well, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate, gentlemen. That is very unfortunate. It does increase your damage taken by a lot. Look at that. I just took, I took a little bit of damage and I just instantly died. Hmm. 
900 that's a lot I mean to be fair guys that that actually really is a lot of damage I'm done here man yeah I know I'm done here but the problem is that I want to go through here and I want to get my souls back because I got 50 souls Yeah, let me get my souls back, and then we're going to leave. Why am I not using the Scar Surge Talisman, Rage's Strength? Uh, because I have a Jump Attack Raising Talisman, and I assume that the Jump Attack Raising one is going to give me a larger stat bonus. Like, I, I don't really know, obviously. Like, I'm just guessing. But that's what seems like it makes sense to me. Okay. Let's get out of here. All right, we're good. So, let's look around. I guess we should go back and talk to that guy. Yeah, let's go back and talk to that guy. Hmm. Seems like a better idea to do. Like, I don't really know, though. Like... There's so many things in this game that, like, wait, what the fuck? Did that tree just fall down? What the fuck is over here? Oh, it's you. Is there any reason to kill him? Because I don't want to kill another one of these. They take forever to kill. It's just a, yeah, it's just a huge pain in the ass. Okay. Okay. All right, let's keep looking around. I'm about to just teleport away. Well, I'm stuck in combat, maybe? Okay, let me go back. Oh, I guess I might as well get the map while I'm here. Yeah, I'm on my way over to the map anyway. Okay, let's see if I can find the map. Do that tower? This tower here? Okay. Let me get the map first, though. I think this is where to go. You're just dead. Okay. Okay, so it's right this way. Oh, so they're always the same. Yeah, I just, I always mess this up, man. Okay, nice. Okay, and there's apparently a tower here. I don't know what this is. Wait. Is this what I think it is? Oh my god. Alright. Yes, I've already been there. I've already been there, and I've gone down to this place here. Let me go ahead and, and regen my stuff. All right, level up. And let's get another point into stamina. There's Radon, Great Rune, at the top. Um, I don't even know what that is. Go to the top. There's a somber nine too. Yeah, you guys might not have seen it, but I already did this part. Yeah, that's how I could teleport all the way down there. I've already gotten the somber nine. Okay, here we go. I fought this guy before. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, hey, 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 hey. Do another one of those. Okay. Okay. Is 
This guy really does a lot of damage. Damn, what the fuck? Matt, stop! So, Matt, quit, dude! There. Holy shit. Let's go, let's go. Come on, do your thing. I don't want to fight you. Like, I just, I literally just want you to cast a fireball and run at you. That's it. That's all I want to do. What are you doing? Idiot. Oh, I went to click. It didn't work. That was annoying. Okay, now what? Okay. Well, that's unpleasant. Okay. Okay. That was my fault. I should have rolled that. I still don't know exactly how the tracking for that works. Now what? No. What? Okay. That's what I thought. I I I, I just I was being stupid. All right, now what? Okay. Okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. That's a cool boss. You can't face tank him like all the other bosses? Is that a challenge? Dude, the music. Oh my god. The music, bro. Fuck. You don't want me to try to do this. You don't want me to try to beat this boss. Like, I will try to beat this boss if you want. Okay. Like, I think people will be as afraid to see what I could do if I really tried to beat this boss. They'd be like, what the fuck? How does he get so good so fast? I just don't attack him because I don't want to. Like, that's all. Like, it's not because I... It's not because I can, it's just because I don't want to. Ooh. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead. Let, let's, let's use the secret weapon. I want to see if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to find out. We're going to try the big dick. This might be a mistake. We're going to find out. You see? You see?
I hit the wrong button. It's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. Bro, it actually is not working. Like, I'm actually right- I, I'm literally clicking, it's not working. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, what do I do? I, I can't use my ability. I- Like, I, I, I'm literally clicking, it didn't do anything. Like, I'm using- I clicked the mouse and, it, 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 like, the, the ability just didn't register. Like, that's all I want to do. I don't know why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Man, that's so annoying. Okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to just go in and just go in on them raw. Uh, I don't know if this is even possible, to be honest with you guys. Like, I really don't know if it's even possible. What'd you say? We have to go in on him raw. <laughs> hey, yo. It just didn't work again. Uh-oh. I feel like this isn't gonna work. And, and it's not even because it's hard. It's, it's because it just... The... Like, I just can't... Like, the button doesn't work. Like, it, it actually is just... It's unironically not working. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's kind of frustrating. Oh, I think you have to use summons for this boss. It's not even, uh... He's, I don't, I feel like this isn't going to work. Like, I was hoping I'd be able to stagger him, but I feel like I can't really stagger him. Yeah, this doesn't really seem like a good option. I, I thought it would work, it's just not really working. Yeah, it's just, the thing is, like, if, if you can stagger him, like, then, then it's good to go. I just thought since it was a smaller NPC, I, I could try and stagger him and, and just spam that, but it, it just didn't work. Uh, it's not a big deal. I just have to put on my armor again and uh, do it the normal way. Huh? Smaller NPC? Yeah. Yeah, like a smaller NPC probably would have like a lower stamina bar. Dude, this guy skins gods and wears their clothes. Are you insane? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, did I change my, uh, my talisman? No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Well, let's go. All right. Oh, I thought I could get in faster. This guy really has a lot of health. Damn. It's like every single time he's gonna do it. Okay. 
Sorry, I think I got a little bit tilted and, and angry uh, because I, my ability wouldn't work. Yeah, I got I got mad. He just does it when you heal. Yeah, but like I could bait that in different ways too. It's it's not like that's a guarantee either. Yeah, I just I I just I'm I'm like tilted a little bit because of that. Okay. And like now I'm like thinking about like are my mouse buttons going to work and it's just it's annoying. Okay. Well, let's go. That was stupid. Okay. I could have gone in for that, but I didn't. Well, let's go! I should actually try to get another hit in there. Okay. Bitch ass. This is the kill. This is the kill. <laughs> wow, I do that again. That was stupid. That was smart of me to do, to run out of stamina while I was fighting the boss. It was really smart. Oh shit, now I've got to heal. It's not a big deal. I just have to bait an attack. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I could probably just, uh, I could probably just iframe that, but I feel like it's just too risky. Oh, well that makes it easy. Ah, shit. It's gonna double heal here. Well, let's go, bitch. Let's go, dude. It's time to die, bitch. It's time to die. Get out of here. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to see you. Get out of my face. Get out of here. You're done. Yeeted and deleted. Look at that, dude. That was a hard boss, to be fair. Yeah, it was. I think I spent like six hours on that boss. I'm so sorry to hear that. It was good content, actually. Okay. So you did it on purpose, then? No, no, it was a hard boss, but it was good. It was still good oh. content. Okay. Fire damage, faith to 20, dexterity to 22. I use that shit. That's fucking sick. The You're Queen's gonna... Black Flame. That weapon art is... Well, is... that's stupid. It looks like the sword from the beginning of Dark Souls 3. Like, that's a terrible weapon. Why would I want to use that? But just... Get... Why would I want to use a weapon that's bad, McConnell? Why do you want me to... Be... Why do you want me to use a bad weapon? Read the lore. It's literally... It's perfect. You're the literal god, right? And you slay other gods. It's a god slayer sword. Look at the fucking weapon art, dude. So why would I want to put points in something that's not strength? I mean, 
strength caps out eventually you're gonna want to put in other shit you know what I mean like at least look at the weapon art you fuck Oh, you can't. Never mind. Wow, that's really cool, McConnell. Wow, you, you, you use that weapon? Stats. No wonder it took you six hours. Oh, Jeez, idiot. man. Like, you're oh my god. Troll. Like, wow. Okay, okay guys. You okay, you don't have the stats to make the weapon art work, dude. Yep, that's okay, right. I don't. We, we get it. Okay, let's see here. I didn't do this one. Should I go kill this tree? I feel like I should go kill that tree. The tower? No, I already went to the to the top of that. I already did that. Let me go back over out, here. Uh, you want to check out Radon swords? Uh, give me a second. Let me level up. All right. Um, I think I'm just gonna get more health because, like, the more health I have, the less I die. Problem solved. Okay. Oh, actually, let me see. Can I upgrade my shit? Let me see if I can. Okay, uh, flasks. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I have ten flasks. I'm actually never going to die. Unless I do. But, like, that's the only time that I would. That's pretty fucking good. Ten- too many? Yeah, I know, it's great. Okay, let me go over to this tree and see if there's something interesting over at this tree. Have I been to Round Table Hold? Okay, guys. I'm gonna go over to Round Table Hold after this. Yeah, we'll go over there after this. I know there's a lot of people that have asked about that. Wait, didn't I never light all five of those bonfires? And now that I think about it, I never did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you're right. There's nothing here. Wait, I thought there was always a boss here. There's just nothing. Okay, well then fuck that. Let's go back down there and light the rest of the bonfires. Okay, you already did it? Really? I don't know. Uh, so I have to go down to this area, right? In order to... Or not this area, excuse me. Uh, I have to go down the well. Isn't that how it works? I have to go down the well to teleport over. Switch on map. Uh, I don't know how. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how. Why? Oh my god. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Holy shit. Thank you guys, by the way. Okay, let's go this way. We're gonna get the rest of these, uh, these towers lit. Go back and change the keyboard display. Uh, I don't need to worry about that. It'll be okay. So all we're going to do is look around and find these. So... Is there one over here? Maybe there's one down here. Holy shit. Wait, oh, I've been over here. I've been over here. I know what that is. That's the guy looking out over the distance. Okay, I can jump this, right? I didn't even know you could do that. I I thought I was I thought I was dead. I I guess if you if you land in that, you don't have a um uh it, it's not the same. So is this one I did this one, right? Okay. I don't know. I think this one isn't lit. It's not litten. Let me let me get this one litten. Okay. Oh, animation and uh, animation immunity. That's cute. Okay. 
Great. So we've got that one done. And we just need, I think, two more then. And maybe there's... Oh, fuck you. Maybe there's one over here. Can you not? Can you stop that? He keeps shooting me with his gun. He's aimbotting the fuck out of me. Look at me. Look at my back. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Alright, well that's pretty much... Those kinds of things work themselves out. And so I needed one more, right? Because that's seven, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Guys, that, that's seven? Yes, there's one left. Okay. It could be that one. It's not. Damn, Mr. Krabs. Get out of here. I don't want to look at you. Do you guys know where it is? There's no way that's it, right? Because like, I feel like 100% I would have gone to that. It's the river, I think? L l no, there's no way. Because I know, I know for a fact I went over there. It's behind you? It's that one? Is it really? I feel like I must have lit this. That's it? Let's go check it right now anyway. Yeah, it's lit, man. It's lit. And I don't know if I should go and take this or not. There's another? Really? I see it. Thank you, guys. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, let's go back over there now. Now I've got all my health stones back. I'm ready to go. Use teleport? No. Should I use this? Should I teleport? What does this do? Where does where does I go? Where does I go? Oh. That's a good idea, guys. Okay, so every... Wait, what? That one's obviously not it. What about over here? That's actually just not one of them anyway. Maybe it's over on this side? Like, it's like some kind of like a, a, a jebate thing? No? Okay. That's not it. North of the first one. Okay. Then let us north. That one's lit. And hard left here. I see it. I see it's right there. It's it's right in the middle. It was hiding in plain sight, guys. We got it now. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Damn. It really feels good being a horse sword. It really does. Alright, guys, let's see what happens. So they're all lit. Power gathers somewhere. I wonder where it's gathering. It's probably not in like the the stone steps of the fires, is it? Maybe, guys, maybe that's where it's gathering. Well, I don't know. It's actually not. No, that's where it's gathering for sure. Yeah, it's 100% where it's gathering. Let me go up here. Who's this? OK. 
Okay. Jesus, protect me. Give me your strength. Paladin! It's always numbers of three. Okay. You're so stupid, Mr. Deer. You're so stupid. Come at me again. I think I want to hit you. Don't look at me. Don't even try. Do not even try to hit me. Do not even try to hit me. Do not even try to hit me, Mr. Deer. I have... I, I, I have enough of your bullshit. Stop. Oops. Now, you see, the thing with Mr. Deer here is, uh, it's not really that hard to beat. This is why he's an ancestor spirit and not an ancestor deer, is because he's dead. He got hunted. Somebody went to Cabela's, they bought a new gun, and they just took care of him. That's what it is, they just took care of him. And it's sad, but it is what it is. Oh, are we ready to kill him here? Got him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It was cruel and it was evil what I just did. But it was also necessary. I did what must be done. There's another boss? No, there's not. Actually, you didn't have to because, uh... The lore behind the ancestors is uh -huh. that they exist outside of the uh, Erd Tree, like the realm of the Erd Tree. They're well, on a completely different level, so you didn't actually have to do that at all. Yes, on the fallen. All right, where do where do where do I other boss? Where do I other boss? Where do I other boss? Chest in the back. Uh, bro, I really don't see a chest. I'll look around. Yeah, where's the other boss? Fallen pillar and main area. So I should go to the main area and then just go... Yeah, I don't see no chest, bro. Like, there's no chest. Okay, alright. So let's go back over here. So it should be this one? Sh should I teleport to here? Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm making the right decisions here. Yes? Okay. Alright, let's do that. Mm. Okay, now where do I go? There's a destroyed pillar. There's a lot of destroyed pillars. Like, what does that really mean? Top of the broken pillar. Uh, let's go all the way north. Okay, let's go all the way north. Wait a second. Okay, let's go. So, it's this way, right? Other bosses in the crater and Mistwood? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Go to the right? Okay. Uh, let's go over to the right. Oh, was it this? Is this it right here? Now left. Okay, 180 degrees left. That's this way, right? No, that's right. 
Okay. Uh, give me a second. I mean, I feel like I should be able to find the boss a lot easier. It's on your left? I mean, I don't know what you expect me to do. Like, I mean, I, what the fuck do I know? I'm asking you guys where to, where to go, and... I mean, I'm not, like, I, I don't know. Okay, it's the other pillar. Okay, let's go to the other pillar. It's not a whole lot going on over here either. Where is it? North? Okay, let's go north. Alrighty. Oh, maybe it's that pillar over there. Okay. I don't know why you guys are calling me stupid for not understanding a thousand people messaging me different things at the same time. Because I really don't think that makes me stupid. I just don't know where to go. Is this it? Is this it, boys? Yes, okay. Wait, I, this is a, wait, no, I'm not in the round table hold. Wait, what the fuck? There's no boss here. No, no boss. Um, I don't... Oh. Oh. I see now. I see now. Okay. So who is this? Hello? Hello? Okay, where's phase two? Dragon Halibard? Oh! That sucks. Okay, let's go to- let's go to round table hold. No, I'm not gonna use that one. Like, I, if I ever get- uh, if I get two of these, I'll use them, but not that. Is there anything else that I'm, uh, I'm Mar Marika's, uh, Scar Seal? Is this another one? Attributes, spells, oh, wow, so I can use two of these at the same time? Oh, this increases the, um, uh, fucking caster stats, and this is melee stats. I- I understand now, okay. Yeah, that's the mage version. Yeah, that's for losers. Okay, uh, that was a good that was a good boss fight. It was pretty challenging. I almost died there a few times, so uh, luckily I was able to survive, and, and I was able to beat him there. Uh, we're gonna go over to round table hold in just a second. I want to see if there's anything interesting over here, though. Luckily, uh, y you know, being good at the game, yeah, I beat it so hard. I know, I know, I know. Huh. Where are all these guys going? Huh. So what the fuck are they doing? I just got a bunch of zombies coming at me. 
Damn, bro, stop. Wow, these things have a lot of health. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Somber 5? Where the fuck is the 9s? Or sorry, where the fuck are the 8s? Okay, let's go back over to round table hold, okay guys? Because it seems like there's not really a lot over there. Okay. So I'm over at round table hold now. What do I do now? Yeah, what what do I do now? Oh, go to the fingers. You gotta talk to the fingers. Uh is that that weird dragon thing? They're fingers. Wait, what? This? Oh, yeah! Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Oh, I beat the game. Seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord. I beat it! Restore the golden order. Okay. Fingers expect as much from you as they do young Gideon. Who's Gideon? Take this. A token of farewell. Talisman pouch. Now, go forth. Become Elden Lord. Okay. Should I touch this? Receive power from remembrance. Here we go, baby. This is it. Okay, okay. Is this it right here of the star scourge? Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, oh wow. Two hand it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Uh, no, I can't use it. Even if I two hand it, it doesn't matter. I know, but. Okay, I could get one more point in intelligence. I'm just gonna do it. It's too late. Cause can't I just put on like, cause the pouch gives me another pouch, right? And so if I have this, oh, it only gives me three intelligence. Well, that sucks dick. You just respec. No. I mean, you could just, you could just go respec, you know what No. I mean? Be no. Okay, what no. if you what? What if you wear the scar seal, uh -huh. sword seal, and the intellect? It doesn't matter. I, I can't get it. Respect, it's free. Uh, listen, what I'll do is I just need two more points into intelligence and then I can just put on this the other scar steel. Okay, let's see here. Charge attacks, nobody cares about that. Um jump attacks, bow effective range, literally nobody cares about bows. Okay, let's just put on strength for now. Uh, that's good enough. And... So let me see what happens if I go there. Is there anything else I should do in this area with the swords? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm done in this area. Like, let me just go over to... Um, why don't I just go over to here or something? Uh, Erd Tree Gazing Hill. Let's travel over to there. Oh, I know what you can do. Upgrade it? Well, I, I'm not sure if I want to upgrade it because I don't know how good it is. Uh, you can pop a rune, one of those rune things, and then uh, that should give you the stats. 
Huh. Let me see. Let me test it against this. 200 damage? That's Un a lot. Wait, why the fuck did I never pick that up? Yeah, that's really good. Use the potion. I don't know if I want to upgrade this item. That's all. Like, I feel like it's a good item. I just don't really know, like, how good it really is. Let me see this one right here. That's really, really good. That is really, really good. Especially, like, just early on. Uh, Intelligence Helm. I just don't know if it's something that I want to use over the pole arm, though. Nobody's telling you to do that. Just fucking pop a rune thing and then see if it boosts your stats up. Does a rune do it? I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm asking. I don't know Oh, either. I have no idea. Like, I can't use the weapon art because I don't have the stats for it yet. Oh my god. Wait, what the fuck was that? Oh. Huh. Why would he shoot that at me? What the fuck? Okay, you're dead. Don't, let's not talk about that. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad at all. These guys are just getting their ass beat. Uh, is there any, like, boss here, maybe? Oh. Okay, you're dead. There could be a boss in this area. Oh, there's this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and just move out of the way. Oh, he sees me. He always does the thing with his head. That's the one thing that they always fucking do. Use the rune item. Here's here's where I am, guys. This is kind of how I feel about, uh, about this whole thing. Is that what is better than one polearm? Does anybody know what's better than one pole arm? Two of them. That's exactly what I was thinking. And so I was thinking this. What if I had two pole arms? You have to go to New Game for that. New Game Plus. What? You have to go to New Game Plus if you want another Golden Halberd. Really? Yeah. Well, that's stupid. Also, do you want new armor? No. You don't want really pog armor. It's fucking pog. It's super pog. How pog? Like, wearing a boss's armor pog. That's cool. That would be really okay. cool. Now, what if I told you it's Radon's armor? Okay. I'm listening. Okay. Then you should go back to the round table hold and talk to the fucking gross lady that wants to sniff your fingers. Which one? Next to the... Next to the fingers. Okay, so then she can give me the armor? You have to buy it, so you might have to pop some souls, but yeah. Oh, shit, okay. Alright, let me kill these guys. He's pissed. Oh. Okay. Damn, bro, like... Why doesn't this guy just die? Oh, there we go. Okay, he's dead. Alright, problem solved. And I got a smithing st Oh, wow, I can farm these for- No, no, that's right, they don't respawn. Okay, let's just go around here. Wow. Dude, these giants are pussies. Oh my god. 
Look at that. That's so they do respawn. Oh, wow. Okay. That's even better. What's over here? A great lift of. Oh, my God. This is where I was. Oh, wow. Remember, this is the uh, this is the lift that I had to go all the way around for. Holy shit. There's an item behind me? I don't think there is. Where are you at on the map? Uh, I'm right here. There's a boss? There's not a boss. Yeah, I don't see a boss anywhere, man. What does it say? Behold glorious view? That does look pretty cool. Should I buy the, uh... Should I buy Radon's armor? What do you guys think? Do I do it? Rhetorical question. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, let's do it. Let's buy Radon's armor. Let's make that happen. Then we're going to go down that road. Okay. And we'll talk to the crazy bitch again. Uh, purchase. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay, let's go back. And how, let me see how many souls I can use here. Golden Rune 12. How much does that give me? 7,500? I'll use like a few of the sixes. Maybe that'll help me and that'll give me enough. Oh yeah, that's enough. I'm going to buy all the armor. Okay, purchase. So I already bought the helmet. Armor, boots, and gloves. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, boys, let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, where, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Look at Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. And can I can, Yeah, can I do the pot charm now? And, and I can actually uh, I can fast roll with this. No, but I almost can. I almost can, man. So I just need to, I, I need to get a little bit more points into the uh, respect. No, no, I don't need to respect right now. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put more points into it. Right now, I'm just going to fat roll. It's not a big deal. No, whoa, hold on. Dude, what? I look awesome. Holy shit, this is fucking amazing. I told you. Oh my god. Now imagine if you could just use the swords. Dude, I feel like I need a really, really big two-handed weapon. Like, I'm thinking maybe that red mace. That red mace would be big dick. And and oh. think about, all right, think about this, right? So I'm on horse. How fast do I roll while I'm on a horse? You, you don't roll. Exactly. Look, I'm already doing, I, dude, I look fucking amazing. <laughs> You're you're actually Lubu, I swear to God. This is I awesome. Swear. You don't know it, but you are. I'm Lubu? Yeah, you're Lubu. Okay. Lubu's come to destroy us. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's got a lot of health. Huh. Okay, well, he's dead then. All right, that's nice. Well, isn't that something? Okay, let's go up this way. This is... See, it doesn't matter if I can fat roll or not. You guys see what I'm saying? Oh, I see. Oops, I didn't think he was going to go that way. It doesn't matter. 
Because I'm, I'm Raban. Like, I don't even take damage. It doesn't even matter. But like, you guys see what I'm saying? Like, I, look how high my damage is. Look at this. This is disgusting. And all I have to do is uh, re-enable Mr. Horse. Look at this. Come here. Wait, where'd my weapon go? Wait, oh. Come on. No. <laughs> that was easy. Look at that. Look at that. You think you're going to get me? Did you honestly think you were going to get me? Imagine thinking you're going to get me of all people. All right, let's go up this way. What's up this way? We meet again. What? What, what, what? Uh huh. Okay. They wanted this. Keep that in mind. I didn't want this. They wanted this. None of this matters. All right. Okay. All right. Holy shit! No, that's fine. You got dominated. You got dominated. I died on purpose. I died on purpose to to make it more interesting. I died on purpose to make it more interesting because, uh, it, it, the thing is, like, I'm gonna win this, right? I mean, hundred percent, I'm gonna win this. So, like. I might as well give people a little bit of fun. Uh, I might as well let the viewers have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a laugh. Thanks, man. We needed it. I know. We did need it. This is fucking stupid. I, I'm just getting stabbed by these things. I just kill everything in one hit. It's not a big deal. I hated this boss so fucking much. Watch, I'll show you how to handle him. I know some people might not get it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You see, if they want to fight me, I'll kill one, and then after I'm done killing one, I'll kill the other one. I'll show you. Here we go. Let's go. Like, I'm honestly afraid of you. Like, I'm honestly afraid of you. Like, you really thought you could beat me. You really thought you could defeat the- Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. I spammed, uh, I spammed my heal, it just didn't go off. Well, no, I, I spammed my heal, it, it didn't go off. Like, I don't know why. 
Like I was hitting the button like I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I, I mean like that's it, it is what it is, I guess. Get the grace behind them, you can't solo them? If I can't solo them, then why are they in the game? I guarantee you I can solo them. I promise you I can solo them. Like, I, I, I fucking, I guarantee you that I can solo them. Like, it, it's, this is not impossible to do. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Guys, I have a feeling that this Raubon armor isn't as good as people say it is. Every time that people ever ask me to do something different than what I was doing, it's always a mistake. Okay. Every time I have to do something different. Listen, I had a working strategy and McConnell sabotaged me. That's what it was. Yo, you need to eat your firekeeper soul, dude. You see what I'm saying? This is this is this is what it was. Is I'm being sabotaged to to play the game. I am a I am a comfort gamer. In order for me to play the good way, I have to be completely comfortable with how I'm playing. I have to be completely in my element. I have to be uh totally fine. So that's what the problem is. Yeah, yeah, my bad, man. My bad. You made me die. Yeah, that was my bad. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. You're still gonna die whenever you're against two of them? Well, that would be true if, it, if being true was not true. You think I can't beat them? This is your fault! <laughs> It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. I won't even get hit. I'm just going to take care of him. was not good at all. I have a feeling that, like, maybe I should pull one at a time. So, I, I think that the problem is that, like, I'm actually just playing like an idiot. Like, that's not, like, this is actually not even, it, it's not even the, the fight itself. I'm just playing like an idiot. Like, I, I don't even feel like I'm losing here. Like, like, whenever I died there, I'm not thinking to myself, man, like, I'm really bad. Like, I'm just thinking to myself, like, I really just did something stupid. So annoying. All right, I'm gonna just go behind him and get the grace. Like I, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so tired of fighting those mobs. I don't want to do it again. Like I, if I feel like I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna go get the grace. Tilted, I am. I'm tilted. I'm mad.
I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm upsetting myself. I'm upsetting myself. I know that I already have this one, so it's okay. I'm just gonna go over to here. I'm gonna travel over to there. I'm gonna go from the other direction. Good attempt? Yes. Uh, no, the thing is, like, it's just, that, as I said, like, my, uh, like, if I feel confident, I, I will win. If I don't feel confident, I will lose. And to be honest, I'm not feeling confident right now. Pick your souls up. They're gone. They're gone, bro. Like, those are gone. They've been gone for a while. Yeah, I feel good. I play good. Like, whenever I feel like I am in control and, and like, there's nothing weird going on, like, I, I'm going to be just fine. Let me get these. Double seeds. Look at that. There. Now let's go over here. We're going to fight them again. All right. Let's go. I really am playing like shit today. I'm really playing like shit today. All right, let's go. All right, all right, let's go. I'm back in the game. I'm back in the game. It's fine, it's fine. I am the horse lord, they're not. Got him? I just, I was stupid. I just made a stupid decision there. Okay. Alright, let's get back into the game. Get back into the game. Get back into the game. That was a mistake. Okay, I'm making stupid decisions right now. Come on. Come on, you piece of shit. I didn't expect him to be that long. I think I'm dead. Okay. Let's do or die. I can only make one more mistake. Let's go. There it is. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay. 
Good try, man. That was a good attempt. It was a decent attempt. Uh, it could have been a lot better. Let's go again. Yeah, split the damage. No, I know. I know. I need to kill the... I was trying to kill the one that was on fire. It was a mistake to have even tried that. Where's the other one? I'm earning this. I'm not gonna pussy out here. Oh, I'm not pussying out today. I got stuck. It's fine. See a mistake. Mistake again. Fucking mistake. All right, all right, all right. Focusing, focusing again. There it is. I'm trying to go for hits, and I'm not supposed to go for hits. I'm supposed to let hits go for me. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on, bitch. Come on. It's not over. It's over. God damn it. I played I played stupid again. No, I played stupid God again. God damn it. I got greedy. It. I played stupid. Like it's not even it, it, I'm not even like this this is even hard. I'm just being stupid. These guys are pissed you've been using their weapon the whole game. <laughs> well, guess what? It's really good. <laughs> They're pissed about it. I don't want any advice on what I should do instead of what I'm doing. Dude. All you right, you understand? Do? I'm going to do it exactly the way I want. What if you did it this way, though? Nope. That's so. That's the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna get hit today. I'm done. I'm not even gonna get hit. I almost went for it. I almost went for it, but I'm not going to. I'm not gonna go for it. Okay, I'm not even gonna die, I mean. Okay, it's fine, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, I'm dead. Alright, I just got, I got up against that wall, man. I got up against that wall, that was hard. It was the wall. That was hard, no, I, cause I, I, I was, I was in, I was in the wrong mindset. I still had the adrenaline from the last attempt, man. I still had that. The moment that I get that, it's all over. I can only play when I'm completely calm. Completely calm, no mistakes. Completely, they boxed me in. I let myself get boxed in. I shouldn't have gotten boxed in. All right, let's go. So stupid. Why am I so stupid? Why do I make bad decisions? All I have to do is make good decisions and I'm not going to die. That's all I have to do is just make good decisions and I'm, I'm fine. 
Like, why would I do that? Why would I wait there if I know he's gonna be the other one's gonna be come over to me? Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. See, like, I, I, I do these things because I want to train my brain to make good decisions. And, 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 like, the way you do that is by putting yourself in situations where you have to make good decisions at, at the exact time that you, that you need to. You see what I'm saying? Because oftentimes, like, one of my biggest weaknesses as a player is my, the, the fact that I, I, I make mistakes and I do stupid things based off of pressure. Like, I don't play well under pressure. I never do. Okay. It's like, right now, I don't really feel like I'm under pressure, so everything's gonna be fine. Just tagged him right there, it's no big deal. Tagged him right there, it's no big deal. Tagged him right there, it's no big deal. That was unfortunate, I should have space barred that. I didn't do that. There's no reason for me to have done that. There's no reason for me to have done that. Yeah, I have to be completely calm. <sighs> I have to be completely calm. And if I'm not calm, I lose. The moment that I that I lose my calm is the moment that I lose. Let's go. I might have to do this tomorrow. I might have to do this tomorrow, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give this one more attempt, and if I have a bad attempt like that again, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Oh my god. Yep. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Jesus. Yep. I, I, I'm playing like shit, and I, I, I know that I'm playing like shit, and I hate playing like shit. I'm not calm. Yeah, I'm not calm. That's all there is to it. It's because you roll bad on the honings and the upgradings, dude. I mean, to be fair, That's it is. Why. Because if, if it wasn't, I'd still be playing Lost Ark. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. I need to just play this nice and safe. Nice and fucking safe. I wait for the openings, and I just take them. That's it. It's not hard to do. Why did I do that? Why did I run into him? Why would I run- why would I run into him? Why did I run into the boss? Like, I don't understand why I would do that. Like, why would I do that? I- I- I do not- I'm gonna do one more try. I'm doing one more try. I'm doing one more try. Give me a you second. Gotta find you gotta find the Makokos, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, give me a second. Alright, let's see here. Alright. I, 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 I know I can do better than this. Just pull one? No. No. I'm gonna pull both. I'm gonna beat both at the same time. There's somebody that kept spamming for me to pull one. I just permabanned him. That's why I paused there for a second. I, I, I grouped, I went over, because I, I said I wasn't going to do it. I, I don't want to be told shit in caps lock. It's annoying. No, I'm, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it my fucking way, and that's it. And if I can't do it my way, then I don't deserve to win. It's all, it's all there is to it. Yes, it's unreasonable. Yes, it's stupid. And no, I won't stop. That's all there is to it. Holy... That's right. Holy... That's right, we're, we're gonna... I'm gonna do this. There it is. There it is. There it is. See that? That was a stupid mistake. I shouldn't have done that.
If I can beat Raubon without summons, I can beat two of the first bosses in the game. I just need to play it smart, that's all. Not like that. That's exactly what I don't need to do. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for my opening. There it is. There's the opening, right there. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way again. Got him. I'm AoE farming them right now. See, I didn't go in for that one. That means I know I'm gonna win. I hit the wall. That's a mistake. It's fine. We don't get got. Not yet. Not yet. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. fucking horse. Damn it! Fuck! Come on! That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I got impatient. That was stupid, too. I got impatient again. Why do I do this? Why why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Oh my god. I get greedy. I just I make bad mistakes. I just make mistakes. That's all. I just make mistakes. And I, I I'm so tired of making mistakes. I hate making mistakes. Let's go. Okay, I'm tired of this. I just want to finish this and be done. I'm just gonna finish this and be fucking done. Stupid decisions. Stupid fucking decisions. Stupid fucking decisions. Get it back. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I got the horse back. I got the horse back. It's fine. I just... I went the wrong way. Like, I, I hit the wrong way. Like, I... Okay, let's, let's, all right, all right, let's actually think now. Let's actually think now. Okay.
That should have hit me. I just I I've made a mistake. I made a mistake again. Let's go. One down. It's not over yet. But it's, it's about over. to be. It's over. It's over. But it's fucking about to be. Because I do shit my own way. Yeah. I don't listen to what anybody says. I don't give a fuck. I might actually die here. Alright, let me just focus for a second and kill this thing. Before I do my speech. There it is. I don't give Let's a go. fuck. I told you I could beat it. I said 100% I could beat it. People say you can't beat it. I said I can beat it. Guess who beat it? Me. I beat it. How did you I beat it? By making- by not guy. making mistakes. Go ahead. You permabanned a guy because he said you couldn't do it, and then you you fucking did it. That's why he's permabanned. Oh. That's what he gets. You see that bitch? I knew I is programmed to be beaten. That's right. I know it is. That's how I knew I could do it. First try. Yeah, first try. There it is. Holy shit. All right, guys. That was a good. That was a, we had a good stream today. We had a good stream today. Like that was great. That I'm was happy. Good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling right. I'm feeling good. Listen, guys. Let me tell you something about tomorrow. Let me tell you something a little bit. Something about tomorrow. What? Tomorrow we come back. Oh. <sighs> tomorrow we go hard. Oh. Tomorrow we go hard as a motherfucker. I, I really. I wanna. I wanna settle down a little bit on that intro shit. I want to get e Erexion, Erexion down tomorrow. I want to get some more, uh, some more stuff, guys. Please, in Lost Ark, please bring bring your resources tomorrow to tomorrow's stream, guys. Please don't donate money, don't subscribe, don't do any of that. Just give me your tier three resources instead. That's what I really want. I don't want your money. I want your fucking your your leap stones. All right. So give me that. Like, listen, we're, we gotta we gotta come together. We gotta come together in this community. We gotta come together, work our ass. We gotta, we gotta work hard, guys. We. That's right. We. We got. This is a community project. How the hell am we, I gonna get to 1385? What do they get out of it? They get to watch me do the content. It's gonna. It's great. <laughs> they get to watch me do it. Yeah. Come on, guys. We're in this together. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> What did they get out of it? They're gonna watch me. <laughs> They're gonna watch me do it. Look, look. Nice. look my, my, yeah. uh, <laughs> Dude, it reminds me of like when you would go to a fucking rental store, you if you would ask someone for to like rent a game for you and they could their reward is they get to watch you play. Yeah, 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 of course. That's the same thing, exactly. What's wrong with that? What yeah, it's a, it's a good thing, right? I mean come on guys. Look so, all right, for, uh, for real though, like, I'm going to be back on tomorrow morning, uh, 9 in the morning as usual. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more Lost Ark. We're going to, uh, you know, I'm going to recap everything that happened in Shadowlands today, all that bullshit. And uh, we're just going to have some fun, guys. So, like, we're going to keep playing this game. I love this fucking game. I think you guys can probably tell that by now. 
Um, and uh, that's really all it comes down to, guys. Like, I'm really fucking excited. And I think I actually just found a cave. Oh! Cave! Yeah, I, I, I think I actually did just literally find a cave. I love caves. Dungeon. Where is that? Dungeon? Uh, I'll show you in a minute. It doesn't matter if I get poisoned here. Wait, I didn't actually. Oh, shit. Perfumer's Grotto. Okay, yeah, we got an actual cave. So, guys, listen, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, actually, fuck that. Don't subscribe. As I said, give me, give me free materials. I felt like I was on YouTube for a second. If a Twitch Prime, that's fine. Uh, don't get, don't, you don't have to subscribe, though. Just watch the stream. I'm happy. Uh, I'm gonna run some ads, and that's how I'm gonna fucking make money off of you, so don't leave yet. Uh, so yeah, that, that's it. Uh, New World tomorrow? Uh, let's see if, if I get to talk about that or not. I'm not really sure if not. Uh, let me go back over here and double check. Um. Yeah, guys, don't, uh, don't sub to this channel. There are plenty of other streamers on Twitch you can sub to. Yeah. Plenty of other ones. Uh, I'm trying to figure this out real quick. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys all very much for watching. I really fucking appreciate it. We, uh, we've been going long every single day. I'm going to say that. Uh, follow my Twitter too. Twitter.com slash Asmongold. Twitter.com slash Asmongold. Twitter.com slash Asmongold. And uh, we're going to be doing that as well. If I have ad block, do you still make money? No. It's fine. There's enough people AFK. You don't have to feel bad about it. it I don't give a fuck. I, have, I, I use ad block too. Ads suck. Yeah, like, I, I, I get it. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I might, I might, that's me the first thing I do. I might just get the map and shit while I run ads. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I can say it. Tomorrow, I get to do a special event. Uh, I'm actually going to go through a brand new expedition with the New World developers. Like, live on stream tomorrow. It's going to be live on stream tomorrow at like 12 or something like that. Yeah. So we're going to go through a brand new expedition with the developers. And uh, that as some other streamers like Rich is going to be there, etc. Yeah. Yeah. So like it's actually going to be something cool. It, it's going to be, I think it's at noon. Uh, and, and so, yeah, that's what it is. So no Elden Ring? <laughs> no. Like we finished that. And like, I, I don't know. I maybe like I, I am so dedicated to playing Elden Ring. I might actually not do Lost Ark tomorrow. Like I'm just, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. And I haven't decided. Because I really want to move forward in the game, and I feel like I've been going slow in the game. I want to have, like, one solid big day where I just do Elden Ring for, like, six hours or something like that, and I really make big prog. Jeez, now that's fucking pog. Yeah, like, that, that's, that's the plan, right? And so, like, uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be or anything, how long the dungeon's going to be. Like, if I had to guess how long it's going to be, I'd say it'd probably be, like, two, uh, like an hour and a half, like, two hours, something like that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And, like, also, there's, like, some other shit that I want to get into as well. But, like, that's currently what the plan is. Uh-oh, that's a big boy. Shut up, fat boy. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to look at you. Oh, shit. You're going to kill me. Ha, 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 ha. All the, all the l Arc people in chat saying Elden Ring all the time. Guess what? l Arc, l Arc. Ha, ha, ha. Fuck you. I love Lost Ark, dude. You need to start playing, man. It'll be fucking no. bad. No, it's actually really good, dude. The game's actually really good. No. Like, it, it's actually really good. Like, you have no reason not to play other than the fact that you just don't like it, and I think that it, it, that's not a good enough reason. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, when's that uh, GTA RP stream uh, It's gonna be up? soon. Yeah, that's what I thought. God damn, what a bitch. Okay, there we go. You're dead. Holy fuck. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen. So tomorrow, I'm going to be able to do a, a, a new a New World dungeon, one of the expeditions, and we're doing it with the New World developers. Uh, it's going to be fucking awesome. I was setting shit up last night, uh, and that's going to be around 12 tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be pretty fucking cool. And as I said before, like it's going to take some some time, right, for the for New World to be the game that I think a lot of you guys want it to be. But uh, as I said, I think that the developer team and everybody, they're committed to... Uh, to, to making it better and so that's why I, I've, I've supported them the whole way through because I feel like their heart is in the right place even if sometimes the changes are not or the game is not so that's what the plan is guys thank you guys very much for watching I really fucking appreciate it I'm gonna run some ads and then we're gonna call the day 
thank you guys very much for watching i think also we get like exclusive drops for that shit tomorrow i don't know if that starts tomorrow or not uh but yeah if you do like new world tune in tomorrow and uh you'll get special items out of it too uh they're like exclusive things so like yeah that's the plan thanks a lot for watching guys i really fucking appreciate Nah, fuck you. Man, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to mats. Alright, alright. Ads are running. Oh, my. I gotta go get this map. I'm not gonna do any, like, actual prog in the game, guys. Don't worry about it. Like, I'm just, uh, I'm just running ads. And I'll pick up a couple of map areas just so I have them. Yeah, that's what I said, and I grinded like 30 levels off stream. Oh shit, I die. Um... Thank you for the stream, as well. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you watching, man. I do. Why didn't I get an ad? Uh, there's a lot of times people don't get ads for different reasons. Uh, there's not really much of a reason for it, it's just like, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really worry about it or think about it or anything like that. Send this time again? No, I'm pretty sure they don't respawn, man. Oh, there's another map here. Okay, cool. Dude! Nice, what up? How about that, uh, cinematic, huh? Oh my god, man. Like, oh, I don't man. understand, like... It's oh. like, how can you even do something that bad? What do you think? Worse or a little bit better than BFA ending? Um... That's the real question. The BFA ending, I feel like it's... I feel like it's it's actually worse because the difference is that in the BFA ending, I thought that Shadowlands was going to be good and it's like it wouldn't really matter in the end. But now like Shadowlands is already out and like I, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be in terms of the lore. So like it's like before I had hope and now I don't even have hope that it will be better in the next expansion uh, you, you know what i mean like that sounds like some doomer shit but like i don't know what, what do you think that is some well, doomer yeah but i'm not shit, wrong though bro. like i'm not that's so fucking doomer holy shit yeah but it is like it's just like yeah like back then like we thought it would be different and like now it, it, it's not going to be so like i don't know like what do you guys think it, it was bad for sure yeah uh i mean you 10.0 i mean <laughs> I, I Yo, that's you. gonna I save it. That's over. gonna be it. That's that'll. It's over, dude. That's gonna that that's gonna be it, guys. Like it's just gonna be 10.0 is gonna come out, and I mean the game is just gonna be completely like way better. I mean, like that's all it's gonna take. Uh, new capital. Okay, that shit got found. That's good. Wow, that's a lot of shit. I ha I have to do. Uh, let me pick this up. Tomorrow I'll go back to Faroth Place with the bats. Listen, if you want me to post, like, uh, if you want me to do something in the game, like, please just post it on, like, Reddit, and, like, if it's a good idea, I'll just go do it. Hell yeah. Yeah, it, it's literally that simple. Like, I, I, I don't want to make it, like, some complicated, weird thing or whatever. Guys, let's see some more Reddit posts today, huh? After the stream, let's yeah. see some Reddit posts? Hell yeah. All right, see you later, dude. Peace. See you, man. Peace. See you. you defeated death itself. Now go get me five void wolf hides, like a good little piece. Yeah, like I just, I don't know, man. Like it's just, it, it is what it is. Like I, I feel like that's really all you can say about WoW nowadays. Is like it is what it is. It sounds bad, but like I just. I wouldn't even say that, like, I'm not going to go around and be like, oh, I don't even have hope for the game. Like, it's not even about that. Like, I just wish that the game was better than what it is. Like, that that's literally it. Did they forget to give Jaina a fucking voice? How could she have no lines with Arthas? I don't know. And I, I was like, why are, Ta like, Taliesin and Evatel, like, they were, like, making excuses for it. I thought it was just, like, it was so, like, boring. You know what I mean? It's just, like, it's so boring that, like, because at a certain point, like, it, it's like, you could say it's like, oh, that's fan service or whatever. But, like, I mean, w what's wrong with fan service? If people want to see, you know, something in the game, like, what's wrong with that? So, I don't know, man. It just really frustrated me to see, uh, 
Like, what I think what really annoys me the most, and, like, this is kind of, like, a fucking stupid thing that makes me mad, is it makes me more mad whenever people defend it. Like, I actually don't even care about the, usually, like, most stuff that happens. Like, it's whatever to me. But, like, it really makes me annoyed. It makes me, like, mega mauled whenever people, they'll, like, they'll make excuses for it. They'll say like, oh, well, uh, you know, it, it, it's like, it, it's just so dishonest. And it's like, I think there's a lot of content creators out there. Like, I'm not going to name names, right? Uh, but like, there's a lot of content creators out there that like, they're just so boring and they're just so dull and like, just completely like they make Zach Rar sound like a entertaining streamer that's upbeat. Like, they're just, like, so boring. And, uh, do we have all the map pieces now? I think we do. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we do. How is this game so big? Oh my god. So, like, they're just, they're super boring, and it's like, like, of course they're gonna defend WoW, because, like, if you're, if you not, like, nobody will watch you play any other game, because you're boring. And, like, I don't want to be rude, but, like, that's it. That's what I'm projecting. Well, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't be projecting. Like, the thing is, like, that was me for a long time, right? Until I learned how to, you know, like, to, you know, how to develop another audience, how to change the way that I do streams, how to do... It, it took a long time for me to get there, right? So, like, yeah, I, it, it was... That's how I was like that to me. Zach, why are we getting more Zach than Nazma? It was good to see. I mean, it's the same person. That's why I don't stream. I have a boring personality on camera. Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? There's, like, a lot of WoW players who are just, like, super boring. All they do is the game. That's all they talk about is the game. They're, like, not interesting about talking about anything else besides that. And, like, the moment that they stop doing that, people stop watching them because they have, like, no appeal outside of that. Like, that's really just all there is to it. And, um... The fact is that uh, it, it's just, like, of course those people are going to defend World of Warcraft because that's all that they can do. Y you know what I mean? Like, that that's all they can do. And so, like, of course they're going to say, like, wow, this is good or whatever, right? Because, like, how could you... Like, you, you, you can't do anything else. And so you have to pretend like it's good because you don't want people that are your audience to leave. There are streamers who just look microphones. Yeah, and they get more viewers than half of the people that stream WoW. And they're more entertaining. Can I get up in that tower? Maybe I can. How many levels of my weapons? Uh, seven. I'm at seven. Oh, it's, uh, I guess entertainment takes many forms. Yeah, it does. Uh, I'm just saying, like, in general, that's kind of, like, my opinion on it. So, like, that, that kind of annoys me more than uh, even Blizzard. Streamers uh, forget their jobs to entertain, and they're not entertaining in a unique way. Nobody watches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of streamers that don't understand that. Not bored of just one weapon. No, I actually like the idea of playing one weapon and just getting really good at using that. I know some people like using a bunch of different weapons, but I kind of like using one weapon and just getting really good at it. Three wise beasts. Okay, that's one, I guess. The streamer is shooting on every little thing, shaping public opinion for it to be cool. You really think that the biggest problem with World of Warcraft is the fact that some streamers say negative things about it? You don't think the problem is, like, the negative things themselves? You think the problem is, like, the... It's the, it's the streamers that are... They're the ones at fault. 
yeah, I, I think that, like, this is, again, like, it's people that are just looking for someone else to blame. That's what I think. I don't think I can go up there. Actually, yeah, I can. I can get up to right. I can get on that ledge, and then I can jump up again. Maybe not? No, there's a there's a thing up there, like there must be a way to do it. Hmm. Controlling the horse uh, whenever you're trying to make fine movements like this can be really hard. I just keep pushing it over the edge. There's an air boost. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I'll probably go down there. Jump once? No, it wouldn't be enough. Pretty easy on controller. Yeah, I'm sure there's some things that are easier on controller. But for me, like, I'm just so much more familiar with playing, uh... Uh, playing with keyboard and mouse. Like, I, I just only want to play with keyboard and mouse. That's it. I, I don't want to play with controller. Damn, I don't know where the other ones are. No, not being at Wampa Wow, there's just nothing to do. Well, I mean, there's the new raid, and, you know, I, I mean, people that care about that are going to care about that, right? Sure. It's just, like, in general, I, I feel like the the appeal, Zenrock, thanks for the uh, the five subs, uh, the appeal to it has kind of waned in a lot of ways. Damn. Turtle shell, what the fuck? I wonder if I should, I'm supposed to go around there. I probably could go do that. This is probably going to be a death. Yeah. Well, I possibly restricted access to countries that, yeah, I heard about some like weird wildhead restrictions. I don't really know what those are. I don't know. Like I saw like every time that like wildhead makes a post or something like that, uh, that's always what, uh, what I see is like people from those countries like talking about it. Yeah, I, f I feel like I can't really do that. Like, maybe I could jump to there. Like, I don't know. I'm going to try one more time. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I made it, right? Best barbecue place? I don't know. I might get barbecue after the stream today. Oh, yeah. I still was going to have dinner with my dad. Probably have to call my dad after this and see what he's going to do. How many times have I failed at honing attempts? Uh, a lot. One turn on the stairs, on a tree, last one in the lake behind the tower. Uh, in the lake behind the tower. I didn't see the turtle over there. Yeah, I sure don't see him. He's invisible. Look for the ripples.
run another ad. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and deal with it. It's just annoying. A good night, Asman. Thanks, man. Thank you. Okay. Fuck this. That wasn't too bad. It's memory stone, so it's pretty useless for strength build. Yeah. I'm just running around, honestly. Oh, nice. So, you know, WoW's tried hard to copy other successful things, it's completely lost its identity. Well, the thing is, like, WoW always did that. Like, there's nothing new about that at all. Uh, WoW has always been the game that would just, uh, take other people's ideas and do them better. Like, that was always what Blizzard was best at, is, like, taking, basically, like, taking a, a game that was, like, successful, and then figuring out why it was successful, and then distilling the negative things out of the game, uh, to where it only has positive things. Things make them better. It feels like half-assed. Yeah. So sad. That's annoying. Okay, we're good. Thought you were leaving? You're going to take a long poof? Oh, I always just run ads at the end of my stream. You fight the god skin duo yet? No. I don't know what that is. Did you kill every boss in the game? Uh, I, I've been on a mission too. I mean, I haven't done it yet, but yeah, I want to. You enjoying the game? Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh. Does Lost Art seem like heavy pay to win for you? Um, is it heavy pay to win? Like, I don't know. It's like, what do you mean by heavy? It's hard to say. Like, it, it, it's definitely pay to win. And I feel like that's enough. Like, the difference between, like, heavy pay to win and normal pay to win? Like, I don't know. That's whatever to me. The fat and the lanky dude with weird police cars. Yeah, I think I think actually I saw that on a YouTube video. Uh, but yeah, oh, these are ones. Oh, who cares? Why is everyone obsessed with pay to win? Because people don't want to play a game where somebody can just spend money and get ahead of them. Like, it, it's just, uh, I think there's a lot of people out there who are, in my opinion, like, I, I think they're delusional in, in thinking that it doesn't matter. Because, like, to me, I feel like it it, it absolutely matters. Like, it, it's a it's a huge thing. It's a mobile game on PC. Uh, Lost Ark isn't a mobile game. I don't know why people say that. Like, what what about it makes it a mobile game? I think it's just people that don't like the game. The UI? It's the isometric camo? I mean, is Diablo 3 a mobile game? Is PoE a mobile game? Like, I, I don't know. It just seems stupid to me. 
I think that these are just people that are like it's the same thing like the fact that like they use mobile game as like an indictment of the quality of the game. Uh, it's just stupid boomers, in my opinion. If I could go down there. Much of boomers hitting, yeah. The estate and threshold is very mobile game like though. Yeah, but so is like I mean would you would you go and say that like WoW is a mobile game because it has features that are reminiscent of mobile games too? Like I mean obviously people are gonna say yeah I would, but like no, actually like any reasonable person would not come to that conclusion. So, in my opinion, I think that they just uh, they just are trying to say negative stuff about the game, and like that's really all all there is to it. Because you don't need to pop out your credit card to each gear cap; you just hard work. Yeah, uh, you can uh, you can pop out your credit card and, and get the gear cap in WoW too. Like it, in my opinion, I think it's just as. Uh, uh, it, it, it's literally just as pay to win as, uh, as, as Lost Ark. Wow is. Like, you see, like, didn't you see, like, every top guild talking about how they're, like, trying to pay, uh, gold and shit? Like, in, in order to get people to, uh... uh... What's this? Oh, wow, that's really cool. I'm gonna go there tomorrow. I don't wanna go there yet. Yeah, I don't want to go there yet. I, I want people to see me go there for the first time tomorrow. But yeah, like, I mean, that's kind of how I feel about it, is like... Trying to whale, get max gear in Lost Ark isn't feasible for 90% of the player base. Yeah, of course it's not. realize one thing uh, is to test the time must hit aspect a while the command table why do you think it won't go away because it has no negative impact on the game I think people that get mad about the command table are just being dumb uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the command table at all The following is uh, isn't there's no pressure can link to it. I don't give a fuck. Well, everybody always has like, you know, like their opinion of like what's pay to win and what's not pay to win. In my opinion, it, it's literally just this simple. If you can pay real money and get ahead in the game, it's pay to win. Like if if your character can gain any level of power, at all, uh, by spending real money in the game. In end game, right? Like leveling stuff is like whatever to me. But like in, in the end game, uh, if you can do that at all, I don't care like, oh, it's not pay to win, it's pay to win faster. No, man, it's just pay to win to me. Like it's all the same. Hmm? Oh, wow, these things have a lot of health. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do this tomorrow whenever I start. Critters made by Dom whenever you beat him? Really? Feasible for a casual player, free to play players, it's not bad though. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is bad because if it's uh, if people can spend money to become more powerful in the game, then that's just a it, it's a it's a massive advantage that people like video games I think in a in a very fundamental way are antithetical to spending money to win because i think a lot of people play video games because they're able to be put on an even playing field with other people and I, i'm i'm not going to yeah to get out of reality yeah i think i think that like video games fundamentally for a lot of people are an escape and like how can the game be an escape if 
everything about the game is the same with real life like i mean because that's the same problem that you have with real life is like real life is pay to win isn't it yeah it's an escape from classism and other things like that taking gold items lost art goes against your pay to win views no it, it's not about going against my views i'll always go against my views if it's convenient for me like why would i not go against my views if it's convenient So yeah, I mean, of, of course I would do that. Difference in skill between boosted player and WoW and someone knows what they're doing. Direct, uh, yeah, but you can say the same thing with Lost Ark, though. That's what I'm saying, is like, there's no difference in that at all. Pay to win's bad because a lot of people don't have money. Yeah. Does that make you a hypocrite? No, not really. Um, the way I always say it's like here's here's like a good example right personal integrity that just sounds stupid I don't care about anything like that to be honest um, like to me let me think of a way to put it like all right so if, if there was like a, a thing in, in the game where there was a button you could press on your command table that would automatically give you a million gold if you just press the button who wouldn't press that button but everybody knows that pressing that button is is damaging to the game's economy but everybody would press the button and then some people would press the button and then the damage would start to happen and then the other people that didn't press the button yet would feel stupid for not pressing it and then they would press it anyway So Hassan as capitalist, happening of socialism was exactly the same. Yeah, and I defended Hassan too with the same thing. Because I think that everybody is a product of a system, and if a system allows something to happen, then you're going to have people that take advantage of it. You can never expect people to handicap themselves or to kneecap or, uh, y you know, like hurt themselves in the process or in, in the pursuit of whatever your ideological uh, reality is. Uh, it, it's just, it's it's naive to expect somebody to, to want to live in accordance to what you believe to be your like ideological consistency I don't know if you have two hours today to, to play because you're working yeah I mean there's a lot of reasons why somebody could rationalize pay to win yeah you, you can't expect people to not act in their best interest yeah if you ever expect people to not act in their best interest you're always going to be disappointed and i think that you're just you're you're living a world that is disconnected from reality uh everybody always does what's in their best interest uh there are cases whenever people do not and then i think that there are few and far between you know sweeping statement covers all scenarios it doesn't exist uh yeah i mean definitely Saturday money is morality you know people people always like it's the same as like people say like if, if it's just the road to hell is paved with good intentions I think it's always a mistake to think that you have good intentions or whatever because the moment that you start thinking about like what's good and like rationalizing bad actions with being like oh well this is what's good or this is what's right that's the moment that you really kind of lose touch with reality in my opinion that's whenever you really kind of, uh, uh, you, you start diluting yourself. Buying game items should be limited by the government. It's too much addicting and gambling. I, no, I don't think buying video game items should be limited by the government. I think that buying, uh, I think that if you ever buy something in a video game and the outcome of what you're buying is not guaranteed, that you should not have that like loot boxes should be banned microtransactions should not be banned so good thing video games means of escape what i made a way to way to be realistic well yeah of course right because like you still have people playing video games it's the same reason why like that's why you have pay to win games in the first place is because human nature arrived at that conclusion it was only a matter of time I don't think you should tell people how to spend their money. It kind of defeats the purpose. That's just me. 
Well, I don't really think that's true. I mean, like, there's a lot of things that you could say, like, you probably shouldn't spend your money on, right? So, like, if you spend your money to support, like, some hate group, like, that's probably not something that you would say that you can't tell somebody not to spend their money on. If somebody's spending their money on, like, guns, let's say if you don't like guns, it's probably bad. If somebody's spending their money on drugs, that's probably not bad. Like, I, I think that, like, any time that y you actually, like, think about that statement, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And there's a lot of context where it clearly makes sense to criticize somebody for how they spend their money and, and what they do. Can you check the new, re uh, the new Reddit about Wowhead? Uh, I'll look at it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at it tomorrow. Like, what what's going on with uh, uh, with with, with okay, here's Hassan. Yeah, I don't care about your opinion on Hassan. Uh, even though you 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 highlighted your message, it really doesn't like it doesn't make it matter anymore. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Check Steam charts. Yeah, tomorrow. That's all. Do you see yourself doing Legion Commanders? Yeah. I hope so. People can, uh... Uh, what's this here? People can pay to win in Lost Ark. Won't stop me from playing the way I want. Well, good for you, man. Do, it, do what you want. Tarnished and maidenless? Yeah, exactly. Sony State of Play tomorrow? Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is or when that's going to happen or anything. Uh, I'm just not really sure. Alright, we got one more ad to run, then I'm good to go. Can you ask Amazon to make Lost Ark available in Belgium? No. Can you ask Amazon to make Lost Ark not pay to win and have loot boxes and then maybe it'll be available in Belgium? This is it alarming you that so many people think that this doesn't bother me is the same that this isn't bad? No, I think that that's actually the way a lot of people feel. Uh, is that they, if something doesn't affect them, they really don't care about it. Like, that's all there is to it. Like, it, it doesn't matter to them. It, it doesn't... If, like, something doesn't immediately affect you or somebody that you know about, it might as well just not exist. That's just how people are, man. Sneak Pete and Word of Session going in blind. I'm going in blind. Uh, I didn't even ask them what, what stuff I should use. I, I just put on, like, diamond uh, gems on all my gear. So I'm good for pretty much everything. Would you consider yourself an intellectual? No. Why do you accept uh, viewer gold and mats and talks? Wouldn't that be more challenging without help? Yeah, but I don't want to make it more challenging. Uh, I just want to. I want to get through the content. Like at a certain point, like challenging isn't to me like farming like five alts at the same time. Like that's just kind of like a. Um, uh, it, it's just like a. What's the word for it? Like, there's no challenge in that. It's just, like, a time investment. Yeah, I, 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 I the only, everything that I do in, in the game is, like, I do it because I think it's good content. Like, I don't care about whatever, anything, I don't care about anything else except for if it's content or not. So, like, for example, like, that's why I leveled up my character, uh, and I didn't try to power level was because I thought it would be better content. And it's also the same reason why I took gold in Classic WoW too, is because I didn't think it would be good content to just beg for gold, or sorry, not beg for gold, just farm for gold, because it's just, it's boring. And so uh, I, I don't want the viewers to watch something that I think is boring and uh, the, or, or repetitive. So I, I just skip the parts that are repetitive or boring. And that's the only thing that I care about. Yeah, that's it. Have you seen a new Batman movie? No, I haven't. Not yet.
Want to address social issue and why he was fired from the Young Turks? I'm just going to permaban you. Even though you're subbed, like, I don't want to read your stupid messages about why you don't like, don't like Hassan. Nobody cares about your opinion, and it just got deleted. You hit that button 10 more times? Yeah, maybe one more. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, like, it's just weird. He sounds depressed. I just streamed for nine hours. I'm relaxing before I call my dad to have dinner with him. I had a great stream today. I, I enjoyed myself a lot. I really had fun. And I'm super glad that you guys were here to watch. Like, I'm not depressed at all. Like, I'm just tired. And I'm relaxed. That's it. I could keep going, I could keep streaming, but I'm I'm ready to chill out until uh, until tomorrow morning. I'm not depressed at all. There are certain things that depress me, but I'm not depressed, if that makes sense. When I tell people say you look sad, you look depressed. Ah, that's why that's why people that's why you act different, man. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's a nine-hour stream where I'm talking non-stop, man. Like I, I have a naturally monotone voice. Do you so much happier lately? What the fuck are people talking about? Yeah, I am. Like I'm much happier lately. Uh, everything's been going great, man. Like I'm, I'm super happy. Like everything's been going great. Like, there are some things that are frustrating uh, to me in, in my life, right? And some things that I wish were better or different or whatever, but um, it, it doesn't matter anymore. Kind of cringe how you quit WoW whenever the new patch is getting good? How's it getting good? It's the same thing This is the same thing as, like, last, last patch, right? I mean, raid comes out, patches, you know, it is what it is. Like, I'm sorry, I just, I, I really just don't, like, it just doesn't appeal to me like is is that weird that it just doesn't like r running a new raid with like stupid lore and like bosses that are overly complex in order to challenge people that play the game professionally uh and then like the easier modes of the game uh have remnants of that but also like they're just watered down versions of the game it's just it's just boring like there's no it, it's just like it's it's a low quality game right now like th that that's i think that's really what it comes down to like it's just it, i feel like it's just a low quality game and they're not like wow it's my favorite game and quits but i didn't quit just because i'm not playing the game on stream right now it doesn't mean that i quit like i, I don't know like, I, I, I probably, like, if I didn't stream, I would probably play WoW more. Because I feel like WoW is just a, um... Uh... It, it's a good game for me to chill out and play. Whereas, like, I don't think it's, like, as entertaining as, like, one of these games. I, I think that these games are more entertaining in general to watch. So I'd probably play it more if I didn't stream. But, yeah, I, I think that the reason is, uh... It's a good comfort game. Yeah, it is. It's very relaxing. It's a Zach Rar game. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Serpent Boss. Uh, I don't know if I did that or not. Why does it matter if you quit or not? Never understood the questions. Because people are looking to... Uh, I think there's some people that, like, they want to... I don't know. Like, WoW players are... Uh, like, the really, really, like, intense WoW fans. Like, this isn't, like... Uh, it's not like every WoW fan, but I feel like a lot of the ones are, they're like really dumb. Like they're just stupid. Whereas like people that are in, in Final Fantasy are like really like personal, like they're like personally offended, right? Like they actually hate you. They actually don't like you on a personal level because of the, because of that fact, right? And so, like, each each group is different, but they're both really ultimately the same. Seeking validation? Yeah, I think so. That's basically what it is. Lost Ark people are chill? Yeah, for the most part. 
Best wall content whenever you're just goofing around? Yeah, I think so too. So yeah, I, I don't know. Like it's not, I think there's also like people that try to like dictate to me what I like or what I don't like. I think it's as simple as this. I, I just, I, I like playing the game. Um, I, I like playing the game, but right now I'm just not playing it right now. It, it, it's literally that simple. Yeah. <laughs> you know, usually I, I go, uh, but it's the last set of ads. It's three more, it's in the three more minutes, so I gotta go. Was our players super defensive? Everyone says pay to win. Yeah, true. Are you thinking about retiring from streaming? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really want to retire from streaming right now. Yeah, I mean, like, maybe somewhere in the future, like, would I ever retire? Like, it, it's impossible for me to say, oh, I never will or I will one day, whatever, right? Uh, I, I don't know. But uh, I'm not planning on it right now, I'll tell you that. I, I, in general, enjoy streaming, even though there are things about it that I don't like. No, I haven't watched the new Batman movie. What would life look like if, after streaming? Uh, it'd be the same thing, except that the camera wouldn't be on. Yeah, everything else would be about the same. And the light would be off, too. Because I usually play in the dark. You play EVE Online? No. This while streaming with Boundaries is awesome. Odin here. Odin the Warrior? Yeah, I remember you. Um, Yeah, like, I... I, I like doing uh, I like doing like some WoW content but I only like the fun WoW content and like I just feel like a lot of the end game loops for the game right now are just like not really fun like uh, just a, a lot of them like I mean pretty much all of them uh, like I, I feel like uh, Mythic Plus is just like super boring rating is like really tedious uh, PvP is, uh, like, I think PvP is probably the one that's probably the best out of all of them. And, like, uh, that's the only one that I even still sometimes play. Does this guy respawn? Looks like he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he's like right there. See him? Wonder if they can jump down on me. Well, I was gonna look at the boss armor yet. Yeah, I did. This is supposed to be hard. Yeah, it was pretty hard. I almost died. Who stream a second Elden Ring playthrough? If I stream any more Elden Ring, it'll probably be like invasions and stuff like that. Who told you about Zoval basically being WoW's version of Pinocchio? Uh, I, I, I never heard of that before. Yeah. I think Amazon should just push for more Western friendly monetization system in Lost Ark for the Western version. Uh, they already did, as far as I know. Like, the game, it, it's gonna be what it is, man. Like, that's it. Like, it, it's, it's a free to play game with pay to win aspects. That's all there is to it. And listen, alright, I, I, I got ads over, I gotta chill and do whatever. Um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching today. I really fucking appreciate it. I'm going to be back online tomorrow morning. Uh, follow the stream, hang out, and I'll see you there.
Until next time, boys. Peace.